Hi, I'm Time. He's Cable. Uh, we're gonna be doing The Wolf Among Us, uh, this time. I don't know much about this game. It's a telltale, like, I don't even know what you call them. Are they adventure games? Not really. They're adventure games. You get to walk around in, like, a 3D environment, but it's mostly just going around looking at clues and talking to characters. I've seen, I think, a little... And, and, and there's quick time events just as a warning. Right? Yeah, I, I was gonna say, it... The gameplay is kind of like the... The... Heckin' what are they? You're doing it. <laughs> uh... Bl uh well, my, my brain. I thought I had it, and then it's just gone. Um, uh, is it a person, place, or thing? Be Beyond Two Souls, uh, that other robot game, whatever his name made. You think it's like a quantum dream game? Or a quantum... The, like, the gameplay in terms of, like, how it works, right? Well, it yes. Uh, the only difference is this is actually written well. <laughs> this is good, yes. What I meant was... That these yeah. ones tend to come out okay ever since the first season of Walking Dead until the second season of Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, no, this is one of their better ones. This one, season one of Walking Dead and um, the Batman series they did are probably the three best ones they did. The um, I've heard the Borderlands one is good. I never played that one, so I guess I could be missing out on that. I keep forgetting they did that. But this one has a sequel coming, so we're going to play this one. Yeah. I don't know too much about this game, or the Fables like, universe. Uh, you play as, like, a fairy tale person. I've seen, like, a bit of the f first part of this game with, like, the woodsman, I think. But that's about it. Well, the the I know only a little bit. It's supposed to be like all these characters from fairy tales exist in like a parallel universe of some kind, but something happened that caused them all to have to leave and come to our world. And each character's strength level is dependent on how popular their story is and how well known they are. So you play as Bigsby, Big B, Big B Wolf, who is just the big bad wolf. Get it? Huh? <laughs> and the reason why he's one of the stronger characters is because he's the antagonist of so many of those fa those fables. So. It's that, so you're going to run into a bunch of other characters from other fables. And it's just them kind of trying to deal with New York. <laughs> well, let's get into it then. Oh, baby. Save file. And we're having... Whatever is happening here. Fighting the... <laughs> Fucking, that's my makeup. No, it's her makeup. I'm going to use this makeup before he gets it. <laughs> this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. She's just, like, hastily applying as much makeup as possible to use it up. <laughs> and once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf protects them from each other. Uh, you told me that this takes place before the comics, right? This takes place, like, right before the comics. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's the case. The reason why is because Telltale, why are there no subtitles? I turned on subtitles, why are there no subtitles? So, 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. The art style's nice. But Telltale tends to do this thing where, like, they set their games before the thing it's based on so that they have the freedom to kind of explore it. Ah, uh, I see. They can kind of... Like, the first season of Walking Dead starts before the comic books did. They can kind of do pretty much what they want without getting too much in the way. It's like when um, Bioware did the Night Seal Republic games. It's like, well, you can either make a sequel to the movies or you can do it, like, 500 years in the past. And I'm like, I think we'll do the 500 years in the past. We can do whatever the hell we want option. Thank you. Yeah, cell shading. Yeah. It looks pretty nice. Some of the shots in this game are really good. They do a good job of replicating, like, comic panels. Man, this is when they had all that Walking Dead money. <laughs> but they didn't update the engines. There's still going to be a bunch of loading screens. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's fine. Frog. Hello. There he is. Mr. Toad. Oh, why, why are you not, your like... goddamn... King mouth, Mr. Toad. So, so wait, if Mr. Toad is still a toad, why am I not a wolf? Why am I just a dude? Uh, because sh you remember when he disguised himself as Grandma? That's why. Shut up. 
<laughs> Shouldn't he be an old lady then? No, he just... You're asking a lot of questions. Shut up. I think, no, uh, well, he... Whatever. <laughs> I think they explain that at some point. If you can't afford to look human... I guess they have... The farm. It's as oh, the farm. As you can't send the me up farm. I guess they have some kind of magic to, like, turn to look human or something. That's what a glamour is. A glamour hides things and disguises things. Yeah, there you go. Shut up and get a gosh dang glamour so that you can freshen yourself up, look nice and shiny. I always look shiny, Big B, I'm a toad. <laughs> I'm slimy, it's what a toad does. Look at me slime. God, I hate when you slime, but I can't look away, says Big B Wolf. You're timed on these choices. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I can't give you a free pass on this toad. My hands are Yeah, some like any random normie could come in here and like see you being a toad in, in a sweater. It's worth it. Don't. This is where the whole meme of they'll remember that comes from time, so make sure you keep that in mind when you make these choices. <laughs> A language, excuse me. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. Before Sheriff's just my middle name. My name is Big B. Call me Big B. What am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. This is the last straw, Big B. He has he's headbutting the wall up there, Big B. I was about to say he's headbutting all the furniture. <laughs> oh, who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start? It's only gotten thinner along with his hairline. <laughs> I didn't know anyone else was up there. Wow, you picked such a potty mouthed game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a new book of fables entry unlocked. I don't have any fur when I'm being a guy. What did I say? Smaller frog. Get back in your room, Clementine. <laughs> then get the fuck back inside. Rude. Child, uh, excuse me. Does this game have a mode, I think? Or, I think. I wonder is what I meant to say. Where it just gives you the noir black and white hard <laughs> shadows like it's in The Hunter or something. Uh, I didn't. Or Night of the Hunter or whatever that movie's called. I guess didn't look through the menu too much, but there was extras on the main menu. I know that the Batman series that they did, the two games they made, they re-released as like a complete package and they made it like black and white where only certain things had color. Never got around to playing those. I... Oh, I like money. <laughs> yeah. New phone, who this? <laughs> I had to ignore what's happening in there. He thinks you answer a phone by putting it back on the receiver. <laughs> he's like, how come nobody ever wants to talk to me on the phone? Look, he's like 300 years old. It's hard to get with the times. I thought that they had just shown up, so I forgot that they had apparently been in New York for hundreds of years. <laughs> God damn you! Wow. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, that's hey. not okay. Yeah, you come on. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? <laughs> and you're not just gonna let her give me this biohazard? God! Alright, Ow. Ouch. My face isn't the furniture or a wall. <laughs> now I have blood on my face. We're all gonna get sick. Bigby Wolf, known germaphobe. Ew! <laughs> this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you. The back. camera is awfully shaky. You got a shit fucking. It's memory. especially shaky for me in my choppy it's visual. Not a <laughs> this isn't last time. And I got better. Oh. Yeah, don't get your ass kicked, kid. Whoa, Ooh, move that mouse, nerd. I did it. I think. I wish. How do you want to kick his ass? <laughs> oh no. Ah, knives, my one weakness. <laughs> really winding up, kid. You must be super drunk. <laughs> oh. I live here, Sheriff, says what's her name? <laughs> yeah, she's <just> her. <laughs> Back off, asshole. Uh oh. I think this is actually his apartment, so whatever. Ow. Oh, we he will be fine. It's okay. 
have the cats. Choke slam him onto some cushions like you're playing pretend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grab one of the cushions off and hit him with it. Make it a pillow and then fight. He'll it's grab okay. another cushion and hit you back. <laughs> Where's my mouse? There we go. I'm gonna make your head so shiny. <laughs> Man, he just keeps letting you do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh no, you pushed him directly next to the one weapon that is in this apartment. Oh boy. Just mash that. I hope that the QTE prompts are also a fable that's just living in town with you. Just follows you around whenever you get into a fight. <laughs> yeah. Just floats there to be distracting. With the spirit of QTEs, it's out there. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Shenmue. I really appreciate you brought us this fucking fable that never leaves us alone here. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? I hate when people can't pronounce things correctly. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. I mean, still you some of the subtitle said. <laughs> you did it hit me first, so. Well, he hit her first, actually. What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Hunky dory, huh? <laughs> well, my job is done here. Then he says, "Why well, just walking away?" Okay. She said, "Hunky dory." That's <laughs> best you can be. I'm pretty sure. My job here is done. Knew who he was. I said I didn't started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. <laughs> I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open. Oh, well, I'm fine, so... His belly full of stones and threw yeah, it in I got the better. fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh... Would you excuse me for a moment? By You're a dork. Come on. Yeah, that's not what? It looked like he was throwing you out of the window. We threw each other out. It's fine. It was mutual throwing out of a window. <laughs> we both went for the window throw. Oh, through the wall, too, even. Through the window, through the wall. <laughs> oh, shit. He's fine. He'll walk it off. It's fine. Hey, Tom. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Hey, get off the street when you're a toad. Oh no, by all means. Oh no, Pixel! Make yourself comfortable. There's a reward. <laughs> toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. Apologies for smashing your car. Toad. Wow. I'm talking for you, mate. It's a real wow. shame. But that's not you, is it? Gotta play the old man role. <sighs> Some things are more important than. Uh, I just fell from a second story window onto a car and I'm getting mouthed at by a Toad. You're breaking the masquerade here, Toad. Yeah, the, they're gonna start sending goddamn assassins <laughs> after this kid. <laughs> Give me a blood hunt called on your back. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just focus my blood on the other arm. <laughs> I'm better at choking than you are. <laughs> Ow. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. No. You fucking mongrel. You ignorant fuck. Come on out, wall. Mm, this guy's this is gonna have a lot of swear words on it. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Whatever, dork. <laughs> well. Correct. Uh, hmm. A <laughs> new fa book of fables entry online. <laughs> and so the woodsman got his ass kicked. <laughs> please, I need you to help me find my cat, she says. <laughs> uh, please, it's been so long. What did that band say, Dragon Wing? 
Man, they really want you to know about Pixel. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. I'm just getting what he owes me. Uh, I'm rifling through his pockets. He's a dead guy. Come on. <laughs> she pulls the cat out of one of his pockets. Found him. Oh. Now for the reward, she says, like, <laughs> punching over and just scurrying away. <laughs> On all fours, yeah. Dragon wing. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be Oh. Yeah, depending on how popular their stories are, they can just regenerate. So he'll actually just be fine for a while. He probably should not be doing that. He's had enough. No, it was my turn. Stop. I, 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 I know we are apparently pretty tough. He did apparently cut me open and fill me with rocks at some point, and I'm alive, but... Man, that thing's really in there. I hope that happens again in the sequel. <laughs> The whole stomach full of rocks thing. That'd be pretty hardcore. It wouldn't be great. Mongoose. Mongoose. Played by Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Shit. Just come on. If you smoke too much, your fable will get edited so that you have cancer during it, you know? <laughs> oh, no. And it'll just regenerate the cancer in case you take it. <laughs> it will retroactively happen. <laughs> oh, no. He says, pretending the legend's just snatching the cigarette and smoking it himself. <laughs> Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Mm. 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 Hey, you like a suspiciously specific uh, way to phrase that. I do like it. I wish I had one, too, says Big B. <laughs> Can I have it? And then it cuts back to her, and she's like, no. And then it cuts back to him, and he just has it. <laughs> I feel like we've met before. He says, staring longingly at the cigarette. <laughs> we all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But do you have a change, I guess. fairy tale amnesia? Yeah. My story involves me getting my head, like, knocked around, so maybe. Well, I mean, he's fine, apparently. Ah, damn it, we left a manhole right next to him. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. If you'll excuse me, I have to go shower off these cooties. <laughs> the girls are icky. That's in my legend. I have you know. I have you know. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Well, hold on. I got something I can give you. I'm pretty sure I picked up a matchbook earlier. <laughs> yeah. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. The Woodlands. The woodlands. I thought it was Fable Town. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. The Woodlands is probably like an apartment. Some of these look pretty Like bad. an apartment complex. I did not hear what they were saying. <laughs> uh, I'll meet you at your whatever, <laughs> dork. <laughs> yeah, pay attention, kid. All these choices are timed. I need to tell you something. What is it? You've got some spinach in your teeth. You're not as bad as everyone <laughs> says you are. Part of my fable says that I can see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch. Oh. I'll see you around. The Wolf. Can can I learn these powers? Not from a Jedi? <laughs> you're mixing up your stories now. I think you're lying to me. Where's Yoda in all of this? He's probably around somewhere, right? <laughs> Again, that's another fairy tale. I was talking about this before we started. They're like characters that should be here because of how popular they are nowadays, but they're just not. <laughs> Where are the minions? <laughs> oh, no, God. 
We send all those undesirable fables across <laughs> to the other coast. <laughs> Just can't handle them over here. <laughs> Telltale Games presents a Telltale story. Well, by... time. Uh, you, you gonna read the opening credits? <laughs> no. Is that what we're gonna do? No. Uh, well, the, the, any questions? I can. I guess I can maybe clear something up. I mean, I they they can get better from getting hurt because of the story thing. Uh, they, they're stronger depending on how popular they are. Uh, you'll find out what the farm is. Etc. But uh, this this certainly is a game, kiddo. The music here is a little loud. <laughs> Episode one. Episode one, nerd. Faith. Hey, we played that game already. It was a really good game. You should buy it. And also watch it on our channel if you find this. He just he sees the cop car go by and starts chasing it like. <laughs> 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 the Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. Late. Let's go look at this plaque. I hate that they say woodlands, but all these trees are plastic. Oh no. We can't afford real trees. <laughs> We're so annoyingly shiny. <laughs> So I heard, uh, like, just this week, since it showed the name of the creator just then, like, just a couple days ago, he announced that he was putting the Fables comic series in the public domain. Oh, yeah, I think you mentioned this. Yeah. Uh, just coincidentally, we decided to play this, and you heard that he was going to put it in the public domain. If that's true, then we could maybe check out some of those comics if it hits anytime soon. I'm declaring now, any random crap we make up, it's canon. <laughs> Get out, bush girl. Find a different bush. Come on out. That's my bush. I use it for things. I have wolf-like senses. I know you're in there. I have wolf-like tendencies, so you really don't want to be in that bush. <laughs> Well, gonna have to take you to Fable Jail. <laughs> oh no! You've broken the law, he says. A little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Hmm. No, I can't. Damn it! I'm late. Okay, bye. Whatever. <laughs> you could have just walked past me normally and it would have been less suspicious. <laughs> it would have been okay, yeah. I guess this is beauty then. Yeah, sure. Whatever it is, it's between I won't tell him anything. It says cutting back to you wearing like a headset. As long as it's not like. Time to go into you can just hear Beast angrily shouting over the other <laughs> side. Uh, do I have to beat up another guy? Uh, but I have to go. After telling him about this, <laughs> I'm just I'm I have some energy to burn. I'm not tired yet. I just kind of want to get in another fight. I'm kind of worked up after the woods. Is there no axes around here to like stick in his head though? Well, that's not like the go-to. I mean, it was really effective though, so I thought I might give it another try. I wonder who would win that fight. <laughs> I wonder who would win that fight. Hmm. <laughs> wonder they fought in the comics. Did they? Oh, no, I that's right. I said wonder. Yeah. I wonder if they fight in this game. <laughs> it's fine. Hey. Very good job here, guard man. Fancy suit of armor. And let me take this. Just put it in my pocket. I wonder if you fight that suit of armor later. Oh. What's your story, suit of armor? He says, standing there and talking to it like it's a character. <laughs> Flycatcher? Yep, he's awfully dusty. I wonder if he'll notice if I put him in the suit before he wakes up. <laughs> yeah. He's a real deep sleeper. Well, you don't know. Maybe that's like the a regular person who doesn't know you're all like weirdos. Grimble. So they like he comes in to work, but they just immediately put a spell on him so he falls asleep. 
And then he wakes up at the end of his shift and he's like, oh man, I got away with it again. Holy <laughs> shit. This is the best job I've ever had. <laughs> what do they even employ him for? For looks in case a normal person looks through the window or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Been a while since I got any mail. Been a while since I knew how to read. I forgot. That isn't part of my fable, knowing how to read, to be fair. I wonder if that's why they stopped sending me mail. <laughs> mm. Oh, I can move. What do we have here? Bigby's name tag. Oh, it fell off. Damn thing fell off again. Am I putting it back? He's falling off and floating into things like the trash can <laughs> and everyone's fireplaces. It's weird. The road outside once. The bush. My bush. <laughs> my my favorite bush. At least I knew it was mine. <laughs> That's why I claimed it. I had my name tag in there one time. Keep pressing it so it goes faster. I can't. Wow, that took forever. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Bigby. Hey. Hi there. Wait up. Have you seen my oh, wife? Oh god. Have you seen Beauty? <laughs> and so, I'm just kind of. Have you? I have no idea what I'm the situation is. It. So. <laughs> so the answer is yes, then, Bigby. <laughs> I'm not a marriage counselor. No, it's fine. Damn it. Something's going on. She was acting a little suspicious. Have you seen my wife? I'm not getting involved. <laughs> this is between you you and her, whatever it is. So so yes, yes then, I guess. But you're not gonna tell me. <laughs> He isn't looking very beastly, you're right, uh, Bear. She was, she did fall in love with him when he was in beast form, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> and once he got all normal human looking and weird, it was like, I don't know, I'm into this. this I've, I've successfully fixed him, I'm kind of bored with this relationship now. <laughs> he turned into just kind of a regular dude, and eh, it's not as interesting. It is red lighting. Yeah. Time for another filling dinner of, uh, whoops, forgot to fill my tray. <laughs> what? Why, why did you not refill the ice tray? I I used to have to use an ice tray, and I would forget all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Back when I had a, an apartment somewhere, it had an ice tray. It didn't have an ice maker. So i just have to, like, fill it up and make my own ice so I'd forget and just not have ice. I eventually just got sick of doing that just bought bags of ice. Yeah, that's what we do. A Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard. Bluebeard's file. What's a Bluebeard? Bluebeard is a fable guy who killed his wives. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. You know about Bluebeard? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of Bluebeard, no. He'd marry uh, some chick, and then he'd behead her, and then he'd marry another one to behead her. Oh, well. He was, like, really into it. He was kind of addicted, <laughs> I think. It was, like, a thing. It was, like, it, like beheading his wives is, like, his crack. He just couldn't get enough. <laughs> Did it a lot. I think I also would not trust a guy whose entire story is about the fact that he murdered multiple wives. <laughs> I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, uh, not great. That is a lot of cigarettes in your ashtray there, guy. Did you choose the gosh darn strong trait? If you did, you could just eat it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd choose a strong trait. He's pretty strong. Should help. Well, this isn't plugged in. It's a good thing there was a fable about a fan. <laughs> uh, you see, like, the power cord dangling there and it's still working. <laughs> the magic fan. Oh, hi. Hello. Pig. Just sits on top of him and starts watching TV. <laughs> uh, hello. Colin. Uh, not again. 
Why don't you have a glamour on, pig? Maybe he likes looking like a pig. And if anybody asks, you should say he's my pet pig. <laughs> then he'll go oink oink. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I only have the one. Oh, there's got. actually a choice that says there's only the one. <laughs> oh, hold on, I have to stretch and yawn before I do the thing you want me to do, and then I have to stretch and yawn again. Like a dog who's trying to wait you out hey. when you're telling it to do something. <laughs> Look, he's a really old pig. It takes him a long time. Well, the whatever story he's from is probably several <laughs> hundred years old, so yeah, he'd be pretty old. This is green to let you know it's not gosh dang tobacco. Don't tell anybody you want to <laughs> Here, now you're complicit. If they bust me, they'll bust you too. Thanks. Oh, I hate this Double weird thing you make me do every night, Big B. I, I think phone. I'm the cop here, so I'm not probably going to bust myself for it. <laughs> yeah, if the regular cops show up. I don't have enough deputies as sheriff to be able to get into like a gang war shootout like the cops usually do with each other. end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. It's called the farm. I'm a pig. What do you think happens to pigs on farms, Big B? <laughs> that for me. It's happened four times now, Big B. The house didn't blow. Four itself, times. Though, Sometimes coming that's back from I'm any saying. kind of damage you know ain't great. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying it's wow, that's really dark, he says, taking a swig. You're going back to the farm. <laughs> How do you think I got here in New York? <laughs> it stepped back. <laughs> that's dark. Oh my god, that's dark. <laughs> if that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? Wait, really? Who told you that? So, I thought people. I thought, I thought I had friends. <laughs> it's just like blubbering. Uh, I'm just giving you. Shit. Just completely breaks down. <laughs> Clearly, that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought. Cuts we big, he has small smiles like he has good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Well, you can't change people's <laughs> memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared. I am the big bad wolf. I mean, to be fair, you are the biggest baddest wolf. I hate that you added "ist" and "s" to the end of those words. I mean, baby, please don't. I'm not the only. This is why wolf. people—they just think you're annoying. Like that's your gamer tag. We get it. Stop. <laughs> I get the impression you say that a lot. He's unimpressed. You do have an option to turn off those notifications if you find them to be kind of immersion breaking in between us making jokes, I guess. Nah, I think they're fine. I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By and being, being wolf. And being bad. <laughs> don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. He's right. The last... The last time you tried, you got cussed out by a 13 year old. <laughs> and you lost that game. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. That's not true. Name one. It was okay to the girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Wow. Great example. <laughs> Great example. It's fine. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Yeah, do we have a lifespan? How does that I work? Like this whole lone I think if they stop telling your story and people forget you, die. Uh, okay. I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. You have a water bowl. <laughs> I'll put the bourbon in the water bowl. <laughs> You can slop it up like a dog. <laughs> Why haven't you slept in two days? Or like a pig, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I made you. I was thinking of you as a person. <laughs> Pigs are pretty good at slopping. Yeah, yeah, all right. They're pretty good at slopping. Problem. He's like, can you please do that thing with the bowl? I like slopping. <laughs> Here you go. I mean, he's also a fable, so, like, what's alcohol gonna do to him, really? Mother hacker giving him an inch. <laughs> Thanks, big. <laughs> Just like shoves his face in there. He eats the whole cup. Ah, I caught my tongue. Why would you do this to me, Big B? He says, laying on his back. Ah, I'm just <laughs> kicking his legs in the air. Ah, God. This is your fault. 
Why? Do you not have a bed, Big B? Big B? No, when no one's looking, he just curls up like an actual wolf, like just in a spawn. Just it, like... He can't do it this time because uh, the pig was there. I guess he doesn't have a bed. Yeah, it's pretty small. Unless there's another room we're just not seeing. Hello. What? Big B. Snow. I've been knocking for like an hour. <laughs> If anything bad Snow. has happened, it is because you did not answer fast Snow. enough. What? It was urgent, Big B. Sorry, what is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. Can't you? We need to hurry really? To... Hello, Hi. whoever you are. Hello. Good morning. Or Hello, Larry, the normal human that lives with us. <laughs> it's weird that you refer to me every time like that. <laughs> Remember, we are completely normal <laughs> humans, just like you. Isn't that right, Big B? Bark, bark. You look over, Gary is like, to be careful. just kind of down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> but they all think he actually is a normal human, because they believe him. When they step into the elevator, Gary starts walking on the walls, just like upside down. <laughs> Can you get my Amazon package? Like, I don't want to go outside. It's mug. It's muggy out there. Gross. It's dark and I'm scared. It's scary. Okay. Well, they treated your package like they do mine. They just fucking chucked it <laughs> at the steps and left it there. Hmm. Hmm. E. T. This <laughs> must be fucking Italian, kiddo. <laughs> what does this mean? The snow. I don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh my god, baby. It's because you're a disgusting wolf. I mean, Ed, you'll learn someday. Keep trying, Big B. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. Blur that out. <laughs> that's scary. Knew this girl? Is. She's not a Mundy. Right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. I. She looks she's not a Mundy, right? Because if she was, I can stop caring. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't, don't care about those Mundies at all. They live like, pff, what, like 20 years tops? Who cares? <laughs> the woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. Hmm. No. You don't think he... Uh -huh. I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I guess you were I coming jacket to cover back here for unrelated her. reasons? I came to get you right away. You know, if her story's popular enough, we can just find the body, we can plug her back on like no. Deadpool, she'll be fine. Big P. What if you did it, Snow? Us do this? There hasn't been oh my god, what if I did do it, says Snow? <laughs> All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going like, on. <laughs> what's her name from Phoenix Wright? <laughs> 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 the, the assistant who's always just somehow being uh, put on trial for murder, and she's like, oh my god, did I do it? I think I did it. <laughs> my, I think her name is? May. Shut up. Oh my god, I can't believe you just say that to her. Baby. Wow. <laughs> head. She yep, it's a head. With some care. I do don't think she's going to make it. You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? You, we're in a, our whole town is full of like fable creatures. <laughs> Liter oh. I, I am a literal monster, Snow. I might have done this. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I might have done this event at some point. Hmm. It's just a god dang lottery numbers on this dang fortune cookie. <laughs> some kind of <laughs> just a fortune cookie. <laughs> I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Very mysterious. Ring. If I press on the sides, it might have the flash of suit inside. 
You think the Flash is running around in Fable Town? Oh, yeah. He's a Fable, right? <laughs> Where is why, why is Superman not stepping into any of this? Uh, 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 I hate when he does it, God. <laughs> what did this to her? What could do something? Get real deep in there, camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zoom in closer. I can't quite see it. Magic attached to it. I mean, it doesn't mm. look that clean. Uh, compared to your experience time. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not like straight. I could have done better, says time. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. It's been so long since I've seen the severed head. You know, you kind of. It's been so long since I've seen her. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Well, I mean, obviously we investigate more. Have some time. Well, first I need to dig a hole and bury it, then I gotta kick dirt over with my back legs. He doesn't revert to wolf form to do this, he's just like, with his hands in the dirt. Excuse me, I have to go to my bush for a minute. <laughs> Blood. Gross, ew. Somebody tell someone they need to mop over here. Blood. Drops of blood. <laughs> Let me sn maybe sniff maybe around and maybe oh, roll maybe. in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am a wolf. Why aren't I sniffing around? He is sniffing around, actually. You know the reason why he smokes those cigarettes? Is because it's to try and block out the smells of the city. Uh, right? By blocking it with an blocking it also with bad smell, scent? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but at least he can focus on one is the thing. I guess, yeah. So that's why he smokes those. I don't know if they say that at some point in this. They probably mention like a lore text thing, but like, I think that's the case in comics. Guess. The trash can. So he's probably sniffing all over right now. He's like, man, it smells like sh and pollution, just like always. <laughs> this doesn't help me at all. <laughs> why did I come here? I'd have a choice now that I remember. Damn, I hate the city. Damn, I hate the city. Why don't I just live out in the country somewhere? <laughs> if only I could go to the farm. <laughs> Blood. Yep. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Put it together, kid. <laughs> Who killed her? Hmm. Solve the solve it right now. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry to say it was not hmm. <laughs> I've never heard of a hmm. Aw, says hmm. <laughs> I can't believe nobody remembers my story. Ah, uh, the perfect. I know who it was. It was Santa Claus. And then hmm fades away. Oh. <laughs> I was the last person who remembered hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's my bush. Nobody, no, it's on the other side, dork. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Nobody there. I don't recognize that bush. Hmm. Did they put that in since I've been here? I guess it could be my but What the hell? Ooh, ooh. Is that a rock? <laughs> yeah, it was a rock. <laughs> I thought that was the body. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a pretty important thing to miss. <laughs> Just like looks at it, it's like hey, I don't see nothing over there. Whatever. <laughs> What's in your pocket, Snow? What are you doing? Better to be. Oh, there. I just found the rest of her body sure. in your pocket. <laughs> Why did you crouch down to do this? We don't have much time. Because it's a Telltale game, and they only have a limited amount of animations they can <laughs> reuse. We should move her. Bleh. Her skirt clearly in. isn't ripped. We'll find out Bigby. more at the business office. She'll be in the book. Also, I doubt she could have like sure. hopped over without ripping it just Maybe. normally. Yeah. What's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. It was beauty. She did it. How do you I saw her leaving right before this. Maybe that's what she was hiding in my bush. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the body. Yeah. <laughs> Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. 
Maybe it was the sneaky sleeping security guard. <laughs> oh, he wasn't sleeping at all. It's like, if I just lay here and pretend like I'm asleep this whole time, they'll just think I've been sleeping the whole time. Has he ever been asleep? And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. Yeah, where is Columbo when we need him? I'm sure he would, would he be walking him, around? <laughs> would Luke Skywalker be walking around with his lightsaber? Hopefully he can be rational. Would Batman? Why can't we get Batman? I'm not. I bet he could figure it out. I want to be like, man, I'm really good at doing my shit in the city. <laughs> this is like way easier than what I'm used to. <laughs> Crane's not what's important right now. There isn't even a single supervillain here. So we can find whoever did this. Not even a single. Take back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Dr. Swinehart. He's got a swineheart. He has the heart of a swine. A metaphorical or a literal swine? I think he literally has the heart of a swine. <laughs> like, I think he, if I'm not mistaken, is he the story of the guy who, like, did surgery to replace his own heart or something? Uh, I have no with, idea. Like, that of a pig? Or did he just have his heart replaced with a pig? Well, you don't see there's a line. I have not heard of this at all, so. I'm the mother heckin' sheriff. I outrank you, dweeb. In. Who are you? Must be nice being I work sheriff. here, dork. Whatever the fuck you like. <laughs> I work here. And what? Yeah, I work here. That's actually another option. Again. <laughs> did you know I wrote this game? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you? Hey, look, Larry the Normal Human has been waiting here the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Fucker. A really giant urn there for O. Oh. How did they fit this in the building? Uh, magic, shut up. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes. You have the sword and the stone back there. Me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't you have the rhino the on the wall as well. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. That ancient beloved story, the rhino on the wall. <laughs> I woke up one night and there was a rhino on my wall and I was like, eh, and then I went back to sleep. Who else is to blame if not you? If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at <laughs> Oh, her. to be a, a rhino on the wall. <laughs> Yes. No, I woke Let's up and he was gone. I was like, that. oh, I wish I'd asked him questions. <laughs> you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Ichabod Crane, why are you Tell in me charge? You've been doing something. Are there any leads? Uh, Suspects? Mm -hmm. Anything? He's the director mm -hmm. of operations. Any He's the dop kid. Evidence you two know <laughs> I learned about this doing. five minutes right ago, now, guy. I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Maybe it was you, Maybe you say, slamming your fists on the table. It's and he's like, damn it, how'd you guess? Shaky, but don't be oh yeah, you did say Bluebeard Blue cut their heads the off. As we speak. So don't even yeah, he think cut a lot of heads off, kiddo. Treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. You need to do this yes. now, solve it. Okay, fine. You say pinching Hold snows here. I got him. <laughs> How did you know? I will. And also, why Where did you admit to it a second ago, Crane? <laughs> Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Why are you in charge? Do you because job, he seems like Sheriff. he's pretty fitting well, for an asshole upper can. management guy. I guess. Or middle management guy, I guess. <laughs> well, no, he's. Ch well, these are like not that many people. So you would have just pissed him off. Basically, metal management. There's not that many people here. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. So he yelled at Snow, then went and sat at his oh, desk, yelled at you for like 30 seconds and left. <laughs> yeah. With a line waiting for him, by the way. <laughs> they just saw him walk out there standing there. <laughs> I'll be back later, he said. He was like, well, I guess we've been waiting here all day. May as well stay here. Mind to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually... Come on, Big V. I know I bought that damn bottle. Bird. Is, is he gone? Oh, monkey. Yes, Hello. Definitely. And he's got the bottle. Buffkin! Buffkin. Hello, Miss Snow. Are Drinking you the Wizard of Oz early? flying monkey or from something else? I think he guess. is from the Wizard then of Oz. Why is he green? Belongs to him? I'm sorry, how many flying monkeys have you seen? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair. 
No, it's my drinking habit. Get the fuck out of here, flying monkey. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Have you seen my pupils? <laughs> I dropped them somewhere, and I can't find them. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin. He'll remember I said I'm fine. The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was. We're about to learn something, kids. Bring the Lore time. <laughs> Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. Does he? It'd be, be faster and he could fly more straight if he wasn't so fucking drunk. <laughs> we'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Yeah, appointment. You can just tell me you're ordering DoorDash. No, I don't care. <laughs> uh, couldn't we just give this like a rub and wish it all better? Uh, I don't know. Did, is this the good genie or one of the bad genies? <laughs> oh, genie's been freed. Whoops, it's the one from Aladdin. God damn you, Aladdin. You should have thought about yourself. You <laughs> should have thought about other people instead of freeing the genie. <laughs> Selfishly. I gotta get around to reading the actual story where it's like super hardcore, like different. <laughs> and like Aladdin's a piece of sh I mean, they're kind of all like that, I think. Mm hmm. Did you know that uh, Snow White, the only reason she woke up is because she was on the fucking carriage and it hit a rock and like kicked the, <laughs> kicked the apple out of her throat? Did you know that's the only reason why she was? Is that what happened? Yeah, I, th I think that's what happened. She was like there and then like the prince shows up and like takes her body <laughs> and then she's just getting carriaged out and then she hits a rock while being taken and it kicks the apple out of her throat. <laughs> It's like how the Little Mermaid turns to fucking sea foam or whatever at the end and dies. Does she? I'm pretty sure she Jack dies. Parts. Jack brought him back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then, or what he did to get them. Guy, I think there are spoilers for uh, Little Mermaid. She dies at the end of the actual story. <laughs> I, I think you can just buy these from many places. In all forms. Wolf. Oh my God! What could it mean? What could it mean? Let me just go ahead and keep pulling this and maybe give <laughs> clues about the story. I don't fucking get it, whatever. Isn't the tower the one where I die? I I'm know. pretty sure the tower is the one that's about dying, yeah. I don't know anything about tarot other than that. Oh, maybe the tower card's supposed to be because you found the head at the foot of the steps of the apartment building. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Ten of swords. Oh, that's everyone being pissed off at you and not liking you. That one I'm keeping, though, apparently. So I can show it to people and they can be like, yep. Fuck you, Big B. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there were cards here at one point. What happened to those, he said? His short-term memory kicking in. He has no object permanence. <laughs> Mirror, you're just kind of keeping it on the floor over here in the dark, I guess. Apparently, Prince Eric doesn't love her back, so she turns to sea foam from the sand. <laughs> hey, hey Magic Mirror. Mirror. I got a question. You gotta ask it in rhyme. You know the rules. I don't have time. You're supposed to refer to me as Martian Manhunter now that we're on Earth. <laughs> You're needlessly cruel. <laughs> Maybe you do actually have to ask it in rhyme. It seems that that is indeed the case. Mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so? It was awful. I hate it. No wonder they leave you in the corner. Kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. That didn't rhyme. Which fable do you wish to know? He just like immediately cracks and just breaks. He's like, no! <laughs> what about Buffkin? Who is he? Buffkin. He's just going to hey, be pounding away. Yep. Okay. Apparently, we can use this to teleconference people. Show me Buffkin again. He's just still trying to drink. It's like, <laughs> God damn it. Then he just storms off screen. <laughs> Show me Snow White. Not much of a yep, she sure is over there. <laughs> she's in this very room. What if I just think she's pretty and wanted to see her? Shut up, stupid mirror. Look, you never know. You gotta sometimes you gotta check and make sure they haven't been body snatched. Yeah, what if I did that, but she was like, you showed me her tied up in a basement somewhere and be like, wait a second. <laughs> then who was that? And Show then me. I look over and it's like the thing just turning into a monster. <laughs> just like <laughs> stretching their head out and shit. I mean, the thing 
It's probably here somewhere, I guess. No, no, do you think that spooky slasher villains are running around in Fable Town? <laughs> Jason and Freddy just going down to the corner store. It follows Woodsman in the bar and they're just sitting there, just drinking. <laughs> I wonder when we find Satan here in Fable Town, guys. <laughs> yeah, where is he? He's the one bartending. <laughs> he gives really good advice, actually. Nobody right now. Very well. Well, that was helpful. Should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new? Goodbye. <laughs> Can you show me me? And it shows you, but like back at your apartment sitting on the chair, and it's like, wait a second. And then you wow. start turning into the thing monster. <laughs> the mirror's fine, because the thing can't turn a mirror into the thing. I don't think it's tried yet. All right, time to read. Uh, boop, 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 boop. So uh, I'm reading over here. What are you guys reading in your books, oh, though? I can Ask him about the card. You know what this means? I already have that one. I'm not going to trade. <laughs> I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. That's just superstition, I say, as a ma literal magic mirror. Well, yeah, my magic's real. I can prove it. Look at that ginormous Thanos glove back there. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> the sword in the stone is also very large. It's probably King Arthur's gauntlet, then. <laughs> I guess he was a giant. Uh, the stories didn't say. He was real big. He was a big boy. <laughs> Aren't people in Lord of the Rings like nine feet tall sometimes? Like the elves are like nine feet tall or something. Are they? <laughs> Isn't there at least one character who's like nine foot? Because Aragorn's like eight feet tall, isn't is he? he? He's ginormous. Let me. I don't remember didn't that. Tolkien say that in like a letter. Somebody asked him like how big is he, and he's like, "Well, he's one of the last remaining people with any kind of notable Numenorean blood, so he's like huge. He's like super yoked, kids. That's what Lo Tolkien said. He's like he's yoked. He's fucking ginormous. <laughs> he's yoked. <Broski. laughs> uh, he's apparently. Six foot six, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's... I thought somebody was eight feet. That's pretty tall for, like, medieval times, right? Uh, Alendo was nicknamed the Tall because even by the lofty Numenorean standards, he was exceptionally tall at 2.5 Rangar, or around seven foot eleven. <laughs> that's pretty tall. That dude was big. <laughs> he was... He probably had a real heck of a time with uh, door frames. They were probably just built bigger back then. I, mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess he was the tall, so he'd have to duck his head, but whatever. You like being six foot five nowadays, you still have to duck a little bit to get on your things, right? Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm. I don't know how to read. <laughs> okay, I told you this. Don't make me repeat myself. Of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. I'm pretty sure that's a crime. Guess we're thrown into the gosh darn farm after all. Woodsman. This I'm just here to look at the picture, says Bigby yes. with a small smile. The acts of the woodsman They're very nice. Actually. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. There goes the Flying Dutchman's ship, I guess. It's just kind of back just in there. The <laughs> <laughs> What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? Watch your fucking mouth. Word. What's it do? Makes animal shit go. Oh. That sounds useful. And aren't we both technically animals? And highly specific. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that gosh darn jabberwocky. Yeah. This guy looks like he's uh tipping over backwards with that sword though. <laughs> Who has the sword? Was it Alice? Was Alice the one with the sword? Uh who gets the Vorpal Sword and, it reads, uh, oh, the, and the, 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 the Looking Glass the or whatever? I don't, is the, I don't think the Jabber, Jabberwock is from Alice in Wonderland. I think that's a separate thing, isn't it? 
No, the Jabberwocky is from Alice in Wonderland. Is it? It's either that or from one of his other stories, but it's from the same guy. Oh, huh. Jabberwocky. How do you not know this? It goes snicker snack, kid. Jabberwocky. It's a poem from Lewis Carroll. I thought it was a separate thing. It's a poem from Lewis Carroll. <laughs> this is the one. Where is it's this a nonsense from? poem written by yeah. Lewis Carroll, apparently. That's an odd one. Family name? Uh, it was included oh, in the novel yeah. through the looking glass. Sorry to speak over you, stupid drunk monkey. <laughs> when I'm talking about this poem. <coughs> means every kind of fur in German. Every kind Donkey of fur. Skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. I, I wonder why she Bufkin, might prefer we that. Need the, commentary. the story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful. You don't want the commentary, but you were asking me about it. He <laughs> <laughs> married the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was. Oh. His daughter, Faith. Oh my god. What? She had a magic These kinds of themes in old fairy tales? tales? Get out of here. <laughs> Did you know that fucking Snow White was like 13? A prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Well, that sounds nice. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Well, he was royalty. Why are you all acting like this is weird? <laughs> yeah. It's just happened with royalty. They just kind of did that. Bunch of freaks. All the time. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Lawrence, huh? Hmm. Can we look up? That sounds like a made up name. Faith? Can we look she up Lawrence? Married to Prince Lawrence? I mean, that's more than her we. name was Faith. Yeah. I mean, if we find her body and we stick the head back on, will it actually just kind of reattach? Or I think that if you do something like that, they're just dead. dead. Oh, okay. I think they can regenerate, but if you do something like rip them in pieces, they're actually <laughs> dead because they just can't pull themselves together. Me at this point. Also, I've never been heard of this character, so I guess they just weren't strong enough. I also haven't heard of this character. She had a magic donkey skin for some reason. Poor ass skin. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it for the pictures. <laughs> That's the green arrow. <laughs> I like looking at them. Big book of fables. Any information on this was the same thing, the but they colored it. In these books. Shut they up! I'm trying to find it. Waldo. It's just exactly the same. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that one is. Hmm. Damn, I miss the good old days. He says with that same small smile. The dwarves are looking. Yeah. Well, they were all freaks in the original story. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're looking a little evil. About that, I'm that. pretty sure they weren't nice <laughs> in the original story. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. The woodsman. Hi, the woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Days. This is nerd. Beast. That's right after she took off his Halloween mask and revealed that he wasn't ever a beast. Oh no! It was... I can't believe you bought that. The witch showed up, put that on your face when you were sleeping, and said, "You're cursed now!" Yeah, <laughs> and ran away. And you're like, "Oh god, my face!" No. He just never thought to try to take it off. Turns out, Beast is a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, look, it doesn't take much smarts to be a prince. What a coincidence that this comparably obscure story just happens to be here with all these instantly recognizable fables. Nice hat. Toad and Badger. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I haven't seen him ever since he, like, struck it big on that Bitcoin fan. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Scared shitless. What's the Headless What's Horseman doing these days? His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Oh, there's the ship up there. <laughs> well, there it goes. It's time that changed. We should cut his head off and take over. 
Oh my god. Who's that in the corner and being all spooky? <laughs> Oh, is that just a smudge? Yeah, that's a, a carriage. <laughs> look at it. If you look at it, kind of, it looks like somebody's like looking off to the left. It does kind of look like somebody peeking like, over. What's over there? What's going on there? <laughs> yep, the ledges are all the edges are all kind of smudgy. Well, I guess somebody hand painted this, right? It's not like they printed this out in Fairy Tale World. Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. What do you got to say about this mirror? Mirror, Show mirror, me the donkey blah, ass girl. Blah, 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 blah about this fable. <laughs> of wow. Which fable do you wish to know? Rub a dub dub. Let's eat some grub. Show me what I want. <laughs> hey, hey, is she actually ahead or was this some kind of like fake out? Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, these lips. Hey, that's what she said back at the apartment. Hmm. These lips are sealed. It's not my well, that's choice of awfully suspicious. It's simply the way this has to be. That's not like I'm in on it or anything. Shut up. That definitely isn't a way somebody might conceal that she's not, in fact, actually dead. You find out at the end of the game that he was behind it all, and he's like, God, you make fun of me. You think that I can't do it because I'm a mirror, but you, big me. I orchestrated this. New York burns because of me. Ah, skeleton. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. <laughs> I mean... You don't know, Bigby. It's fairy tales. There could be a walking skeleton. It could happen. The Prince Lawrence. It's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Well, uh, he's, he's fucking dead. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Just in the Bronx, the building, a prince. Like yeah. Shutters? That's a royalty right. usually find ends up, right? Yep, that's the one. Why, why did they all specifically live in New York? Uh, it's just it's Nobody. easy to blend in, I assume. There's a lot of people here. I guess. That'll have to do for now. Come on. Also, when you see weird shit in New York, it's just kind of normal and nobody cares. <laughs> just keep walking. People will step over you if you're like stabbed in the street. It's really fucked up in New York. What's that? A werewolf is mauling somebody over there? Eh, not my business. Yeah. I mean, we saw that play out in Werewolf in London when he went back to New York. Can you go back to New York? Or was that, was that the sequel? I forgot. I think he was still in London when he got shot to death. Actually, you there? <laughs> There's a pig over there that has a cigarette. Eh. Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I'm fucking fabulous, Big B. <laughs> Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. What woes? What was that about? Hard to say. Oi! Oi! Is what he said. <laughs> what about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. What was that about? I don't know. I can't f understand anything Toad says. Go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Hmm. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready. Well, if somebody's going through to Toad's apartment. They could be looking for evidence related to Faith to cover it up, so we should probably check that out. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could hmm. use some help. I mean, he... might have already Did they been confirm dead. that he was dead, or did they... <laughs> he wasn't moving. And there was a lot of blood. Welcome to your first telltale choose one dork <laughs> option. Hmm. So you have to pick. Do you see if Lawrence is still alive or do you go find out what's happening at Toad's apartment? Hmm. I guess Lawrence is probably hmm. more important. <laughs> I mean, he could already be dead. We don't know. I don't think they confirmed either way. But I mean, that's the second murder then that I should probably investigate as the sheriff. But what if Toad gets murdered if you don't go over there? Well, if somebody was rummaging around and it sounded like he got caught. 
Oh well, we'll deal with that when we come to it, I guess. Yeah, I wanna. I don't wanna get. If he's dead, I don't wanna get there later. He might be stinky, so let's go there first. Toad, he can probably handle himself. Toad's pretty well known, I think. You're gonna get back there, and he's gonna be just in a pot of boiling water, and you're like, "Whoops, sorry, Toad. That's a really big pot. Where'd they find that?" You say, "Oh my God!" Lighting up another cigarette. He's like, "Hey, you gonna get me out of here or what?" Eh. I gotta go check on Lawrence again, honestly. And you just leave. <laughs> I could climb out myself, but... <laughs> he said it on low. Like, I can feel it heating up. It's not quite there. I'm just gonna step out when it gets too hot. <laughs> it's kind of nice right now, actually. <laughs> it's kind of like a hot tub right now. As long as I keep my little f toad feet off the bottom, I'll be fine. I wasn't expecting that. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects... We're here on she trusts you a bit more. <laughs> Did you know this? You just know this. It's in your checkbook. I know it. Your checkmark book. I used my psychic wolf powers. You look at your book, you put a checkmark, and you're like, I think that's what that says, because <laughs> you can't read. Why are you checkmarking your grocery shopping list that I wrote? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's looking pretty dead. Whoops. Did you even... Did, right. uh, Big B, you didn't even try the door. <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, tap on the window or something. Come on, me up. I like how we did this immediately after... There's a car passing right now! A, a cop car passed us by, like, two seconds before we did this. A car was passing while you were doing it, also. <laughs> Ew, gross. It's stinky in here. We didn't get here fast enough. Boo. I think he probably didn't make it. Oh, God. We're He's looking pretty bad. <laughs> makes two people's dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Uh, if only your, your legend was stronger, whatever your name was. Yeah, he looks pretty fucking bad. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Snow, you gonna eat this later? <laughs> she walks back over with a rolled up newspaper and starts bapping us on the head and going, No, bad, bad wolf. You're lucky I didn't bring my spritz bottle or I'd <laughs> spritz you right now. Yeah, but sure is blood. He's blood. <laughs> Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Damn it. They already made away with the locker of evidence that was here. Oh, I see. It's a a fold-out bed. Yeah. <laughs> Still a little sticky. <laughs> it's some kind of dead... Where is Deadpool? What's he doing right now? He's probably being really annoying somewhere. <laughs> what if he's the killer? <laughs> then I guess we better pack it up, kids. <laughs> There's not really much we can do about him. Not only is he popular in media, but he also just canonically regenerates as part of his regular power set. <laughs> he is also just a Deadpool, yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. I can't read. Uh, it says, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And? It says it again. <laughs> it just repeats. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we just spoke over the sand. <laughs> there are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh, he blinked. Oh, hi. Hello. He's alive. Uh, well, he was. He kind of flopped over and died. Blank, he says. <laughs> he lands, and his like hand <laughs> makes the knife. knife come up and stab him. <laughs> he kind of did land on the knife. We found you here in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. Maybe you should do something about that before I actually die. He says. You know who I am. Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Can we ask questions? Can you maybe bandage me up first? What? Uh, can, can we ask questions after uh, we make sure he's not just gonna die? 
made a decision. I like how they didn't say the word, even though it was in the option that you picked. It felt like the only way out. So apparently, it didn't quite I stick. Shot myself. Shot, huh? Oh, I thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts. It's like hell. You don't watch South Park, but there's this part during like a a parody of a zombie apocalypse where somebody shoots himself in the head. He has does like six times because it doesn't stick. <laughs> like oh god. At least. That's what this made me think of. Think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Well, he said a shot, and there was a knife right there. So. Um. Why did you do it, Lawrence? Wake up. <laughs> I was ashamed. Well, now that we know that you're alive, you start drifting off, we're just gonna fucking slap you. <laughs> yeah, you just start slapping his face. <laughs> I did what I could to keep her away. Oh man, if only people I believed in Goku enough for him back. to bring us a sensu bean right now. <laughs> yeah. She comes by. Make sure I'm okay. Well, see, he moved to to Japan, so. I mean, I guess he's Goku. We could call him up, and he'd just fly over here in like a second. Don't but. Worry about me. It's really sad what you're saying. We're talking about Goku, though, sorry. <laughs> she deserves that. She's been through a lot. And if you want to hear th this game without two assholes talking over the emotional bits, you can buy it yourself, kids. Available now. Go away. Just fucking go away. Someone heard a gunshot, and we're following up on it. Why are you always lying, says Snow, in front of him? <laughs> hey, we're a little backed up at the office. Wait, he's been here a week already? This isn't about a gunshot. This is about faith. Isn't it? No, he, he didn't kill her. He's been sitting here with a bullet wound in his chest for a for a, a week, apparently. Candy Graham. <laughs> Expecting anyone? We'll see who it is. No, wait. He probably hears the door. You no, know, we're like five feet away from it. <laughs> yeah. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. Just get what? real rigid and stiff so I can swing you like a mallet. Move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Squeaky. Jokes on you, dweebs. I was behind the bull. Uh, whatever <laughs> shoots one of you. He's like, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it was me the whole time, Austin. Shut up. Who are you? Look at that wide boy. He is awfully big, yeah. What's he doing? Is he looking for something? Shut the fuck up, Bixby! <laughs> Just stay quiet, Lawrence. He doesn't seem to care about Lawrence. Hmm. Why is this closet whispering to itself? <laughs> he just walks directly over to the closet and it's like... <laughs> I know you're in there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, baby. Oh, what's he doing? Lawrence, what are you doing? Big B, he has a gun. Oh, fuck. Uh. <clears throat> hey, that's not what was happening. Yeah, come on. I was going to, like, jump out at him. Hey! Oh, Stop. get ready for some quick time events, kiddo. Leave me alone. Man, he's really fast for a big guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Leave me alone. I just want to eat grubs. <laughs> ah, it's actually Toad. This is his glamour. Oh my god, Toad. <laughs> oh no, normal guy. Hold on, I have to pick this up show how strong I am. <laughs> you couldn't have just... God, my muscles are so big. You couldn't have... Did you see that snow? Were you watching? Climbed you watching over snow? it. <laughs> Man, he 
can go. Whoops. He kind of put up there, but he did get some distance on that. Yeah, he, he did it better than I did, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but he broke it first. So it wasn't your fault. Yeah, I guess. Man, these apartment buildings have big ass hallways. This big. <laughs> yeah, they do. Why is this building so big? Ha, gotcha. Hey! I'll give him a German He's suplex. <laughs> inside you. you son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why okay, bye, he says uh, while you're waddling away. He just starts sprinting Same off. Thing you should be doing. <laughs> Why does he have so much stamina, you say, catching clues. your breath? The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Hey, that's my business, Fuck, Buster. <laughs> I'm asking the questions. You Don't you even try going for that manhole, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> my employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. I mean, Tracking yes. Down. How did you know he what was... Kind of Hurt. Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. I am the big bad wolf. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Uh-oh. Whoops. <gasps> Ow. Get fucking brawl double team juggle, nerd. I got knocked out by getting punched, but uh when I fell out of a like third story window and landed on a ca on a car. Uh I was fine. Yeah. Well yeah, the car didn't punch you. <laughs> what happened is he punched you once and then they both punched you at the same time, like from opposite side, you got squished. Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking. Oh, they kicked me, too. They went on WO, they are like, Come on, get up. I'm really getting f***ing embarrassed with you getting your ass kicked. Check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. So they were... A Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I guess? Weird that and we they wouldn't recognize them. They were pretty distinctive. You guys well, time to check on Toad. Best case scenario, he's fine. Worst case, we got some like big ass frog legs. Gonna eat him. I don't think anybody's here. Hmm. We came all this way for. Hey Toad, you here? He just says like normal voice outside. No answer. Guess we're just gonna leave. Yeah, he's fine. Look. He's left. It's over now. Everything's okay. Nobody else has been murdered. Did she say whether or not Lawrence is dying right now? Did she do anything about that? I wasn't paying attention. I, I guess we called Swineheart off screen, I suppose. It's fine. Goku showed up with the sense of being. <laughs> Toads, I think. He has a son, Big B says. I wasn't paying attention. Be nice in there, okay? He has offspring? <laughs> She puts his she puts her hand on his chest, she just starts panting like a dog. Toad, you in there? Hey, he really wants belly rubs. Oh baby. <laughs> baby! And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bog, huh? Who closed that door? <laughs> Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky it drain pipe. It didn't sound like a leaky dr drain pipe, to me. Toad. So, you know, false alarm. Well, it turns out the leaky drain sure pipe was a fable. It, it kind of punched me in the face. <laughs> oh. Well, it told me if you tell anybody I'm here. Uh, frogging, I think it's called it's now. On the bed frame is all. It stings, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Mm. 
Is your son in there? Mm. Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... I notice you don't have a glamour on, Toad. I warned you, he says, just pulling out some handcuffs. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety. I think we just saw him as like a little tiny frog mothel, so I don't think he's a tadpole. Yeah, he was a little tiny frog, just peeking out earlier. Alright, alright. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Have a seat. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. TJ? Are you alright? Uh, Toad Jr., I guess. There you are. You are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a very small awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. A weevil? Cool. Is it weevil time? Oh. Oh my god. I want to see the weevil, says Big B, like pushing past snow. What if I actually want to see the weevil? <laughs> hmm, smash lamp. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Yeah, I can't prove anything. I found it that way. Shut up. What the heck is a sods and sword fish? Uh, it's when you, it's sods versus swordfish. Do I have to explain further? I mean, God, <laughs> where have you been, baby? That's the big hot thing with the kids these days. Locks busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. <laughs> Something smells fishy in here, Mr. Toad. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a toad, not a fish. <laughs> so it's not me. It's not me, so you can leave. Duh. Facts and logic, Big B. <laughs> Get in my house. There is some blood on the wall here. It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You're bleeding. Why is that? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Where? Show me. Trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Your one singular hand isn't bleeding. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Uh huh. It's been a fable, I suppose. And a frog. Definitely believable. You are an excellent liar, Mr. Toad. I'll have. I have to say. Jeez, my shows are on. I forgot. <laughs> sits down, starts watching his soaps. <laughs> he just sits down. Yeah. It should be when he scratches his face, like his leg starts kicking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I'm getting rid of the fish smell, Toad. What's that about? It no, stinks in here. God. <laughs> Your stink deed. come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. Uh -huh. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Very believable. Real. Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you made those marks with your toad well, claws, then, uh, I'm sure. Uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Oh, the Shaken Stevens. I love them. <laughs> Starts rambling about how he's a big fan. But you wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Also, the notification on the screen says I've caught you in a lie. You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. God damn you, you QTE HUD fable. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's uh -huh. all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. Sure you did. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third it's degree and all that. It's literally my job. I have enough third degree from that pot I was boiling in. Whoops. <laughs> I got over that real fast, too. <laughs> Perks of being a fable, I guess. And a toad. 
Poka? Whoa, it, there's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before? Yeah, Possum got into the window when it was breaking into my apartment. I had to fend myself. <laughs> I got him. Uh, I'm just a toad. That's also what the window was about, by the way. I'm changing my story. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. Now what? Hmm. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. Survey says I'll you were lying to me again. <laughs> uh, thank you, Detective. Uh, <laughs> interface fable. He's my only deputy. <laughs> oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing Dude, I've clearly fucking caught you <laughs> not telling me the truth. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> Why don't you believe me? Because you're obviously lying. <laughs> because de de Deputy HUD told me you lied to me twice. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, you can always trust the notifications, that's right. But I know you're lying He's about very you. reliable. Oh, no. You're just gonna make it worse for de yourself the longer Deputy you HUD. I'm Deputy HUD. I'm bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Now I'm gonna kick your ass with this fire poker. <laughs> Never mind, it was really slippery with your blood. I don't want this to take you gross. Oh, it fell right out of my hand. Couldn't keep a grip. No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Hmm. 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 He does the kicky leg again. The game's like, do you get it? Do you get it yet? Do you get it? <laughs> that broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing. And why He's does the lamp have to be? He's really <laughs> not good at lying. <laughs> not great. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What, are you what if I'm okay with fire here. hazards? You don't know. Now it's there. I did some refiguring. <laughs> some refiguring. Not plug it in. Come on, Toad. I'll just I'm trying to save no money on my bill. <laughs> I don't keep it plugged in all the time. God, Big B. Big B. I switch things out. Sometimes I don't need a fan. Shut up. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this. I was just here rearranging my empty crate. Belongings. I'm sorry I call. Really, I am. But will you please... Please just bugger off. No, not yet. Actually, I'm not, not gonna yet, do that. You say to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? You obviously well, are. Too. To room for a fair bit of time. Deputy HUD told me three <laughs> times, <laughs> and he's a deputy. I mean, <laughs> are you a deputy, Toad? Where's your badge? He carries a badge with him. Did you know that? Little notifications have a badge next to it from now on. <laughs> yeah. Just to show it off. <laughs> These stories have made no sense. You didn't. You think you'd be better at telling stories because you're a fable? <laughs> yeah, you are one. You should know. You didn't bump the lamp. Let me load in my responses because I did all the correct choices. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. She check, check, and check. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily. That was a fucking cool weevil. <laughs> oh, oh, Bigby, I wish you'd seen that weevil. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. <laughs> Whoops. Oh god, your brain. I can see it. Uh It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? Yeah, he dunked him like a Is basketball through a hoop. <laughs> Toad Jr. is very small. It was very easy for him, actually. It was pretty impressive. He bounced. He's a very bouncy boy. He's fine, but still. I mean, I literally had a lead on a guy who was probably maybe dead. Go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. 
I wanted to, really. Uh -huh, really. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. He said he'd pin him on the wall like he does his weevils. Uh oh, oh no. Who's coat? Not the weevil. You killed the weevil. Everyone Where's spins coat? on Who's Junior. You, you killed the weevil. Uh, Snow's like you told me he was just hanging out on the wall by himself. <laughs> you said they can crawl. <laughs> What's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Apparently, Junior doesn't like whatever the hell that thing is on its shirt. Is that like a cactus or something? Definitely, we get swept up by Santa. Yep, it sure is a donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear this it. This doesn't look like Santa. <laughs> This is the weirdest Santa I've ever seen. Wait. Santa, you've lost weight. Mysterious object. It's an envelope. Uh, it says rub a dub dub. Let's eat some grub. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Give it to me, Big Bean. Snow says snatching it out. I mean, we should probably give it to Prince Lawrence, right? Uh, he's apparently alive, I think. So. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. <laughs> we go back and he's just still sitting there in the chair. Come back and he's been twisted into a pretzel. <laughs> Beetle D and Dumb came back. Oh no. Well, he's like, I'm still fine. It's just this really uncomfortable and unfortunate. <laughs> you doing all right? Thanks. I am, uh, in fact, a pretzel. Goodbye. Okay, well, you worry, better let that weevil out. Earlier. That weevil's a fable. It's the one that the weevil time is about. <laughs> it's it's the weevil, yeah. It is the weevil who ushers in the time. <laughs> you pinned the weevil on the wall, Junior? Jesus. <laughs> Wanna go high? <laughs> does it always go that smoothly? Not often. When I buy this brand, it does. So Can't go wrong with lung butter. Sure. Oh, I love I that lung butter. Smooth, refreshing. Not because of Rich, the delicious. I'm a fable. I can't even get cancer. It's fine. <laughs> Someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. No, I was glaring at the fact that somebody littered that can behind you. It was really annoying. <laughs> Specifically put it there instead of like just throwing it on the ground like normal. Th that means they went out of their way to make sure people would see it. I'm walking. Uh, forget a booty. Forget a booty. I'm walking here. <laughs> I am walking here. I am walking here. <laughs> forget a booty. <laughs> it feels like we're always a step behind. A woodsman is the only lead we've got. And he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. He Getting some answers. Saw Faith alive to clear things up. before I, hope you're right. I did. Big so, what if I'm the one who killed her? Who but Bigby, I thought you said that he flushed himself down a manhole after you kicked his ass. <laughs> I know it's still early, but. I just feel mm -hmm. a step behind. Oh, you're timed. You gotta switch between <laughs> these while timed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we know enough yet at all. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Uh, we'll go with the ladder so that I can see mysterious. Meanwhile, he was like thinking of baby shark. And so. <laughs> baby shark. Do, do, do. do you think baby sharks here in Fable Town? Yeah. <laughs> I wish there was. Sorry. Do you think baby sharks here in this table? So he <laughs> tries again. <laughs> I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. That's all. I love Deputy HUD, but he can't really like, of like question people or that. investigate. Far from it. Well, no, his power is letting you know how on track you are. He can look oh. into people's souls. <laughs> he knows when people will remember things. It's he can see into the future. Fair. You really lucked out getting deputy hood, honestly. <laughs> Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. 
We pay so I mean, much attention to the Jesus, lay off the horn. God. It, it doesn't seem like people in the woodland are doing all that great either. To start with. She's in the middle of She's in the middle of saying this. She's just like, hey, cab driver, you don't have to go 80 down this street, by the way. <laughs> I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. I thought the magic would follow us to New York, but oh god, it's just so grimy here. Ugh. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Open 24 hours, and it has been this whole... It's just a broken oh, it, never mind, it's closed. <laughs> Back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything needing And you're help. stuck waiting behind Larry the normal human for like days. Has he ever gotten in? H has anybody seen him like Larry actually go home? Has he ever tried knocking? Does he just stand there thinking someone will let him in? Are we sure he's actually a normal human? Has anybody seen him like eat or go anywhere other than there <laughs> now that i think about it there's not supposed to be a lion Do people just line up behind him thinking there's a lion political <laughs> stuff well that's not saying much i trust you to make the right decision i hope you're right trip trap just a loud screech while he goes from 80 to zero Yeah. Whatever they're looking at in that garbage can seems interesting. I'm gonna go hang out with them for a while. You can take it from here, right, Snow? Maybe you... Okay. <laughs> Three apples, the new Broadway hit. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Don't worry. Don't I'm the big bad wolf. I'll be okay. I'm big and I am also, I'm told, bad. I can't promise everybody else will be okay, but I'll be okay. I'll be back after I suplex a few people. <laughs> Later. I only got to suplex a couple. It's fine. I gotta get in my daily suplexing. Dramatically tries to take a walk down the stairs, trips on the first step and just barrels down it. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad she drove away. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is this the bar where Satan gives advice? Sweet. Satan, you look different than I expected. Hey, it's that guy that calls you a Josh Darmeen word. Remember that? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So well, I, I don't see him. Ahead. That's true. Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. The mayor told me like three hours ago that he was here, <laughs> so you're probably lying. I mean, he's probably still here, right? He hasn't been here for a few weeks. The mayor told me he was here a few hours ago. No, maybe. I checked the oh, mirror yesterday and it's saw him yeah. stumbling in here. <laughs> Stop lying. Well, if he's been here at all, which I don't know. I mean, I guess you could have not been on shift at that point and been somebody else. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? <laughs> Who are you? I actually don't know the character that is. Well. I don't know who he is either. Yeah. I don't recognize either of these. Hold on, let me pull out my Pokedex to find out what the <laughs> f*** you are. Uh, if only I had brought that book and the monkey. If only I brought that book where we attach a smartphone to the front with the camera so it could just read you. And then it has a little robot arm that flips to the correct page. And then a little voice comes out. All like bit crushed like it's a Pokedex. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what year this takes place in because this is before the comics and there's a bunch of CRT TVs all over the place. Yeah, the... A lot of these walk out the door. Yeah, it's I called I think there was a a poster that said something about the future year of like 1996 or 8 or something on it. 
Uh, on the back, you saw it while he was holding that the cigarette brand that he smokes is called Huff and Puff. By the way, <laughs> in case you didn't see that poster, should have gone with lung butter, but you know whatever. Why didn't you dump it? I was saving it for when he comes you back. Want a cleaner place? Feel free to get the fuck out of here. Maybe I want to drink that drink. Huh? <laughs> dump it, I can't have it. Yeah. I'm good at picking up. He leans stuff. down and like tries to stick his face in it and look it up. <laughs> <laughs> like Cohen did. Yeah. Now if you'll excuse me, I, I have to eat this entire jar of pickled eggs. Excuse me. Place. Takes off the top, just starts pouring it in his mouth. But there's only one right next to you. You ever had a pickled a egg? Time? No, I. I don't know if it sounds that good. Whenever I hear pickled eggs, like green, I'm like, is that really safe to eat? <laughs> Give me. I would like to eat your pickled egg textures. Thank you. you I really want a pickled egg. Sure. <laughs> you know me, the big bad wolf, loves pickled eggs. Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Dragon Wing. Dragon Wing. Live in Madison Square, May 27th, 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Be there or be air. <laughs> Opening by Dirty Mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you didn't tell me you had a bathroom. <laughs> you lied to me. I really had to go. <laughs> There weren't any bushes outside. It has a sign on the front that says restroom, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I can't read. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't read. <laughs> Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Oh my god. Hi, Woodsman. Well, you're all under arrest. They have to negotiate so you can get that guy's stool so you can just slowly <laughs> stool your way closer to him. I said no. You'll be back. Now here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. You weren't through fighting last night. Well, that's because you beat me and the fight's over and I'm through. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not fighting right now anymore. You you won that one. God. Way to rub it in, jeez. Do you not see the bandage on the back of my head? You, you won. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't even do that, Woodsman. You still won, though. <laughs> That's not how I remember it, but at the same time, I don't remember much. Everything's kind of jumbled together because you did axe my brain. This doesn't have to go like this. <laughs> I don't really exactly remember what happened on account of the axe in my brain. Yeah, Bragby. I want to talk to you. <laughs> you okay, Greg. Apparently, these are two of the only people that show up at this bar because of the scorecard back there. Only has one other initial on it. <laughs> it's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. Well, if you stopped hitting women, that would be a lot easier for you to stop being a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly comfortable with it. Uh, but Maybe don't do that, and things will go a little bit better. Some folks are forced. I don't do that, which is why I'm not the bad guy. Are you following me? Guess you want to know about the girl, amongst other things. Sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. But she had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, so, so that's what it was. You were planning on robbing her? And not huh? cutting her head off grandma, with your grandma, grandma. presumably magic axe. What are you talking about? I was hungry and you ate her first. Her grandmother. Oh, okay, he's talking about the original story. Already there. Yeah. 
I see. I only yeah. saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played a lot. All I got was a really good reputation and like a and hero's welcome everywhere I went. Boom. Right now and again. Meanwhile, you were in a river with rocks in your stomach. <laughs> I already know this yeah, it's not very fun good. being in a river with rocks in my stomach. Right. Well, you shouldn't have eaten the grandma. Hear about faith. She was murdered. But I was so hungry. I was also hungry. I relate. No. Are we best friends? Did we just become best friends? <laughs> or did we just become best friends? <laughs> Can I be a deputy too? I only have room for one deputy right now. I gotta get that that badge custom made. It's all plastic and junk. I'm a piece of shit. Okay, I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? I kind of do believe you, actually. Up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. No, you were guilty. Baby. We're solving this case uh, in the I first and only it. episode. He was here. <laughs> That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? I mean... Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witch. That hell. sounds but fun. Whatever that know is. It. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. I notice it hasn't given shut me a chance to up, respond Woody. to this. Shit ain't just about you. No, shut up and just put your hands up. We <laughs> enjoy the ride. We sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake. Down. Are we rich? Yeah, right, Big B. You're not, but you work for people who are. It's Ichabod Crane like and junk. That. There are problems with you the see him with his pocket watch and his little glasses i mean i guess he is right but i haven't gotten the impression literally anybody else is except maybe snow snow white looks pretty like pretty well dressed up a literal king lives there too apparently <laughs> or isn't i guess i think he's missing actually am i wrong oh, it gets bigger that's a weird thing to say oh, oh baby are you flirting with me oh my god you're beautiful Hi, hello, where did your clothes go? Should have walked out of here when you My had a what big teeth you have. You're scaring the nah. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh. Okay. For you. I knew he was Grendel. I don't know who the fuck she is. Just maybe just a regular troll. A variety of troll, I guess. Oh, it's his mom. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, Grendel is a pretty big name, so this might be a problem. Just punch him until he stops. But first, you have to get naked. <laughs> if I transform, do my clothes also disappear? <laughs> I guess I'll just lean back on the bar and just drink, says the woodsman. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even a part of this right now. Uh, he doesn't care about that at all, apparently. You know she has- you guys are gonna have to pay for all this damage, right? We have magic, we just make goblin gold or whatever the hell they did in Harry Potter. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll just let this happen. I mean, if he's dead, I won't go in the witching well. Yeah, it- oh. Uh -oh. oh, I'm being a little werewolfy. He's becoming his fursona, kids. <laughs> Just a little bit werewolfy, though. Just a little bit. To show how fucking overpowered he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really easy, actually. Oh, I didn't. I thought we were playing. God. <laughs> Half of that was your fault, dumbass. <laughs> Stab! You missed. There you go, now you go. Good. I got him. It's fine. He'll be okay. The knee again. He's a really famous fable. He'll be okay. He's had enough. You've done your signature knee kick thing. Please, just let him fall. <laughs> I 
he did attack me first. To be fair. <laughs> I chose Whiskey. to walk away. Thank you, Detective HUD. Deputy HUD. <laughs> Deputy HUD. <laughs> Double. Sugar in water. <laughs> I like the little tap at the end that you did there. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm back to normal. It's a good thing you keep anti-werewolf juice <laughs> on tap here. Submit a damage report with my office. Fable town. <laughs> <pay for that. laughs> Ukraine. <George> <laughs> yeah. And a glass. Don't. Even think about but yeah, it. I saw you trying to <laughs> sneak out there. The what were we gonna do? Hide in the bathroom? I think I forgot you were here. Take me in. <laughs> he attacked me first. He you idiot. literally attacked me first. Everybody who's fought me has attacked me first. Well, you did start it. I guess that's true. Is there somebody else I have to fight now? All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl. Oh hi. Oh. He's like crying. <laughs> oh, he kicked my ass so hard. He's actually crying. Boo! What? <laughs> hey, dork! Get ready to make his choice. Well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, dead time dilation, wolf powers. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the <laughs> the woodsman, so. Man, German suplex. <laughs> Shit. He's the one you you realize there's no me. exit in there, woodsman. Your brother won't be saving you. This it's a bathroom. You go in there, he's like trying to squeeze out the little tiny window they have like way up on the wall. <laughs> he's like stuck. He's like, oh. You come back like hours later and he's still there trying to get out. <laughs> the Eggman Diner. Is no one like normal going to question seeing you do this? No, it's fine. I mean, I guess it's just whatever. I've seen weirder shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're just into that. <laughs> it's a citizen's arrest. Now, fuck. Do anything <laughs> stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. He looks like he can probably break those cuffs. I can break these locks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have... some police here, which is unfortunate. Hmm... Oh my god. Hey, uh, uh, do, okay. Well, I mean, all right, whatever. <laughs> God just tackles you. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Here he comes, he's gonna get you. <laughs> You should just like lazily wipe your hand past them and they just like flop over because you're so much stronger. Uh, oh my well, god! That's unfortunate. Oh my god! I can't believe that you choosing to catch that one guy killed Snow White time. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely my fault. That definitely doesn't always happen, I'm sure. I can't believe that you're the reason she's dead now. <laughs> Where's your oh, God, if only the chair had stopped the killer. One good reason I should tell you anything. Now, I want you to do something, Time. Uh, when you see Where's these the of... next times clips, uh -huh. make note of them, because sometimes they're completely f different. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was you, Crane. Oh, and that's when he like, daredevil fought people in a corridor. That's really cool. <laughs> I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. Oh, you blur out whoever that might be. <laughs> yeah. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to. Oh, we're gonna have to blur that out too. We can arrange. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do, friend on friend? At the end. Here's a bunch of random quotes. Here's a bunch of crap out of context. 
maybe this will happen. Look at you fighting beasts in an alleyway, I guess, maybe. Is that you? Well, I went a little bit more werewolfy. I went beast mode. Not completely beast mode. Because I was fighting beast, <laughs> guys. You gotta... Not... No. Oh. Only 15.5% of players <laughs> held on to their money, you greedy piece of shit. <laughs> Did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? Only 19.5% <laughs> of players tried to stay out of it. Probably because, like I said, if you say I'm out of it, they're like, okay, so no then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only 30.8. Look at you in the minority time. Only 30.8% of players went to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. It prevented Prince Lawrence's death, which was apparently on the table, I guess. 4%. <laughs> 4%. Only 4%. Oh, who? you and 26.8% of players didn't say anything. I don't even know. Who, who is this? Have we seen him? I'm confused what these, what are these percentages uh, Who is my prime indicate? suspect, apparently? It's, uh, I guess, whoever this is. You never, I guess that if you didn't answer or chose like some other option, it would be that guy. I guess. Which I guess is the mysterious fifth option. Who are you? That's Bluebeard. Oh, that is Bluebeard. That's right. We haven't spoken to him yet, but he had an article or an uh, entry in the book of fables that well, he didn't read. Crichton said he's out of town, right? No, he's here. Well, he might be out of town. I, I, he might have said that, but you do see him in the game. So. I mean, clearly, because he has character and model right there. I arrested D. Like anybody would have a brain would. I did the same thing. Join the discussion now. <laughs> wow. I'm sure those are lively and active. They <laughs> might actually be lively and active because there's a sequel coming. <laughs> well. I did it. That's episode one, kiddo. That's episode one. Dum, 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 <laughs> dum, 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 dum. What do you think about the game so far, Time? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty cool. I liked it a lot, too. I like the setting, too. I've been meaning to read the comics, but I never got around to it. But now, apparently, they're going to be entering the public domain, which means that anybody could read them, I guess. It means that, like, anybody can write stories in them, too. Well, public domain means that you can also just read them, and nobody has the rights to prevent you from reading them online. Because it's publicly accessible. So somebody can just upload the whole series, and somebody can just go and read them. Unless there's some kind of, like, caveat to how he's doing it that I don't know. Well, I don't know, maybe... Um, I think I was trying to ask you when you said this like three episodes ago, but is did he say why he's doing it in public domain? Uh, I don't think I heard anything about why. You could probably we could probably look it up at some point, and maybe before next time. Look it up, and then yeah, next episode we'll talk about why he wants to do it. But uh, that's interesting. Maybe it's because he's like, well, it's all based off of fables and stuff, so. And I've already made the money that I was going to make off of it. <laughs> Who is that? Why does that look like a dude in like a single like swimsuit? <laughs> <laughs> I, doing the Bigfoot pose. It kind of looks like the uh, Grendel's mom from the bar, actually, I think. Uh, the creator of the comic book series Fable says, you know, you now own his work. Uh, let me see if I can skim this and see if it says why. Talk about stuff time. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Apparently, he's just pissed off at DZ, oh. DC, it seems. <laughs> he was like, they would, like, I guess, meddle with the stuff that he wanted to do. Or ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> so it's because he's mad at DC. I mean, whatever. That means I get to read these comics pretty soon. Uh, let's read the extras and look at the Book of Fables. Yeah, that time. we can look at that. And the next episode, we'll start episode two. Got the Book of Fables. I've got player choices. I've got achievements. Look at that Book of Fables, kid. We got a pretty good... There's one here from... I think that... Yeah, I think that you have to replay these to get all of the entries unlocked. To pick things you didn't pick before. One of the other choices leads to, like, a different character showing up or something. Me... It's you. The renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Big Bigby now acts as Fable Town Sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. However, due to his rough 
past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Bigby is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. How long has he been sheriff? Probably since they showed up or shortly after. Because, like, cause it's been like hundreds of years, though, right? So you'd think that he'd be like... Yeah, you're right. So I guess that if they've been around for hundreds of years, this is a recent decision. Yeah, because so like you'd think they'd be used to it by now, and he'd be like, settled in, right? You would think. I guess, the, who knows? <laughs> Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged <laughs> sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. What a jerk. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fabletown. Wait, he's only the deputy mayor? Who's the actual mayor? King Cole. Really? Yeah. Oh. Who's missing and I think continues to be missing in the comics as well. <laughs> he, he's just... He's around. He's just around. <laughs> it was him. He's the killer. Oh my god. The Woodsman. The Woodsman was one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bigby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him, up, fill, filled him full of rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he is only, only known as the Woodsman. Yeah, it's pretty rough not having people know your name. It's a little thing, but I like how the character models move in this instead of just being a static image. Yeah, they kind of have like a little bit of an idle animation. That's kind of fun. The Faith. The Donkey Skin Girl. Faith, otherwise known as the Donkey Skin Girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful pr princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of the neighboring kingdom. Her life should have had a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fable Town. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. Apparently, uh, Big B, when he first showed up, spent many years wandering Europe. Oh, okay. Just kind of fucking around, and the locals were very superstitious and blaming him for a bunch of junk. Because he's the big bad wolf, yes. Because he's the big bad wolf. And eventually Snow White and another character tracked him down and asked him, like, to come over and do this for safety in exchange. Yeah, hey, hey, you want to come to New York? Also, apparently he didn't have a human form back then, so that's probably why they were blaming him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah... But so he, he that that's why he wasn't here. But he apparently was in Salem in night, 60 nights. God, there's so much more. <laughs> this goes back like hundreds of years, kids. Read the comics. They're going to be available to everybody soon because DC are assholes, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, DC. <laughs> Thanks, DC, for being jerks. I like free comics. Those are cool. I'll pay for the sequel to this game. I'm sure he'll get some out of that. This is property. Royalties or something. The beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all their wealth behind. You couldn't have, like, crammed some gold coins in your pockets or something before you left? You couldn't swallow them? I mean, come on. <laughs> what else are you using your gut for? <laughs> You're fleeing. Now they live in a modest studio in Fabletown, New York. Although times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest-lasting relationship of all the fables. Well, uh, they seem to be having a little bit of trouble at the moment. Thank you, beauty, uh, subtitled caring wife, Pat Pat. <laughs> A Beast, subtitle, concerned husband. Pat Pat. Pat Pat. What you don't know is Beast also does the leg kicky. <laughs> <laughs> when you, like, scratch his head. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot in common, Beast and B B Big B. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you would just lump them together like that. They actually have very different origins and, like, societal and cultural differences. I can't believe you just do that. Wow. 
Look at Beast uncomfortable with what you just said. He's like, mm. <laughs> I, I don't know. He's looking a little blank there. He's like a million miles away thinking about beauty right now. Yeah. Oh, where is she? How is she? Who is she? Why is she? <laughs> when is she? <laughs> the Beast and his wife, Beauty, left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He's able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute. Growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Well, it can't be that bad if he's normal looking, because apparently that's uh, related to his relate how, how his relationship with Beauty is doing, so... Mr. Toad is the superintendent of a defunct tenement at the edge of Fable Town proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fable Town law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't consu too concerned with what the law is, and has to be reminded often. Colin, couch surfer. Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs. Back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf, who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables, who couldn't pass for human, were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Un unable to stand such a boring life, constant Colin constantly makes trips to Fable Town to bother Big B. He is always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. How does he get here? He gets shipped in in the back of a truck. <laughs> you don't want to know the rest. You don't um, want. You don't want to know. You don't want to know the rest. Ichabod Crane, Deputy Mayor of Fable Town. Hailing from the haunted, haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been deputy mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable 115 Town's... years? Yeah, that's a while. Why isn't he just mayor at this point? Why is? I mean, I guess the mayor's been mayoring for. I mean, even I guess if he's been hanging that. around for 115 years doing this deputy, sh like. Well, I mean, we've been here for like 500 years. I don't know when he might eventually come back. This is like a vacation time for him. <laughs> uh, as one of the Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. He sounds like a great person to be being our deputy mayor for 115 years. <laughs> Who? Who? Are they voting for whoever the mayor is, or, like, how did he get this job? Well, he, it says deputy mayor, so I assume the mayor appointed him. I guess. Because that's what you do with a deputy mayor, right? If you're deputy, then that means you were deputized by someone. Yeah, I suppose. Unless I'm wrong. They could do things different in Fable Town. I don't know. I haven't been there. The, the mayor who definitely exists. King Cole does exist. He's, like, led them out when their thing was falling apart, I think. Buffkin, Fable Town Librarian. Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the Land of Oz. Now as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when he get when something goes wrong, he'll assume he'll he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. Yeah, he is the winged monkey. Apparently there was a comic book version of this game. Oh, yeah? Like, after they made the game, they did, like, a comic version of it. And the scene you just saw of finding Snow White's head has King Cole in the crowd in the background. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. That might have been a f*** up or just, like, an Easter egg. But He's around, but we just never see him. <laughs> he's just, he's always watching, guys. He's just perched like a gargoyle on the top of a corner of a skyscraper watching like Batman. Wearing a Batman mask, going, I'm Batman, I'm Batman, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Fable Town, home of the fables. Fable Town is a community located in Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people, or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood. But it is really the home of fables from many worlds, and within the and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. Whoops. The farm. 
Fable Town Annex. Whoops. Pat, pat. <laughs> the farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, you're really quick and comfortable with saying that word, by the way. What? Just gonna say, just coming out with that M word. What? Mondays. Oh. <laughs> wow. Can't believe you just be so comfortable throwing that around. <laughs> <laughs> to them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out of the, out to the, into the city anyway. Quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote, sneak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the M word. <laughs> non fables. Shouldn't you two be doing something instead of hanging around your car? <laughs> I mean, they're cops. What are they going to do? Though they heard you, he looked directly at you. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Short for Monday. <laughs> it's just straight up derogatory. Yeah. That's mean. Yeah. You're boring and mundane, stupid ass human. <laughs> I don't care if you heard me. You'll be dead in like got 80 years. I'll still be around. <laughs> Those normies. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> It's a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warning spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should peak, pick, how is that pronounced? Peak. 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 The curiosity of scrutiny, or scrutiny of a large group of Mondays, these magical protect protection charge would over charms would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Fable Town, one of Big Me's primary functions is to ensure the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, you're supposed to pronounce click cleek because it's spelled like peak. Are you? It's pronounced cleek. I mean, okay. there's a lot of words that are spelled the same, but are not pronounced the same. It's literally pronounced cleek. I am 100% certain. Am I wrong? Does anybody else think I'm wrong? I'm going to look it up right now and prove you wrong. I don't think I've ever heard of that. No, not cleek er. Whoops. <laughs> cleek. Pronounce cleek like with an I, dork. Mm, suspicious. Nerd. False. Would mother hacking cleek? Fake. Click? Mmm, suspicious. <laughs> Fake news. It's true, I promise. Glamours. Disguise spell. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non human fables in order to pass for humans among the Mondays. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Man, it'd be real bad if you had a sudden failure, Grendel's mom. Yeah, it would be somewhat unfortunate. <laughs> oh god, I wish somebody would banish me, like, really bad. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> they still haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> they just left me here. My fable's really obscure. I'm really taking a long time to come back from this. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence, and, Prince Lawrence and his wife, Faith, immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find, find aid in a community of fe fe fellow fables, but without enough money... Be, 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 be. I can talk tonight, it's fine. <laughs> but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that, the me that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try and make it on her own, and now, without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. The Tweedles. Hired goons. The Tweedles. The Tweedle Tweedles. Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at them passing for completely regular normal humans. Well, it's fine. You don't, I mean... I guess. For Telltale Game, they do look like normal humans. <laughs> The Tweedle Brothers, Dumb and Dee, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. They are as inseparable as they are ruthless. Oh my god, remember when they double punched you and squished your head like a pancake? Yeah, and then they kicked me in the ribs a few times. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, that'll happen sometimes. It's fine. I can take it. I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> How come your tattoo didn't change at all? That would have been kind of cool if it got, like, super cool or anything. 
Well, it's under the dress, so you can't see that the butterfly now also has big teeth and horns. Oh my god. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll, and the owner of the Trip Trap Bar. She's glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables, with little to spare. But she has no patience for the Fable Town government, and has done nothing to locate her missing sister. Oh. Does it say anything about it being Grendel's mom? No, it might not actually be. Miles, you lie to us? She has a missing sister, apparently. Is this hidden lore? I think we got bamboozled time. This might be hidden lore. We may have been tricked. We might have been b, -b, -b bamboozled The Grendel. Drifter. Grendel just wants pat, to be pat. left alone. Pat, pat. <laughs> In the old days, he terrorized North Norse Mead Halls, but lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quiet, dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to, avoid, to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who've learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. I think we got b -b -b bamboozled. I think we got bamboozled. Oh my god. <laughs> Bluebeard. That beard doesn't look blue at all. Yeah, if you, yeah, I think it isn't. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> the lighting's not super great in this. I, I guess. We'll find out. A wealthy scoundrel. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables <laughs> in New York. That's what he puts on like job applications. Wealthy scoundrel. <laughs> That's me. It's on his resume. <laughs> It's on his business cards. Oh my god. He's got that fancy one from like American Psycho. <laughs> his wealthy scoundrel on it. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions, and he often uses this influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if I he... got better. <laughs> I got better. Shut up, it's fine. I had my fill, it got boring. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Shut up. I found I have other hobbies now. <laughs> but it, stop asking questions. But even if you By the way, you're invited to my next wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but even if he, he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane, whatever that is. Whatever that is. Big B's mercy. Mercy, if you had beaten him up instead of letting him sit there, you'd have gotten the mean one, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Oh my god. In the days leading up to the Exodus, the big bad wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beast's preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption. Hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his, dis his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while sparing their prisoners. He was super OP. It was kind of bullshit. <laughs> he was a little ridiculous. It was unfair. <laughs> unfair, and then they nerfed him, and that's why everyone left. <laughs> One day he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely pla placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two would meet again in the Mundy world. Well, he saved a Snow White. But now she's 100% dead forever. Oh, forever, guys. <laughs> well, that's uh, the Book of Fables for Chapter 1. We don't get that final entry because you were nice. But uh, that, that's everything we got for now. I guess they listed that first because they knew most people would just not be a jerk. <laughs> Hopefully, because if you choose to be a jerk the first time, you're kind of just a jerk. Yeah, I mean, it did say... Or no, no, wrong thing. Never mind. I think I didn't see you walk past me, Woodsman, but I saw you, <laughs> motherfucker. And there's Crane. You too, Crane, you mother hacker. And You too, Snow. Nice seeing you. Bye. And regular cop. Just mauls him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wolf Among Us. I'm Time. He's Cable. Uh, last time we... Hung out Don't even worry about the last time, time, because we're going to get a recap when you start this episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to get a recap of all your choices. Well, we're going into episode two then. Uh, this is the guy who we have not yet m met, but that my 
the stats listed as the highest percentage. He's most for... suspicious <laughs> of this boy because he hasn't committed to anyone else. The game's like, where's well, a mysterious other character then? <laughs> Whoever this guy is, let's go find out, maybe. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey. <laughs> it just cuts in and just smack. <laughs> just slap, yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to be a good boy. A good boy. You need to earn those pets and pats and scritches after all. Staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen Did she say that? I don't remember that. I think she said that. Mm. Come with me. Man, it's really skipping through. <laughs> well, they gotta summarize that whole like two plus hours into like five minutes, maybe. Don't interrupt Less me. actually. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <laughs> oh, no. You'd think he'd have, like, enhanced senses that would let him know somebody's sneaking up behind him or something. Well, no, d d uh, dumb is really sneaky. You don't get it. <laughs> They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named... This is how you kick the shit out of Grendel. <laughs> hey, this is before that thing we just saw. <laughs> it did that out of order. You're out of order. This whole system's out of order. <laughs> this is also out of order. Yeah, this was before you even walked into the bar. <laughs> And then it cuts to you walking in and, like, looking at your name tag on the floor and be like, Oh, man, haunters. <laughs> Not again. Not again. Well time. I need to get some super glue for that next time. You're going to need a lot of super glue for this head you just found, too. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Can we even show that? <laughs> this is public access television. Now we have to blur it out. <laughs> it was just that a whole time ever since he saw it. That same expression, just kind of staring blankly. They brought him here in the back of a cop car and they just picked him up while he was stuck looking that way. <laughs> he was in the same pose the whole time. They had to like bend his legs manually so he could sit. <laughs> Lay him down in the, across the back seat. They just, they just opened the trunk and tossed him in. They didn't even close the trunk. They just drove away with him like hanging out of it. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything. My, may, maybe. Is that a threat? Possible potential love interest is dead now, so. I didn't think well, well, no, it's not threat. It's I'm mad because someone I liked is dead. Look, I know what you must be Do going you? Through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. <laughs> I remember when I did this scene, I just had him smoke and not say anything <laughs> the whole time. Talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Watch your f***ing mouth, lady. I was going to tell you everything I knew, but now I'm going to keep it to myself because you're a potty mouth. Uh, lady, you are a normal human and I am the big bad wolf. I am so incredibly not intimidated by you. I could walk through you. <laughs> I could walk through this whole police station. Cops. Always trying to empathize with people. <laughs> Bigby, aren't you technically a cop? No, he's a sheriff. I guess. Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Twice? <laughs> yeah, twice. No, didn't think so. I mean, I guess I only technically just met the first one, but... <laughs> you were nice to her. She was appreciative, I think. <laughs> huh? Why? What? Your brain is shrinking. <laughs> You look nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Detective Brannigan. Only Monica. Only Monica. Only Monica. What? What? 
What is happening? I am a scientist. Oh, scientist. Uh, somebody is using a psychic attack, I see. Shit, her head is gonna explode like scanners. <laughs> it's just whoop! <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's the one scene everybody remembers from scanners that happens like right at the start. <laughs> Whatever, they're just normal humans, fuck them. <laughs> He's like, okay. Hi, did- We have to go, now. Do you have psychic powers, Crane? Hello? It's a good thing you found the evidence box marked evidence. <laughs> She'll be fine. It's you just gonna eat her later? Spell. Very expensive. But it Stop it, baby. We gotta get- Just to shut up. Get you have those? And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. But what about all the other crimes that they probably had to deal with in the last 24 hours? I had to finish my delicious lung butter cigarette. <laughs> lung butter, available now at your local Kmart. Smooth and delicious. Mm. Refreshing. Kmart. <laughs> is Kmart even still around? I don't know. I guess this is the 90s, maybe, so... Oh, yeah, they'd be... Well, I don't know when do they Kmart start showing up. Uh, I don't know, actually. We gotta head up that Circuit City, <laughs> and if they don't have what we need, we'll have to go to the Radio Shack. <laughs> and then on the way home, we'll hit that Hollywood Blockbuster. Or Hollywood Video, and then the Blockbuster, they don't have the movie we want. Stop referencing dead shops that nobody cares about anymore. Thanks for bailing me out. Thanks for hitting me up with that tab at the bar. <laughs> you respond with. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. The 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 head thing has distracted, and he's never even going to think about that again. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard. Yeah, well, the woodsman has an orgy of evidence, and it's too suspicious, so it's obviously not him. Oh, Blueboard, Bluebeard is here. Implicate an innocent man, yeah. and people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. <laughs> I like you're involved in the murders, Crane. I, I like how we have. Uh, Two dead ladies who were decapitated now, and a guy who was known for decapitating ladies. And nobody has even mentioned him as a suspect yet. Well, I mean, you've had several chances to, you just didn't. <laughs> I mean, I could have, but I also didn't think he was even in town, so... I don't know why you thought that. I don't think anybody said that. I think even when you said it the first time, I was like, what? I don't think so. I thought that's what he said. I mean, maybe he just got back. You don't know. I guess. It wasn't in town. He was under it. He was in the sewers. I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. He'll remember that. This used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it repeated every day. <laughs> Everything's gotten so confused. Don't miss having to run for for my life, terrified every single time. But eh, I mean, she, uh, I don't really miss the part where he throws his jack o' lantern head in my face either. <laughs> it hurt. It was not why, great. Like I have a big nose. That's a big target. I guess fine. I suppose she could come off as callous sometimes. Could she? she wasn't. I didn't get that impression. That I mean, she seemed very no nonsense. Yeah, but that wouldn't really say callous. Well, what about the times when she baps you in the head when you wanted to eat that Lawrence guy you thought was dead? That was pretty callous. I mean, she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Well, well, it'll we'll start multiplying. There was one murder one night, then a second murder the second. Tomorrow it'll be four, then eight. We'll okay, wow. oh, <laughs> we'll run out of lady fables eventually. I'm sure. Sigh, and then he presses his nose, says "Reparo," and fixes his <laughs> window, and is like, "There, get, I got it." <laughs> With his nose. <laughs> With his nose, yeah, like Santa, he like <laughs> does his nose thing. Oh, oh thing. I see. Yeah. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just it's magic. Really like <laughs> your you're not really cleaning the knife. You're doing the back edge of the blade. <laughs> yeah. What do you think you're doing? 
You're also not going to cut him. That's the back of the blade. You're <laughs> no, really bad at this. No, it's a. I think it's forward curved. Is it? It's like a kukri then? Yeah. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence. Wait, stop the door. Great. Now we're all fucking locked in here. <laughs> we're stuck. We gotta wait until maintenance comes down here in like eight hours. <laughs> Hello, Big B. Hello, Governor. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. <laughs> Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shut up, not Lee. It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I mean... The other one wasn't, though. Have questions for you, D. Are we sure when she died? We don't actually know, but I mean... This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. Can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. Have to find some place to cool off. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. All right. Go ahead and just wet willy time, nerd. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the worst Get noogie. Over here. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Just tickling. That suck, actually. Yeah. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, makes me laugh. Just put that away. Oh, the torture is the fact that you referenced Nickelback. God. <laughs> We just I hate the fact that they were in the homelands. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> we just... <laughs> Nickelback is... <laughs> Th that band was formed by fables. Oh no. <laughs> They're all... Oh no. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just save that for later then. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of Okay, then work Same with me. Yeah, if that was true, you'd just be telling me what the fuck you know. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Uh-huh. You definitely don't know. Yes. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. My brother. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Just the rest of Snow White's body, he's just pouring <laughs> out of this box. It was just in, the, in his pocket. <laughs> you just carry this around? Always Drink it! I mean, who doesn't, really? <laughs> Smash D. <laughs> I guess you didn't pick glass in when you were with the woodsman. Yeah, I didn't hit the woodsman. Hurt, I guess. No, I didn't even notice that. I was kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd press it. That was a big meme for this game for a while. Look, Big B, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? Does Don't you think he'd s give us more than what we want to know if we didn't have a head on his fucking shoulders? Can I just cut his head off? It's been a while. What what voice does he have? I can't tell you where he, he has the voice of Lee. From season one of Walking Dead. <laughs> I don't I th know where he is now. I don't know where I've heard him from. Just leave Lee, him probably. I haven't watched Walking Dead. <laughs> or any Telltale game That's after Walking Dead season one, because they bring him back. You said you were trying to find something. You might have done stuff in other games. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want? It's time for a gosh darn noogie, Sorry. I promised you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, not the noogie. I got a receding hairline, please don't. <laughs> uh, Big B's noogie is infamous. You're so pleasant. Infamous, guys. I was kidding. I, I don't want to be your friend. Money. You always carry this is going in my pocket. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I guess I actually pocket it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dean. What did you want from Faith? 
sweet girl. I'm not very good at interrogations. Sweet. You think that girl was <laughs> sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you Oh yeah, well maybe you'll tell me what I know and want to know if I have your nose. Then you like do the <laughs> trick on his face with his thumb and your fingers. <laughs> and he's like, ah! <laughs> if you want it back, you'll tell me what I want to know. <laughs> and then that just works. You're saying you're bad at interrogating, but you got him talking twice now. Yeah, I guess. Don't gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Cigar. Fine, then I'm gonna hold my finger right in front of your face and say I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm saving that. Not anymore, you're not. I had one cigar in my entire life and it tastes like crap. I don't get the appeal. This is really they. I've been, like, around people that are smoking them, and they smell real bad. They smell bad, they taste bad, I don't get it. <laughs> real nice. I don't get it. Yeah. Why don't okay, you well, that was, like, fucking eight dollars, but great. Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard, anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough. <laughs> Why would I choke him? Because you can play this like a bad cop if you want to. I guess. Be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house He's guest. literally yeah, been no, no like talking. No, he's top heavy. I need to take off about ten pounds. Walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Can I punch him? Pay attention. You could do a German Stop suplex right now if you're fast enough. You enjoying yourself immensely. You better be careful, Bluebeard. I don't even know the details of your story. <laughs> Apparently, you cut some ladies' heads off, I guess. You're wise. That's all I know. That's all I know. Your beard is not very blue. Grab, grab, grab. Oh, finally, maintenance. She just has no head. <laughs> <laughs> She's just holding it like the headless horseman, like in her hand. She's like holding it up. She's like, stop it, guys. Come on. Wow, you regrew that really fast, Snow. Oh boy, episode two, guys. Turns out Snow's alive. <laughs> what, a, what a surprise. Get obliterated expectations. <laughs> but then who was... Who would have thought that Snow White would still be alive? Oh, who was the other one, though, then? But who was head, though? <laughs> but who was head? But who was head? This looks pretty nice, the, the colors. You'll get to see it three more times, nerd. It is nice, though. They do a good job, like I said in the first one, of recreating, like, comic panels. Mm -hmm. Still sleeping. Working hard, hardly working. <laughs> do you ever wake up, sir? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? We found your head. Using a prisoner like that. Uh. Uh, Bluebeard was being a dick. I was being nice to him. We, uh, what, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I literally was being nice to him. I was the nicest person in the room. <laughs> I was in the process of, like, trying to stop Bluebeard from doing the thing. The meanest thing I was planning on doing was a noogie. <laughs> you really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually How are you not actually dead? Do you know how scary it is seeing you beheaded? Don't do that. Stop it. Are, are you aware that we found your head on the doorstep? At the time, getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer, or at least to figure out who she is. I'm glad you took care of things. Pat, pat. <laughs> pat, pat. Whenever he's like proud of people he all he does like head scratches for them because he'd want that 
What is it? He tries to like scratch me out of the ear. They're like, don't stop. <laughs> what are you doing? God. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like. Oh, for a second, I thought her earrings were like one of those things they put in their earlobes to make them stretch out. <laughs> I was like, oh. I feel responsible. A, a strange fashion choice for like Snow White. <laughs> Strange, but I guess they didn't say she didn't do it. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. Well, it should be about me, she says, pouting. I'm the protagonist. Mm. God. I mean, just ask Deputy Hood. So, what's <laughs> Did we even check for that? Check for what I wasn't paying attention uh, to. Whether the body was glamoured to look like her or not. <laughs> I don't know. I, we didn't have our magic wand to, like, wave over it. Why not? Twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? This is literally my job. It, it is literally my job. That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I could use another I deputy. <laughs> I Fine then, you say, pulling out a plastic badge, licking the back and sticking it on her forehead. She should be pretty powerful, right? I mean, she's Snow White. I mean, she, she doesn't have any powers in her story, I guess though. she doesn't have any powers, but still. I, know it's I guess she'd survive if she got, like, punched in the face, like, pretty easily, because she's pretty popular, <laughs> but... She can't really, like, fight, from what I understand. Yeah, I suppose. Her whole story is just she hung out with a bunch of weirdo dwarves <laughs> and then the guy <laughs> thought she was dead and then the apple got kicked out of her throat because they had a bump. So. So try not to be too, you know. Super nice and cool. Right. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just open up with the head pads and scritchies. Yeah, he'll love it. So long as I can sniff his ass first, right? <laughs> I'd love it. I'd love it if he sniffed my ass. <laughs> I wish more people would do that. It's so weird. It's you guys are fucking weird to me. Uh, so. All of you humans don't know how to do a proper First greeting. After, Getting really huffy about it <laughs> because he's the big bad wolf, so he would eat huffy and then puffy, as you would know. Buffkin. Oh no! Now we have to rebuild the whole apartment no. again. I wish that Buffkin would like fly in, but like really zigzaggy and like f drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just like crashes into the shelf instead of landing on it. And cards. Well, that's appropriate. Oh, I get it because you like snow and you thought she was dead. Okay, I get it. The moon. Usually this is about to Oh, uh, you're going to have to duel a second <laughs> wolf while a crow lobster watches. Got it. The small good wolf, my arch nemesis. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> He's so fast. <laughs> What's this? Whatever. Hand acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Oh, well, we gotta take the zigzag <laughs> path to get there. We well, gotta pathfind. I gotta take the scenic route to get over there. I really hope they update the engine when they make the sequel. Well, they're making it right now, I guess, so I hope they have to update the, see the uh, engine. It's been a long time. They got it, right? You'd think that, but it was years between the first season of Walking Dead and this game, so... <laughs> Probably not anything new to look at here, I assume. I will get. I guess I get some more this. different comments, I suppose, on a couple things. Beauty and Beast, always putting on a show for each other. We were promised you that you'd fight Beast at the end of the first episode, remember that? Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. But I did tell you that Telltale often lies with their previews, so who knows if that actually happens, I don't remember. <laughs> it might. I guess we can... He doesn't look very bothered by it, he's just like, again with this? It's every day. You'd think you'd get tired of having your belly cut open and with rocks stuck in and then thrown in a river. I meant what I said. I was talking about the woodsman. He's like, nah. <laughs> this gosh dang hacker put his initials on the front of his desk like a gosh dang ego hacker. He <laughs> did. 
Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> One of these days. You're supposed to do it counterclockwise, you idiot. You even tried. One of these days, the genie is going to be back from vacation. Hi, guys. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Oh, I get it. Because my story has me beheading wise, suddenly <laughs> I'm a suspect. Whatever. In the serial beheading case. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot. Here's your box of evidence labeled evidence. Come on. Is it just her head? Like, what did they pick up at the scene? That's printed on there, too, so they didn't just, like, write it on there. They had to buy a box that was already pre-marked evidence. No, they just have a giant oversized stamp that they just stamp onto boxes. It's, like, really big. They need to use both hands to do it. <laughs> I guess they throw people down this. I don't know anything about the witching well, but I guess. That seems a little harsh. What's the witching well from? I don't know. I guess I can look it up, as I can be Jamie tonight. Tip tap witching well. First result is fables, so it might not be a real thing. <laughs> the witching well is a magical well that acts as a portal to the lands of the deceased. And was used by Fable Town. I think it was invented by this. I've never seen her face before now. It's gonna be okay. They just have a, a portal to the afterlife in their basement? Okay. It's used by Fable Town to dispose of Fable bodies on the assumption that they couldn't return. The glamour is so as well as punitive measure for Fables responsible for committing great crimes. Just do what you so there's no coming back, I guess. I mean, what if you were really good at climbing? Ah, uh, where's the Lysol and the Febreze? <laughs> Oh, we left that upstairs in the office. Unfortunate. Damn it. Let's go through two loading screens to get it. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homeland. She's actually completely unrelated and just happens to look and address exactly like you. Whoops. This is the Disney Snow White. Whoops. She's not even a fable. She's just a regular human. Do you think different versions of the same fable got like a copy of the <laughs> Mildly different. This is the one that had fun in the mines where they were singing their little whistly tunes. <laughs> Just like Faith's dead. Did Dr. Swain oh, I gotta get him real close on this one. <laughs> we, we gotta get a, yet another close up of that. Bigby, shouldn't you recognize whether or not it smelled like snow? Don't you know that? Yeah. Does she have like super smell? Big bad wolf, kid. Oh, the perfume got it. <laughs> he immediately answered my question. <laughs> immediately answered my question. Do you see them? Could be a bruise. Right next to this axe wound. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't think we know we have enough evidence to determine how she died. Excuse me, this head is in dire need of pats. <laughs> pat pat. <laughs> don't worry, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm gonna solve your murder. <laughs> pat pat. Oh. Nothing. I already took the fortune cookie out of this one, I think. <laughs> you will live a long and happy life. Oh. Well, the fortune cookie message was just for me, not her. <laughs> I mean, well. Thanks. And also, if she was a fable, she probably did live a long ass life. And parts of it were happy. Parts of it. Oh, we got it. Track marks. Track marks. Gross. Used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Would that even affect somebody who's supernatural? I mean, alcohol apparently does, so... Does it? Oh, I guess it does. Woodsman was pretty drunk. Uh, they did say Monday drugs, which implies that there are also fable drugs? Don't be ridiculous. That's the moon sugar when the Khajiit come by. <laughs> they have their caravans run coming through. <laughs> they, I mean, they might exist somewhere. <laughs> There's probably some, like, thing they say in the comics where it's like, it's only stories from, like, several hundred years ago that count. <laughs> the, Shut up. They need to be in the public consciousness for long enough. They need enough. to be in public domain before they qualify. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the Monday legal system has to qualify them as public domain before they, before they show up. That means now there could be fable character fables. 
I'm glad Cthulhu decided to stay behind. <laughs> no, he's just he, he just moved into the real actual ocean instead. He's fine. <laughs> Have fun getting the game balanced with us talking over it constantly. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm hungry. There's an extra one here. How come you didn't realize that it was fake, Big B? There's an extra button, God. It, exact. I mean, I didn't see the body. I only saw the head. Shouldn't you smelled it? Shouldn't you smelled the extra button from wherever it was? <laughs> God. She was tied up. There were cinder blocks tied to her. Oh. Cinder blocks. I guess this was in like the so water somewhere. Sink. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They probably said that when you were talking over it. Whoops. Fist. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks. No, she just wants one final fist bump before she can fade away. <laughs> You're welcome, body. You say fist bumping it. And then it fades away. And then it fades away. Like, Bigby, we needed that for evidence. Also, you have super strength. But the head does not fade away. <laughs> it's disconnected, so the... It's disconnected from the server of the body, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> The signal didn't get through. <laughs> <laughs> the body shows up in the afterlife like, God damn it. No head. Uh, it, it turns out I have to I have to give her head a, no, a noogie, and that's what triggers it. You see that, Zach? Red seeds. <laughs> I wonder. What? No, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Hey, that's the same lingerie you wear, Snow. <laughs> How do you know that, Bigby? <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I smelled it. <laughs> smell. Super smell. It, uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective. We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this. Kind the glamour of still works, but she's yes. like dead like this. It doesn't fade out or anything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Even when the head is like separated, I don't understand this gosh darn <laughs> fable black market economy. <laughs> How the heck does this work? How do you work, body? You say slapping it. <laughs> Use what this. She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. This doesn't seem like a setup of any kind at all. <laughs> no. I've seen things like this before. What is it? I can't it's definitely even... Magic. Oh. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. Why? Why I wouldn't they? I don't think it's wise to fool It's around. illegal. They're not allowed to. Market magic. Who knows what well, but what if I want to put it in my pocket? Just to make sure well, then you could go ahead and do it, and no one would stop because you're the big bad wolf. You may be right. One way to find out. He says, swallowing it. <laughs> just eats it. Something I can hear this ocean. How do we open Look, check it out. <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> That's all it does. If you tip it over, it sounds like rain. Might want to stand back if you're worried. It's not magic at all. It's just a, like a weird little souvenir she got somewhere. <laughs> it's like a little puzzle box. Yeah, like a little puzzle box. It's going to pop them when like fanfare, a little snake will pop out. Like googly <laughs> eyes and a tongue. This is a game made for adults. <laughs> You're doing it. You're really smart, Time. I'm You're so really good smart. at this. Wow, I'm impressed. What does that mean? Oh. Hair. Picture. I assume this is going to be Snow White's hair. Picks it up and just starts sniffing it. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. He actually did. He actually did. Got it. <laughs> Did you know I wrote this game? <laughs> you have played this game before. It's been like, I can, it was like new when I played it, kid. 
It was a long time ago. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I can't believe they got this picture of me and Thing from the Adams family. <laughs> they, they ripped out Thing for some reason, though. I don't know who that person is next to me. I don't remember that. Thing I remember being there. That's weird. Who is her sister? Is that Red Riding Hood for some reason? Oh. It's Red something. It oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, she's a troll. Come, <laughs> Come on, guys. You've seen trolls before. <laughs> Can't believe you'd have this response, jeez. <laughs> oh, I see. The thing was still on her, so I guess the glamour was working still. Yeah, I guess. Should have left them all back in the homeland. Did you don't mean that, do you? The description for Holly mentioned something about a missing sister. No, she looks. Whoops. Little... Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's. Her sister Lily. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying all trolls look the same? <laughs> Guess it just slipped through the cracks. We Whoops. Have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Wow, Crane. <laughs> I can't believe you just assume that, Do you Crane. Want to talk to TJ first? And then they both use and push him into the wishing well. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. This needs to go in the well, and it's going to be really hard for me to pull it in there myself. Oh, Miss Snow, I have a question. Excuse me, I'm Can I bomb a sig? You got any booze? <laughs> I think you'd be more likely to get one of those off a of big bee of snow. No, he smokes that garbage huff and puff. I'm looking for lung butter. The most smooth and delicious cigarette brand available now. Refreshing. Do they put something in those that just like makes people advertise them every time it comes up? <laughs> Ultra filtered, clean, and refreshing. Delicious lung butter cigarettes. I think we should investigate that company for like abusing magic. So, what are you talking about? <laughs> Lung butter is totally legit. Because they're smooth and refreshing, delicious. <laughs> the best cigarette brand available. <laughs> Beats out the competition. Number one doctor recommended brand. Quit show me Lung butter. Shut up. <laughs> what? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't I was worry. talking to it. Fingers free. God. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shit up. I was just I was having a jerk. I don't use those. I use my bush. You would subject your son to that? He's got to learn some way, big bee. <laughs> you keep saying stay away from the bush. I thought that I'd scare him away from it. <laughs> What's his shirt? What is that, Groot? Uh, that? I didn't get a good look at it. It's okay. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Oh, Swamp Thing. I think it says. Are you okay? Go I could ahead. be better if I had a pat pat. I go swimming oh, it's a stock supply. thing. In the river. Oh. I wasn't doing <laughs> Why? I Isn't this owned by DC? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got to be off brand. You're okay. We had the rights to Wolf Among Us, not the rights to DC's Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Whoops. It says DC. <laughs> I was there under the big blocks. And I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. It sounded like happy feet. It sounded like a gosh dang co-op combo and <laughs> melee. I saw, I, I saw the lady. <laughs> From uh, M. Night Shyamalan's Lady in the Water. It was horrible. I hate it. God, what a terrible movie. The lady fell in. But, but she didn't have her head on. Yeah, she sure I didn't. Thought, I, thought I she hate that this happens out. every time I go there. What is wrong with this city? <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? She kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> he means the cinder blocks. You saw the rope marks. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. 
I mean, my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I haven't I really, really had too many like people that were good at lying talking to me yet. So. Deputy Hud just told you the TJ will remember that, so you better keep that in mind, kid. I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, there was a dead body in it, Dad. Me. Yeah, come on, guy. <laughs> it had no head. What the fuck you want? <laughs> I'm a child. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this Shut time, Shut up, Toad. Toad. You say just like pinching him in the face? <laughs> just slap him. I was going to say the nose, but he doesn't really have a nose, so. I don't know. You kind of pinch where the nose is, but it doesn't really do anything. It gives him a nose. You pinch hard enough. He's like, oh my god. Oh, I still had Tweedles on me. <laughs> yeah, he transferred it. You can catch up with Tweedle and he has like a frog nose now. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing. Try to remember exactly. Ah, shit. It was the Joker who did this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What a jerk. I hate him. That's unfortunate. What's he doing here in New York? We gotta call him Batman like we established. He's also around here. He just saw this. And then we like, we let him know that what's going on and then he takes over and we just like spend the rest of this just in our apartment drinking. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay. You can Not go. without a good old choke slam, you say, <laughs> pick him up. <laughs> I mean, does it count as a choke slam if, like, my whole hand, if my hand fits around, like, his whole body? Is it mostly focused around the throat? <laughs> Your hand is clipping through him. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about that. Your hand is still kind of clipping through him, kid. It's fine. They... He's gonna give him a choke slam. Holy shit. Just wait till we get around this corner. I'm gonna choke slam you for popping out of that pond like I told you not to. <laughs> Just off, once he's off screen, you hear, ah, smash. You hear the sound of a flimsy fold out table cracking in half. Uh, we go back over there and Toad's the one that's through the table. Oh my god, TJ, you're really good at choke slams. Let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. TJ, where did you learn these? From my dad. I learned her from watching you. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But I think she technically outranks me, so... I think she's kind of, sort of, my boss a little bit. She's like the... she's working for you, Crane, and... I think we're, like, equal, actually, right now. Right? This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? Yeah, he's fine, to look. Shit from reaching the Whatever, he's probably Jack, fine at the end of that night. <laughs> You're a bar. Beowulf's a pretty popular story. <laughs> He's Grendel. He's a tough guy. <laughs> hey, your sister's dead. Also, I squished your cigarette on your floor. And he just leaves. <laughs> Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Oh, I didn't put out that cigarette good enough. It's on fire. The floor's on fire. Thanks, Big B. Every time you show up, you put my floor on fire. <laughs> she puts the drinks away. <laughs> Well, the floor's on fire, it'll catch on fire. There's alcohol in these. Not here to start anything. I mean, I didn't start anything last time I was here either. I heard don't make me cry. Don't make me make you cry again, Grendel. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember it, Grendel. <laughs> There's a security camera in the corner that caught on video. He loses weight and yet somehow. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Jack, I guess. The beanstalk guy, I suppose. Because, you know, we well, there's like a bazillion Jacks in folk oh, stories, so... Here about you. I'm assuming Jack and the beanstalk. That's the most immediate. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. Tweedledee, he's real dumb. Like Tweedledum is pretty D, if you ask me. Tweedledum. Shut up, Grendel. I don't. You're not even talking about anything right now. Sorry. Oh, Crane Tweedledee let him out. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. Locked he in the cellar all fucking night. Which, I don't know. That seems like a. I your legislative duties. didn't really. Come I just questioned him, and then so Bluebeard was a jerk. Now. 
What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tail. You weren't here last night when Grendo cried after getting his ass kicked. I did beat him up yesterday. <laughs> Jack, you realize that he could just fold you in half like a folding chair if you wanted to. And just put you in the corner until he's ready to pull you out. <laughs> just fold him up and put him in the corner. Yeah. What? Big B, look. Two fables Flick him in the nose, Big B, and it'll like, get knocked over, <laughs> ragdoll like it's source filmmaker over the counter. Been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman. I could do it with my low, bassy, growly voice, though. You know who it was. Oh my god. You're telling me you found Stacy? <laughs> I've been looking for Stacy all week. Uh, uh, Boy, sure uh. You so wait, who's Stacy? What do you mean, who's Stacy? That's my favorite sister. <laughs> you have more than one sister? You think that's weird? <laughs> You're a fucking, fucking big bad wolf. Didn't you come from a litter? No, we, we've known each other for hundreds of years, and I didn't ever know. <laughs> we've known each other for like a whole hundred years, which is like a day in Fable Town. <laughs> Huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I was here last night trying to solve it. What do you want? An ounce of a shit about her. About any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... It's a good thing you smashed that because there was only like a sip left in that bottle anyway. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry. I'm not mad about my sister. I'm mad because this bottle's empty and I really wanted a drink. <laughs> I wish this had ended up better. Well, that's why I broke it. I break all the bottles when they're empty. Just gotta get the anger out, the aggression. I break them and then I brush off the broken glass on the floor and then a little Roomba comes by and sweeps <laughs> it up. The Roomba is also a fable, though. Well, yeah, we're not gonna keep some unfabled Roomba around. Don't want some Mundy Roomba. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. Get the fuck out of my you. bar. It should have been you and it wasn't. Why? So does the glamour make your body change, or are you like an actual troll sitting in that little chair right now? I guess it makes the body change. I thought you might like to have. I guess it would have to, because it wouldn't line up otherwise, right? It'd be like the hitboxes on the character model wouldn't work <laughs> when they're trying to grab things. <laughs> Bad, bad. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? We're just the talking, Grin. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm oh, you found the plot to replace her. Damn it. <laughs> And today just sucks, she says. <laughs> she was hooking. To oh, her. yeah. A hundred and twenty proof. God dang. A hundred and twenty. Yeah, that's quite a lot. She yelled at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Pudding and pie. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Georgie. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. You gotta be. It's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. You gotta be pretty tough to. What do you know? Like keep a troll under your thumb, right? Go talk to. Pudding and pie. No, it's pudding in pie. Pudding and pie. You're gonna go to the wrong place. Pudding and pies on the other side of the city. Whoops! Did I distract you from saying something? <laughs> <laughs> is she? Where is she? 
She's at the business. Witching well, probably. She's taking I mean, uh, uh, to go down there and get her. Well, we did leave her with Crane down there. No, Gross. It's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. <laughs> we burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul. They start popping off offspring like gremlins. It's really a mess. You don't want that. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. <laughs> It's really bad. You don't want an infestation of baby trolls. You really do not. It's going to derail your adventure, so you really want me to deal with this right now. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can I wish I had out. some pudding and also a slice of pie right now, honestly. <laughs> They're pretty good. Really? Dragon wing. <laughs> Dragon wing. Free beer tomorrow. Oh. Really? How much? <laughs> I remember when Grendel cried there. That's funny. <laughs> it's just every time we see him now, we're going to bring it up. What a dork. He deserves it because he's the one that picked the fight. <laughs> you know, uh, no, they've got those license plate covers that I'm being seeing a lot more of these days. It's really bad. Yeah, have you seen those smoked out license plate covers? Mm, I don't think so, but I don't really pay very much attention to people's license plates, so... <laughs> I haven't seen more and more of them. Real concerning. Everybody's crushing things. Well, you didn't do a very good job, did you? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna set this alleyway on fire. There it is, on fire. He says, picking her up and flapping her like a blanket over it. I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty. But the club's closed. It's good thing you're playing the PC version. It loads a lot better than the console version. The console is jank as f <laughs> Is it? It's real bad. <laughs> of all of these games, honestly. The engine's just not very good. I should um, the, my thumb's a key. That's my favorite power. But you don't know my story. He's like, I don't. It's like, oh. <laughs> I have never heard of you, whoever you are. I mean, Shut up, thumb key. Just get me in the door. It'll be fine. <laughs> I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. I've been really nice so far. Hey, the handle was moving before your hand was. <laughs> How many other powers do you have, Thumb Key? I have so many door-related powers, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> door and only door-related powers. <laughs> oh, baby, blur that out. taste of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. That phrase mm. again, huh? Oh. I remember boom boxes. <laughs> yeah. I remember boom boxes. Oh, blur that out. Like, actually. We're going to have to blur out this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is allowed on Twitch. It's not real. It's not real, guys. <laughs> you might actually. You're going to have to blur that out, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do it. I, I, mm. Nice God, you're terrible! You're like a fucking fish! That's good. Good lad. I hope you're ready for this entire episode to be black boxes, everyone. Whatever, if we get banned from Twitch, I don't really care. <laughs> you're supposed to turn the. Oh, it's you! Hi, whoever me. you are. Are you a fable? Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop! Back to work! Stop putting it on screen. <laughs> yeah, quit it. <laughs> Stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Look, it's kind of blocked by the choices. <laughs> Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. What's that supposed to mean? Target, or one that will put up a fight. I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. I'm not. Just pinch his nose, just hold it there. <laughs> just and you're like, okay, fine, I'll talk, I'll talk. <laughs> uh, I go for the nose. It works every time. <laughs> People are really sensitive about their noses. Seriously, I love it. Oh, 
Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. I completely forgot there were titties in this game. <laughs> uh, Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to Whoa. Like another face. Wow. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things. It's illegal. Watching. You know. It's if you're illegal. gonna be like that about trolls, I'm not gonna give you your nose back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, my nose? Illegal as long as yeah, it's right here in my hand. Ah. Dork. <laughs> ah, he says shrieking in terror. <laughs> Works every time. Black market stuff. Ooh, black market is it? Ooh, say it again, but slower. This is exactly what I would expect from a he says turning on the radio again. <laughs> You've got fuck all to back it up. Well, you, that's your floor, dweeb. <laughs> that is your floor, <laughs> dumbass. It used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I, I don't smoke that anymore. Body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of. I mean, you were just kind of acting like you don't Why care, so. Maybe one of them was into it. Kiss well, the girl. <laughs> Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Whoops, sorry, I turned oh, on my hey. Slayer cassette. <laughs> Dance to it. Dance to Slayer. <laughs> Just break it. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One what? Uh, What'd you say? I just can't even ah. hear. <laughs> oh, he'll just. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> what a loser. Yo, what an actual dweeb. Fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. Hey, we're not allowed to look at girl nipples. Get out of here. <laughs> if it was man nipples, it'd be fine, though, because of reasons. You're the one who did that, sir. Whoops. Take off your shirt. Nobody will blur that out. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a hands. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? He pronounced it hands. Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. You can tell these two recorded their lines separate from each other. <laughs> well, he actually has two of them and they're by design. They just pronounce their names right. different. And the way we guarantee that is if I'm using my left hand dominant that day, it's hands. If it's the right hand, it's Hans. Take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? A fucking Since when could you talk, Hans? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I bet you to sweep. <laughs> Who taught you how to do that? Yeah, it's a paddling. <laughs> it's a paddle. <laughs> You're gonna do this right in front of me? I like how you weren't done doing your animation when I snatched that from your hands. <laughs> and then Bigby just kind of stared at nothing. Did you see that? That's where he took it. The awkward shit. Oh my god, look at the low frames on those glasses. <laughs> yeah. How come only the one? The rest of them were fine. About the book. You have <laughs> that one was a little bit too too them. zoomed in. Tap, tap. Hey, no. <laughs> wow. <the> game. Hello? <laughs> Ants is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Don't break my things that you're not breaking. Stop it. I already have to spend a fortune replacing that glue. I'm breaking it. <laughs> oh my god. Do you really are big and bad, he says, <laughs> turning on his radio. It's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy. Do you know how expensive a CRT is? That's like top inside. of the line. <laughs> Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> Picks up the keg, oh, just like chugs the whole thing this. before setting it down. Looks like a floor safe. 
Uh, wouldn't oh, know. Oh. It was here when we moved. Uh huh. You definitely <laughs> don't. You wouldn't mind if I used my super strength to just rip this out of the floor, then, would you? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, blur him out. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what if he just reaches down and just pops it open with his super strength? We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging I'm you. I'm getting tired of you walking around my shop and having me follow you around <laughs> where you don't really. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> yeah, DJ Booth expensive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that custom neon light's pretty expensive, too, but whatever. All right, all right, all right. He won't forget that. Different language from the other time. Thanks, Deputy HUD. <laughs> Air, you gosh dang hacker. Bloody come on, I'm glad then. you put that tattoo on your spine so I know where to aim when I decide <laughs> to rip it out. I mean, you could have just given me the thing and it would have been fine. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Wow. I can't believe your fortune of, like, a small roll of 20s is in here. <laughs> Look, he's not making much here. I only serve fables and only the freaky ones, okay? <laughs> There's not very many of them. Also, I can't starve or anything, so it's not like I need to buy food. I don't know if they need to eat. I'm assuming not. Watch 207. Room number? I mean, he drinks, so they must eat, right? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. I guess. Do they need to eat? Can they starve to death? Can a fable starve to death? Questions. Can the creator of fables stumble upon this video and leave a comment telling us <laughs> they can starve to death? I'm curious. Get back in your fucking closet, he says, looking over his corner. His shoulders. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut. Oh my god, I think your club is haunted. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make <laughs> that giant cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> this is like early 90s, then. Well, this hey. Like when Seinfeld was airing. <laughs> well, hey, I have control back. Uh, pinch his face. Wow, it took a long time for you to control a kid. Yeah. <laughs> pinch his face so that you can stop him from making a complaint. Just go and grab his nose again. <laughs> What's the other book? I wonder how many candy bars I could buy with this. <laughs> Probably quite a few. Although, can I eat those? I'm a wolf. I think a chocolate is bad for me. <laughs> but it's so tasty. Yeah, it's like a small smile. He's like, I smashed that real good. <laughs> I did a good job. Oh, where'd you go, Georgie? What? Okay. <laughs> Where, Georgie, hello? Am I supposed to be standing over here? Nope, he's just Georgie? not there. Did, maybe Georgie was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I know you're not talking to anybody right now. <laughs> Georgie. I like how it doesn't repeat every time. Yeah. Georgie. <laughs> well, now it will, but it had two. I just wanted to do annoy him a little. Just hold your finger out in front of his face and be like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> if you touch me back, I'll kick your ass because I'm the sheriff and that's assault. <laughs> oh, baby. Blur out that poster. Oh, yeah, my God. Where, oh the, the door. Okay. Blur out that background. Oh, my God. <laughs> blur out the entire building. It's fine. Just blur the whole screen. Whatever. <laughs> blur everything except Big B. <laughs> Just blur out Big B as well. Just blur Big B. Just Big B. <laughs> the cosmetics. On the floor. Um, where people just kind of left them, I guess. That's a canine. I guess I'll eat this. <laughs> I mean, it is on the floor. It's <laughs> just like taking bites off the lipstick <laughs> stick. Nom, 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 nom. It's on the floor, therefore it's mine. That's the rules. I sniffed it, it's mine. Don't believe me? Don't make me mark my territory. <laughs> That's the canine code. Before you go over to the apartment. Hmm. Like the apartment capitalized. Hmm, suspicious. <laughs> there you go. Right there, Lily. Cubby. 
Got to go ahead and do this mini game where I rearrange everyone's personal effects. <laughs> They'll be so annoyed. Uh, got a couple boxes here. Both are open and empty, it seems. I'm broken into, yeah. Oh my god, somebody broke the hell out of that one. <laughs> Lock's been busted open. Who could have done such a thing? You remember that uh, toy diary thing that was sold for a while where it's like you had to say a password for it to unlock? <laughs> yeah. I remember my cousin had one of those and I just like picked it up and I just <laughs> opened it because it didn't have any kind of like actual lock on it. <laughs> Popped open real easy. It's like one around. I did not hear what she said. <laughs> oh, what, sorry. I guess I can look at it. Oh, no, said, Pixel. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, please stand in front of that, please Bigby. Stand. Smile. They used to call me the little mermaid. A uh, gosh darn self-destruction prevention. Wow. They just have that next to the vanity mirror. <laughs> what do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Hmm. Oh, baby, but sad. Marissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find out Let me out guess. Yourself. Your lips are sealed. I hate that that's the answer to every one of my questions. Did you see oh. Lily last night? I don't waste my time. Where she went or who she was with. Can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. I'm pretty sure they literally can't. We're not talking about work. We're talking about this other thing. Just word it in a way where it's like loopholing it. Come on. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? They've got a like a magical compulsion or whatever that makes them not able to talk about it. Come on. What the fuck is just suddenly jumped to you opening that book? <laughs> These lips. You need to put caps on your lipstick, they'll dry out. God <laughs> damn it. What a waste of money. Would you like to make an appointment with me? Oh my god. And he blushes like, I've never been with a girl before. <laughs> Says fanning his face. It's just like stickers laid over on his thing, though. Exactly <laughs> we could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh! Oh, my God. Okay. What would I need to do? Oh, God, I hope that lost cat pixel gets picked up. <laughs> it's not good to be short. Do I have 150? What do I have? You could have if you had taken the money from Tweedle whatever in his safe. I mean, I guess. Um, I've got a fly, it says, buzzing out of his wallet. <laughs> That must not be comfortable. You have a chain for your dress. That's really weird. Yeah. Okay, bye. She says, wait here for a moment. And she, once you close the door, just sprints away with your money. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am okay with this because you gave me money to do it. <laughs> 204. 207. You read that wrong. I think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. No standing any No standing any time, except trucks. <laughs> except trucks. Trucks are allowed to stand here. <laughs> if you're a truck, you can stand. Optimus Prime's like, this is just a special perk for me. Whatever, I pay extra. <laughs> he says, like, <laughs> getting on all fours and crawling into the club. Uh, is he here somewhere? Optimus Prime. <laughs> Probably. Hey, you're the same cop uh, from one of the three that are available to be copy-pasted <laughs> for these scenes. <laughs> Is Optimus Prime just being like a regular truck for trucking somewhere? God, I hate the Monday world. I hate it so much, says Optimus Prime. I take fighting Megatron over this. Ugh. 
Megatron was a good guy for a while. Did you know that? Yeah, he's. There was a comic book where he turns into an Autobot. I think. He just like inverts and just, <laughs> he reassembles with like good guy colors. Yeah, he turns into an Autobot guy. Yeah. I love Cola Brand Cola. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, you, you you care about Cola when you're a immortal and b smoking. <laughs> I gotta have my lung butter. Lung butter, <laughs> delicious, refreshing, available. <laughs> oh, gee, he just popped a squat there. Did you see it? <laughs> if the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Mm, yeah, it's not looking great. It's I'd, whatever. I wish I had an apartment. A smile. You're on camera. A smile, oh baby. It should be the Rolling Stones smile though, with a tongue hanging out. <laughs> DPRK. I thought it was a DPKR for a second. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So okay. now you know. <laughs> hey. Hey. Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he. He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. <laughs> and next time you meet up with Beast, can you ask him if Bell was actually wandering around in the background of that scene or was that just an Easter egg? <laughs> was Bell in the same continuity? I was wondering if that was like a continuity together. Uh, I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I, I didn't say that. I said I was staying out of it. <laughs> I said I was staying out of it, so I'm staying out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which meant that I did see you and I just didn't want to say so. <laughs> Someone else was murdered last night. What does that have to do with the key? Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. Hi, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Are your lips oh, sealed, yes, beauty? The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, Evidently we never not. Really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Why? Because she was a troll? Wow. I can't believe you <laughs> say that, beauty. <laughs> this one is not timed. Did you stare, like, longingly into her face <laughs> while you have a whole delicious, refreshing lung butter cigarette? I'm just going to keep smoking. Hold on, beauty. I need to enjoy this delicious, ultra-filtered, smooth, and refreshing cigarette. <laughs> She's like, oh, God, I hate it when he does this. Every time. <laughs> God, I hate the smell of lung butter. God, I hate it. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think Half of them are dragons. It's really concerning. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? Oh my god. No, it's funny. I did see hmm. someone who I Oh my god. Her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me. Even though she knew that I saw her. She ignored me and gave me like a weird look when I gave her winks. <laughs> Is that weird, Big B? You think it's weird? Ever meet a girl? I mean, it's a little weird. I did one of those like really obvious winks too, where I like open oh, my job too. <laughs> she didn't she can get it. I gave her like a big wide open mouth smile. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Candy, Mercedes, <laughs> etc. Crystal, sugar. <laughs> Etc. is a pretty weird name. <laughs> Etc. is a pretty weird name. Tell me more about Cetera, he says, com getting completely distracted. <laughs> Etc. could work for like a stripper name, I guess. It's Etc., everybody. <laughs> and ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money. Plus wow, interest. Judgy? I have a key if you forgot. <laughs> it was from the crooked, the crooked man. Well, your earrings need to figure the fuck out what they're trying to do. I had nowhere else to go. Look, no refunds again. Come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. You tried? I don't remember that. There's that sane uh, rage quit prevention sign in the background. Be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't. There's no public restroom. Shit. <laughs> Extra adults are fifty dollars each. <laughs> You're bleeding me dry. We'll see, beauty. Just be right next to the missing persons. 
What a shady ass place this is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at it. Oh my god. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be I mean, it's an official report. Do you have to mention I'll just refer to you as the receptionist. It's fine. I'll have to give your name. It's just well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the That's clerk literally person. what I said. Yeah. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. You realize that in the flash forward from the end of the first episode, I was fighting bees, so I'm pretty sure this ends up bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's. I also turned into my first Sona for a minute. <laughs> That's also fine. How do I access my inventory? Uh, I don't know if you can. I think that if it's usable on an option, it'll give you a button. I'm. I assume. I don't know. It was 204, yeah. Hmm. How many door glamours are there? Is there a fable about a door? Which one of you is fake? <laughs> one just... of the doors has eyes open up and starts shifty eyeing. A place on the wall is glamoured to look like the wall, but it's actually a door. Which one of you is that room from Harry Potter that shows up when you need something? <laughs> I could really use that room right now, actually. It'd be very helpful. Would... <laughs> I want to open you up so I can get the evidence I need to convict somebody. <laughs> 207. I think. I wish I could read. <laughs> uh, can he read numbers or just like... What he's been doing is sniffing the doors, hoping he finds the right one by smell. Hello? Let's see if that opens. Heck. Keys to these rooms. Try it again, but break it this time with your super strength. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is Shut the up, room. Clementine. God. <laughs> this is the room Lily was in. <sighs> I can smell it with my super nose. <laughs> I mean, Open it up. It's like that room in Dexter was just coated in blood. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I mean, she was there last night. He probably Shit. actually Awkward. could smell it. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating Man, on if me. this was a healthy relationship, he'd let her speak. No, no please. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. You'll be. I'm not interested, like at all. That was an. An awfully inconvenient time for this to happen. Whoops. I thought we fought in an alleyway. This is an apartment. What the f- <laughs> Nope, we're here. Well, maybe he throws me out of the building and we land in the alleyway. <laughs> I can't believe you would perhaps lie to me, Telltale. I'm when I said that sometimes it just doesn't fucking happen the way they show it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to throw me through a door, can you do the one behind me, please? <laughs> yeah, I'll let you do it the first time. Just calm down. I don't know why you thought you could trust me. I said I was staying out of it. <laughs> well, maybe. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm drunkenly throwing some heavy haymakers, <laughs> kid. She's my wife, Bigby. I told you. Oh, I'm getting a little werewolfy. Whoops. Oh, he's getting a bit beasty too. Look at his horns. Somebody has to pay for this. Please stop. It's coming out of my paycheck. And I needed that. That's the whole reason why I got this job. The whole reason. Can't I throw him through the door? Stop kicking his ass, please. You're not going to win this. He's the protagonist. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was just seeing what would happen. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. I meant to do what he oh, says. Oh, ow. He'll be fine. He's Did you need to do that? Ow. Time's just letting him win, guys. <laughs> if I just let him win, I won't get embarrassed by missing these QTEs. <laughs> She's my fucking wife! I actually missed that one. Oh, thanks. I, I wanted you to do that, actually. 
What a loser. He got your ass <laughs> That was kicked. very helpful. Boo. Everybody boo time. Boo. What a dork. I literally told you I was... Bigby, I can't believe I was able to win that fight. You're, like, way stronger than me. Hey, 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 look, it's the thing I told you I was here to look for. It's the Dexter room! <laughs> Thanks for getting the door open for me. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't touch anything. Is this... Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night... Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. So you did it. I'm not Put your hands behind your back, Beauty. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yes. If you'd shut the fuck up and let her talk for longer than five seconds, you would have found out. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Do you remember... We are kind of in the middle of a murder investigation. I don't think Can you two, like, argue about this out in the hall? I'm busy. Maybe they have long term. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so they much They did blood. cut her head off. It's like ritualistic. What are all those flowers? <laughs> I need you to be sure no one comes in. I think it's funny when it's ritualistic, guys. <laughs> just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? You're gonna need to guide me out. My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> you, you really didn't have to gouge my eyes with your claws. Well, if you'd been better at QTEs, you f***ing dork. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. And then he just gets down on all fours and starts sniffing. Just sniffing everything. Can't Why can't I do that? I'm a wolf. I should be able to do that. I wish you could do that, honestly. It'd be pretty funny if you could. I hate this radio station. Turn it off. <laughs> it's not on, Big B. What? Oh, sorry. I was hearing it from the next department over. Sorry, I have super hearing as well. <laughs> He says, turning it on. Apple, huh? Do you smell something? No, just apple. Mom. <laughs> I mean, we're in fairy tale land. You don't want to just eat any old apple you come across. Should have put it in the ashtray. I'm like that's where that goes, right? God, Bigby, you need to stop smoking. <laughs> Actually, I should be in here. This is my job. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. B e a beautiful. Monday version of her story, anyway. I can't read this. Mm, that it's is in like German. Definitely not in English. The whole book is about her. Fuji, <laughs> Red Delicious, Empire. I hope it's not Red Delicious. That'd be boring. I think probably those specific versions. Uh, Fuji didn't even exist when the story was written. <laughs> yeah, existed at the time. I don't know what Empire is. I have never even heard of that one. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were... I don't think the book included a uh, cutting of heads off, though. perfect sense. Gross. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. It's creepy if you don't think about it, too. <laughs> uh... Whoa. Uh... Was she breathing? Was she breathing? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. I guess she wasn't breathing the whole time. I suppose. Well, her airway was blocked, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mmm, <laughs> smells like delicious available lung butter. You can buy it now. Coupon code Wolf Among Us, lung butter. <laughs> she just called it a crap brand, and I'm pretty sure it's the one he's been smoking. Whoops. They brought wine. Classy. Uh, not really. This is like barely above box. <laughs> yeah. For my arrival. Well, I'm that's listen to this later. I got the mixtape for later. <laughs> oh, maybe. The uh, video game. Compare lilacs with what? Oh, I have a thing in my inventory. Oh, from the from the body. That's right. Oh my god! I forgot I picked those up. What is love, <laughs> baby? Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Never gonna get you. Cover. <laughs> And I, I will always 
Yeah, it's like, oh. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds I mean, of things around I here. I mean, I probably would hear all kinds of things. It should, like, halfway through this cut into, like, what would the fox say or something? <laughs> it's like, oh, they recorded over it. I see. <laughs> the baby shark song. <laughs> baby shark. Do, 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 do. That's how it goes, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that is how it goes. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ba baby shark in minor key. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> I've been rough with this dress. It's, it's not covered in blood, though. She must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then and then he took it back off. No, oh my no. God! It must have been torn some other time. Look at your bruise to show how much of a loser you are in a fight. He could be a crossdresser. <laughs> This is the That's a leap. Is the <laughs> snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. And that's why they have a carriage in the corner of this room as well. You look over and there's just a horse-drawn carriage just with horses attached to it still. <laughs> oh, how, how did we miss that? Oh, my God. Are you guys done with this stupid investigation <laughs> shit? I want to argue with my wife. God. <laughs> just how does a person... Georgie took advantage. Georgie of took advantage of her. He's a real predator. Yeah, I don't like him much. <laughs> Remember when I broke his CRT? That was really funny. Yeah, it was really good. Really good. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no. It just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just. But what if there's down. been a murder in here every night? What if I've been murdered? She says, <laughs> fading away. Hey, hey, be hey, beast. Is this normal? Does she do this? I'm getting sick of it. He says. <laughs> she fades away. Thinks I don't know. I she's cheating. God. <laughs> Probably faded away so she can reappear with her f***ing cheating ass girl boyfriend. God, <laughs> she always does this when you when we argue to get out of it. I hate it. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. And yet, Beast found you like immediately. <laughs> yeah, how did he find this? What a coincidence! At exactly the correct time to come in and stumble on us standing there. Whoops. That is quite a lot of blood. Flowers are already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. It. It. What? <laughs> you want to go downstairs and wait for me to be done? <laughs> what? What now? It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. Yes. Yeah. Reenacted the scene with her line. Deputy Hood chiming in, saying, "Hey, you did it. Good job." <laughs> Thanks, Deputy Hood. <laughs> Little thumbs up, like symbol. You did it. Good job. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out I, I don't. I'm pretty sure the book didn't have a decapitation in it, though. I'm signing about it. All goes together, like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and and and, and the beheading and <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, I'm I'm the only semblance of law in this town. What? what? <laughs> it's my job. Yeah. I always thought you were a stupid drunk. Whatever. Turns out you're qualified for this. That's why they went out and looked for you. Oh, hi. Whoops, looks like the killer left his entire manifesto down here. <laughs> oh, it has his name and address in it. Several selfies. Convenient. <laughs> and a note that says, I did it. Twas me, Austin. <laughs> he said twas because it's Fable Town. <laughs> no. I'm in this one. It was taken last Is that him? Oh my god. That's him. Does that look like him? 
Well, it's like cleaner shaven back then, I guess. Like, yeah. I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to. Hey, who's who's looking at this? His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is? Oh my God! He plans on killing the bed next. Oh. Gross! Ew. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we're here now. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, it's time to get my genie. I wish for this mirror to be broken. Well, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> rip mirror, I guess. You realize that doesn't stop me from being here. He says like in the shards, you're just a jerk. Does that count as a murder? Do I have to investigate this now, too? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, oh. next time. That's oh, it. That's, that's the episode, kiddo. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that. You will be dying if he gets his hands on you. <laughs> there he goes. Well, he escaped, I guess. Okay. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. That's a complete 180 from my last interaction with him. Well, you were a jerk, so he was like, "Hey, you get your hands dirty." I kind of like that. <laughs> you seeing anybody later? <laughs> And then it snips her head off the doors. Whoops. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> hey, that didn't have. You promised that this episode. Yeah. Telltale. <laughs> what a bunch of liars. <laughs> Maybe it could have happened. No, uh, here's the teaser for five episodes from now. <laughs> Next time, though, ex uh, ellipses question mark. How the heck would I have found Beast in the alleyway? I assume that you can't, and they just tease that as, like, you're going to fight him, but you don't know the context, and we're going to lie to you about the context surrounding it. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60.9% of players sympathize with him. How did you treat the murder sus suspect? You and 62.4% player <laughs> you and 62 of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 91.9% of players let her make her own decision like she's a person. <laughs> How did we handle Georgie Porgy? You and 69.9% of players didn't hit Georgie. Everybody's being a good boy. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 8.9% of players never had Beast at your mercy. It was all a plan to get the door open by busting through it. <laughs> Most people are super cool and dominant and win the fight, <laughs> it turns just, out. Just to beat up the beast, even though, like, he... I guess, like, I don't really actually have any reason to beat him up, honestly. No, I lost the fight on purpose, <laughs> said Big B with, like, a swollen jaw. It was on purpose, it did on purpose. I, I actually did, though. <laughs> Squinting through one eye. I let him win. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's episode two, kiddo. Yeah. What do you think about episode two of The Wolf Among Us? That one was uh, pretty good. Probably going to be a little hard to edit, well, with the um, the ladies. We'll have fun with that, kiddo. <laughs> that's your problem. It was quite a bit shorter than the other one. You need to go ahead and uh, deal with the fact that Western culture decided that women can't show their nipples because it's <laughs> scary and spooky. Yeah. A bunch of fucking children, stupid ass Western <laughs> culture. You go to Brazil and they have like children shows with like fat asses bouncing around. <laughs> you go to like Europe and there are commercials with people with their tops off. And you go to America, it's like, no, you can't show that. That's scary. That's spooky. <laughs> no, what if a kid watches it and then immediately starts murdering people? You don't know. <laughs> stupid ass Western culture. Oh man, the uh, it was uh, bullshit. <laughs> right there. I marked it. It's right there. Nonsense. Gross, it says. More notes, just pointing more <laughs> arrows at it. Stupid. Icky. Smelly. Quit it. Stop. We're doing that outside. <laughs> well, you have a certificate. Dorothy. Apparently, I have a certificate. <laughs> certificate of what? D distinction? That one says distinction. The other one says... Thermos, I think. Thermos? Service. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Certificate of thermos. <laughs> you keep things warm real good, baby. 
That's amazing. Toby the Tobster Oven. <laughs> One of those was a Zeus God Cat of Cats. Oh my, are these like cat names? <laughs> I guess they're the cat name. They're cat names. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hey, yo, hit up that book of fables. Read the new entries we got. Yeah. Uh, I missed a couple. You missed a bunch. A couple, too. Well, you missed like three. This is a shorter episode, it seems. I told you some of them might be shorter. Price the same, though. Oh, T posing. He was asserting <laughs> dominance yeah. for a second. I see that. A Bluebeard's mercy. Bluebeard's last wife. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard, Bluebeard's last, last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. As she should have been, yes. How come we have all these mounted heads of your previous wives on your <laughs> wall, Bluebeard, she said. With a finger to her lips, tilting her head in questioning manner. <laughs> you know, this feels a little weird. A giant cartoony question mark like floating above her head. <laughs> What's that about? One day he departed. It's nothing, on... sweetie. He says, <laughs> like sharpening the axe behind her, <laughs> just in the background. Yeah. <laughs> he, he comes up with like a tape measure and is like measuring her head. <laughs> She's not noticing. <laughs> She's like, I'm really engrossed in this crossword puzzle. <laughs> he's like picking out uh, plaques to mount it on in the background. He's doing, he's doing practice swings like with a golf club, and she's just not caring. <laughs> <laughs> One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. When Bluebeard returned, he knew he must kill her before she revealed his murderous... Why didn't she reveal it before he returned? Well, he showed up like right afterwards. He was like, I sense a disturbance in my house. <laughs> I guess. The closet has been opened. No, not again. God damn it. He says, pulling the axe out of his trunk <laughs> of his car, his regular ass Tesla that he owns. In the the fable, the home. In the fable world, yeah. Turns out Teslas are a fable. <laughs> I'd believe it. Oh my God. Uh... Where were you before I interrupted you? Where was I? When Bluebeard returned, uh, he knew he must kill her before she revealed his murderous <laughs> secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her. What, she fucking cell phone them? How'd they know? How did they know? Did they just conveniently show up at the right time? Ah, oh, heck, I left you enough time to do smoke signals. God damn it. <laughs> You tricked me. You said you were going to pray, but you did this whole fire smoke signal ritual. God damn it. <laughs> Her prayer just involves a very elaborate ritual. Whoops. My prayer involves that I pray alongside my family, dumbass. Look, it's it's really important that to, to, to my prayer that you leave me alone so I can walk all the way home and then back here. My prayer involves a cell phone. Please hand me yours. <laughs> Thirteenth floor. The witches and wizards of Fable Town. The thirteenth floor of the Woodland Building is home to a group of witches and wizards tasked with the protection of Fable Town. They use their powers to keep the community hidden from prying Monday eyes, but all magic has its limits, and every spell has its cost. The Witching Well. The Witching Well is located in a chamber inside the Woodland Building, where it's used to dispose of things meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths, as are the, as are the most unredeemable criminals. Yeah, I thought it was irredeemable. Is it unredeemable or irredeemable? I think it's irredeemable. I don't know Whoops. why they spell it like that. This is supposed to be a goddamn fantasy book. Can't even spell words right. <laughs> Bro, Bigby says closing the book, uh, being written in real time about his adventure. <laughs> And no one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it is widely assumed to be a passage to the final resting place. That's not capitalized, so it's not a real place. <laughs> it's fake. I know. It's fake news. A Jack Horner, harmless trickster. Jack is always up to something, but he's not nearly as smart as he thinks he is. Yeah, he didn't... He really didn't seem very smart. <laughs> Kind of sound like an idiot to be <laughs> He's trying to pick a fight with you and you don't... Getting people riled up. I beat up Gren last night and made him cry, Jack. <laughs> I made him cry, Jack. <laughs> Here it is on my phone, you say, holding up your fantasy future <laughs> smartphone. 
replaying it. That's also a fable. It's fine. <laughs> I wish it was a fable. <laughs> His plans to get rich quick often backfire, but his confidence never wavers. He thinks he's the most important person in Fable Town, but everyone knows him as mostly harmless smartass. Wow. Only mostly harmless, though. What a dork. Push him over next time you see him. Oh. Whoops. Uh, you couldn't have used a better picture for her than that? What better picture could there be? Uh, Lily estranged sister. Lily and her sister Holly grew up in the homelands together, but had a falling out shortly after moving to the mundane world. Aimless and increasingly destitute, Lily turned to prostitution, and now she's the second victim in an ongoing murder investigation. Oh my god. The Troll Cross. Lily's Bridge. A troll cross is an amulet made of iron that was foolishly thought to protect the wearer from trolls. What a bunch of f***ing idiots. <laughs> foolishly. I I'm going to wear it to prove that it does nothing. <laughs> you know, I bought this for protection from trolls, but the person that sold to me had horns and was really big. <laughs> hmm. They're just wearing a fake mustache and being like, no, I'm totally not a troll. <laughs> no, it's me, Captain Quark. Just buy it. Shut up. <laughs> Lily acquired hers while wandering through the wilderness, searching for something to eat. She came across a human, but before she could devour him, he held the troll cross out and shouted, Back! Back, you troll! After enjoying her tasty snack, Lily plucked the cross from the dead man's hands. After the exodus, she wore the troll cross constantly as a reminder of better days. Hey, remember when I ate that loser? Remember <laughs> <laughs> when I totally dunked on that idiot? I can't believe he bought into this nonsense. I had like a 30 hit combo on that dweeb. <laughs> I air juggled him for like 10 minutes. I would stop just so I could start again to hit that five hits so that it looks like shit. <laughs> well, I had to tenderize the meat before I had him. I ate him, obviously. Oh my God. You went down so easy. I'm really uncomfortable with you talking about eating a person, says the big bad wolf licking his chops hungry. <laughs> it's making me hungry. Stop it. Yeah, I'm drooling. Stop. A Georgie Porgy, the pimp. Georgie Porgy. <laughs> Georgie Porgy. A Georgie runs the Pudding and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try to pr to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone anyone meddling in his affairs. He enjoys people pushing people's buttons and also their butt-ons. <laughs> Apply directly to the butts. Shut up, Georgie. We're not going to buy your stupid startup. <laughs> this is never going to go anywhere. <laughs> this may as well have been from the homelands because it's a fucking fable that you're going to make a success out of this. <laughs> Just you wait. The MLMs are going to take off, says Georgie. Clever Hans, bouncer slash janitor slash handy handyman. Is he a fable? Slash the uh, uh, Hans. I I'm guessing this is from uh, Hansel and Gretel. Ma oh yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Clever Hans always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his what what. No, I don't think that's Hansel and Gretel. What? I don't recall that. Unless there was a sequel where it's like they grew up and he's a weirdo. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. <laughs> Clever Hans. <laughs> she left him, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now he's content sweeping up the mess. Sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. <laughs> Clever Hans is a fairy tale collected by the Brothers Grimm, which I own and haven't read. I have like a whole collection of them. I really should get around to that. About a boy who ruins his engagement with a girl through a variety of comedic events. The title is claimed by most people to be ironic because he is not clever, he's a fool. Uh, a boy named Hans has a conversation with his mother every morning. In the morning conversations, he simply is telling her he is going to meet his fiance Gretel. What the f***? What? They're siblings, what? what? And evening in which his mother reprimands him for mishandling a gift from his fiance. Every morning when Hans meets Gretel, he asks her for a gift in order. She gives him a needle, a knife, a young goat, a ham, a calf, and herself. In each instance, Hans mishandles the gifts. He sticks the needle in some hay, but his mother tells him he should have stuck it through his sleeve. 
So he puts the knife in his sleeve, but is told he should have put it in his pocket. He puts the goat in his pocket, thus smothering it, and is told he should have led it by a rope. He tries to lead the ham by a rope, and dogs steal it. <laughs> his mother's telling him he should have carried it on his head, or in some versions under his arm. He carries the calf this way, but it kicks him until he drops it and it runs away. He is told he should have tied it in the stable. He ties Gretel in the stable, and the story ends when he misunderstands his mother's advice, casts your adoring eyes at her, and gouges out the eyes of the livestock he owns to throw at Gretel. Okay. The result is a disengagement portrayed in the final sentence, and that's how Hans lost his bride. What a fucking idiot. Uh, how wow. are you this dumb, Hans? How did this get twisted into Hansel and Gretel? Because why, I guess that was them as kids. I thought they were siblings. Yeah, also thought they were siblings. What? Maybe they're not siblings. Man, I survived a witch with you just so you could throw eyes at me, <laughs> weirdo. What a stupid moron. <laughs> wow. What a strange tale. What a fool. No wonder you're mopping up the floor in a f***ing strip bar. <laughs> yeah. Nerissa. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. Oh my god. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. I thought you were a princess. Aren't you the princess of Atlantis, or was that made up for the Disney? I guess that was made up for the Disney version. Whoops. That's why he was okay with it in the Disney version. <laughs> yeah. the royalty, he says, waggling his eyebrows. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I do have a thing for royalty. My, uh, my, our heir will inherit the, the super powerful magic, uh, fork that your dad has. He'll inherit both the land and the sea, bringing about a dark age of tyranny. <laughs> we'll conquer everyone with it, yeah. Well, I can't believe you're this dark about it, Prince, whatever your name is, I forget. All I remember is that you're the same guy who did the voice for Spider-Man in the 19-whatever <laughs> series. Shocker! Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. Wow. 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 She never met you at that place, by the way. Unless it was just, like, to give you the key. No, she just kind of gave me the key, I guess. Go there, I was wondering where I did You missed several things. I missed two on this one. I guess if you were a jerk doing the interrogation and uh, I don't even know what the other one would be. Maybe there was something we didn't look at there. Maybe if you hit Georgie in the face, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? He's way over there, though, so I don't know. I don't It would have had to have happened by the witching well then, I guess. Yeah. Well, go ahead and enjoy that on your next playthrough time. <laughs> Hey, Wolf Among Us. I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we uh, discovered that it was Ichabod Crane who supposedly is the killer. And now we're going into episode three. We'll, I guess, see if we can find out if that is actually the case. Certainly suspicious because he was paying a prostitute troll to use a glamour to look like Snow White. Well... I had the thought that if they're used to be so simple. already, like, have established that glamours can make you look like other fables, what if somebody is looking like Ichabod uh, to, like, frame him or whatever? Why would he run away instead of just saying, that's not me? Snow. I'm a person, actually, God. I I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. I can't believe she'd sleep with people for money. Oh, no. no, she was she was fishing at the pier. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look, she was fishing for this. That's what she was fishing for, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Don't show that again. We open <laughs> Oh no, bears chased the baby eyes. Oh no. What is it? <gasps> it's an IOU. They're never going to pay the bill for this room. <laughs> Ooh. 
Bigby, it's been three days. Are we going to do anything? <laughs> We've just been standing here staring at this photo, yeah. I'm hungry and thirsty. My legs are trembling. I can't do it any longer. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, watch your mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll rip him apart. Rain? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. <laughs> Shut up, beast. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Then he calls his brick cell phone in his pocket. He says, hello. He answers and talks to himself. <laughs> yeah. I got a crime drop for it. No, he picks it up himself and answers it and talks into both. Explain this to me. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? Did she say where she was going? Oh, that's right. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. I'm not allowed to drink. Yeah, he's, is he not allowed to do that, or like, Wait. be there asking around for you or whatever? You got a secret job working the desk at like a gosh dang John hotel. <laughs> Snow's been through a lot. You're gonna like Just really. Please be careful when you tell her, and you should tell her. But what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? When you saw that picture, well, it's going to be much worse. She's gonna want to kill him so bad. Whatever you do, don't let her do the fusion dance. <laughs> but but w with who? With you, Big B. With me? It'll be really weird and awkward <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Snow White. And the big bad wolf fused? What does that even become? Uh, just be. It's just Snow White, like, looking normal, but she just has the knowledge, like, well, this was a waste of my time. <laughs> Gosh darn. I was expecting better. What a disappointment. <laughs> Get ready for your stealth section, kid. Oh. Uh. You already. You, they already heard you. You're walking around. You got lead feet. <laughs> Get ready for stealth section, Big B, and he's just like panics, so, so, <laughs> just dives into like a bunch of steel beams and makes a huge clattering sound. I won't. Uh, no, bad dog, get out of here. By claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I'm here. If Crane shows up, I'll just turn into a werewolf and rip his head off. It's fine. It will never subside. No, just like jump off the heads of the guests until you get to her. <laughs> Oh, they just uh, walk on their shoulders. I'm sorry, I, uh, I guess he survived. Yeah. I didn't see you there. You're looking pretty all right for a guy who had a hole in his chest well like a did. day ago. I haven't had any other um. Well, the hole's still there. I just I, I bought some makeup. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> I was angry at first when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too, and I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered. Faith lived a story Lily, Lily never did. She had her adventure. Her she got to live in the light of forever after with me. I guess, uh... So let Lily have the better Lily was just kind of a troll, and so... In the end. Wow. Time. <laughs> wow. She wasn't, like, a story character. She just was there. I guess when I think about it, it was just a troll, <laughs> right, guys? He says, looking over at the funeral attendees. <laughs> no. <laughs> It was just a troll. I mean, come on. Then he like slaps that guy's shoulder and starts laughing like he's in on it. <laughs> just a troll. No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. What did you do again? I forget. Uh I think they're blaming me for letting her die, so... Why? Did I do that? I didn't do that. After you lie, after you promise me... Hollywood, Crane probably Crane, did it, yeah. Crane. Oh. Disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything. I was about to say, sometimes Telltale games bug out or aren't programmed correctly, <laughs> and they'll think you did something you didn't. There's one really bad example of that in the Batman one. Holly. Gonna be okay. 
I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the. We did leave her, leave him with the body. Bigby cares, Holly. So that's even weird and grosser now that we know what we know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ew. Oh no. Ew. This one oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about. Shut up, kid! Before I make you cry again. God, just sit down. He just goes, warm, whatever, maybe I want to sit, and he just sits back down and gets quiet. <laughs> he just starts pouting. <laughs> what? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. We all need to know this extremely private thing that you only want to sell snow. This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. They right will just now. all directly so go after talk. Crane, but yeah, who was and it? like tip him who off, probably. No. If they could even find him, wasn't he like in a taxi at the end of that first episode? Like well, that was in the preview, or was that like the teaser thing we showed? Okay. It's about faith. Just tell us who it was. Okay. It's about family. <laughs> Going to have a little <laughs> just Gren says that completely out of character. <laughs> what? I'm not just gonna sit here. Please, and... I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know. Watch your goddamn to... mouth, Snow. Just let us this is a funeral for a troll. The H word, Snow. Come on. Look, Holly, I oh my know god. Must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. Yeah. I'm out of here soon. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is. You better watch your ass, Bigby. I've got a rolled up newspaper. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> It's your like to jumps to baby going <gasps> like really intimidated and scared. <laughs> it's like whoa. <laughs> He's very frightened. You just hear a whimper, and for a second he has dog ears and they flop. <laughs> okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Well Um About that. Hmm. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look... Yeah, it's really creepy, even besides the murder thing. This is... The murder thing was just a bonus, honestly. <laughs> I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought, I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? We have a picture this and everything. Doing? Because please, look at this photograph. Confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we look at this photograph, it would mean more every time I do, it makes me laugh. Kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos now, lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. I feel like I should this also place. tell him, tell her so, that Marissa? the murder what happened there, but, I'm you know. Sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? I don't know if that matters at this point. Everyone who spoke should really... Like, once you know who you think did it. Yeah, I guess. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just flick water in her face. She'll be like, I actually really like that on The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah, it's refreshing. At the motel. Please keep doing it while I talk Did to you. you. No. Yeah, Lily was killed there. It was yeah, it, it was real messy. Oh. <laughs> I'm... Sorry. And then she just drops a ninja bomb and disappears. Oh, she. That's not in the. That's not in the f the fable. <laughs> Whoops! Shouldn't have told that ninja. <laughs> just little known fact. Little Mermaid. Oh, hi, hello. Oh, baby. You know 
how this goes. The first thing. How come nobody is noticing you, very large man? How, how did you sneak up on me? <laughs> that way, it's proper. How did you sneak up on me? <laughs> it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. <laughs> Time to pick a fight at this funeral. Yeah. Emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over it's there. We'll in well, you'd have to get it around him. For, well, I guess they both have shotguns. He can shoot her while I'm ripping his brother's head off, I guess. He could shoot you through you like you're Wolverine and just hit them on the other side. I guess. Take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short... Oh, you're cutting close. Okay. Oh, I, I thought it was... I was completely... Once they start the last line that they're going to be saying, click it and it'll finish the line. You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours. Or it'll just cut it off, but I mean, either way, you, you won't get a choice if you don't. You think this act you got going scares me? Because it doesn't. Always want to... Look, I had a guy split my belly open and, like, fill me with rocks and throw me in a river. Shotgun's not that scary. What's going on? What's happening? Very well, let's just go. Let's get some more people killed. We already got a funeral pyre going. Who cares? <laughs> and we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your. What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right. Telling everyone our deal. Uh oh's. <laughs> All of our daily news. Yeah, they might not be very happy about it. <laughs> You're just a bigger target now, you dumbass. <laughs> I mean, she is a troll. And he's Grendel. No, you're a bigger target too, you idiot. I mean, would that even work on him? Couldn't he just walk up and be like, that doesn't work on me? Polly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Lee, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just Wow, that's not what you should have said. How come your dress stressed with you? Well, whoops. I got it done. Why didn't you just let the Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You like grab the gun and shoot Snow White in the face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Everything just goes completely terribly. <laughs> bad end. Very bad. How come that works? I thought you couldn't be hurt by mortal Ow. weapons. I mean, he's still up, I guess. Well, he's like crying again. Whoops. Way to go, Bigby. She's a troll, though. And? Trolls die when you shoot them. I guess. Whoopsie doopsie. Time got both of the sisters killed, guys. Well, one of them killed. It doesn't really seem like I would be able to avoid getting the first one killed. That's why well, that's why I corrected myself afterwards. But time managed to get them both killed. Like I said, funeral pyre is already going. Why not, right? <laughs> At least she died under a, tro a bridge doing what she loves, being a troll. That <laughs> <laughs> grant will be fine, though. It's okay. Isn't the myth, the, the legend about Grendel supposed to be that he can't be hurt by weapons? That's why Beowulf kicks everyone with his bare hands? Uh, I don't actually know that much about the Grendel myth, other than he's like a big tough monster. But he's pretty famous. And, yeah, I mean, it did hurt him. I thought the whole thing was he could just shrug off weapons, so you had to, like, beat him with your fists. And Beowulf's a super huge badass, so he just strips down naked and does it. Unless that was just the movie that made him naked, I don't know. Remember that goofy-ass movie? Vaguely. <laughs> Man, we're just dying left and right here in Fabletown. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Who's this lawyer? Uh, that's Dr. Swinehart, I think. Oh, I see. I thought he was just like a legal counsel that showed up for a second. <laughs> Big he's like, man, I've been screwing things up. I gotta get a lawyer. <laughs> they all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. Oh, so I, left her and I guess she was fine. Juniper and Springwater. Okay. Apparently. The you got it with the do juniper fine. berry. <laughs> Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act 
like you normally do. Why? <laughs> Why? Shouldn't I, with my popularity, just like bring it back? Fucking woodsman was crawling away after an axe was in yeah. his brain three seconds later. Well, I mean, apparently Holly is fine, so. So you say. <laughs> Unless that was the game bugging out and being like, oh, I saved Holly. <laughs> no, it wouldn't say that she was fine if <laughs> if she didn't get shot. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. They're starting to whispers that you might be the big bad wolf, big Oh no, nobody can know my secret. Swinehorn's like, what? And then you like grab by the throat and you're like, don't you fucking tell anybody. <laughs> you're the what? <laughs> so, to recap. <laughs> I thought your name was just a big B wolf by coincidence. I thought we already recapped at the start of the episode with the flashbacks. <laughs> we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? People are dead because of your stupid alcoholic habit, <laughs> Bumpkin. Shame on you, bad monkey. Bad flying monkey. Bad. He pulls out the bad. the rolled up newspaper from Snow's desk. I, I don't know. And it burns his hand. He's like, ah, ah. That's the plan. Just wait for the mirror. It's all we have right now. What the hell is going? I on? guess just putting it back is gonna work. I don't know what the You're gonna cut your fingers, you stupid ass monkey. Sent them. I don't know if. I mean. This seems like he sent them. Crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I mm. get it. Do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw, the you're kind of, you're kind of close. <laughs> yeah. I'll try, I'll try not to keep doing that. Why would he kill? Maybe you should take that giant sword with you the next time you investigate a scene. Yeah, I wish somebody could just grab that. It's very big, though. He's. He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. Wow. And I'll Just throwing out all these slurs. <laughs> I'll hate him for how he held me in his <laughs> Murdering prostitutes. Ow. Everything. Yeah, I see, just like you said. <laughs> well, I tried grabbing this piece of glass, but there was like six of them, and I couldn't figure out which one. You should maybe be using uh, that gloves or something for that. Terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Did you ever find a monkey-sized glove, you stupid asshole? Gosh. Bad for he says, passing out and face-flopping into the glass. <laughs> the Bigby's like, wait, is that blood? And then he passes out. <laughs> and then Snow just goes over and just pages Dr. <laughs> Swinehart back. Just like hits the intercom button. He's <laughs> like, this is why we have this. Please come back. You a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... It's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? What if we... Just, so what if you were fired? What, how would you feel if you were fired? <laughs> it feels like before we came to the city. I would question why you went like to Europe to track me down just to bring me here to fire me. Uh, I guess I'd just go back to Europe and continue terrorizing random country folk, I suppose. Kind of to be honest, just running around in the wilderness eating shit was kind of fun. <laughs> it's... It, for all this drama. <laughs> it's very wolfy to run around in the woods and just eat things. Very wolfy. What'd she say? I, I was not paying attention. <laughs> we should pay attention. Oh, she'll remember that oh. too. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Detective Hud, give me a recap. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing. He comes back and he just says, no can do, boss. What did you mean? Missing a piece. Yes, it's uh Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh my god. You just see him on the ship in the background, like, peeking <laughs> just, over the edge. He just peeks his head up for a second and then ducks back down. Unless it's whole. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. Oh. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it What if itself. we... Have no idea how long that will take. Find another just mirror, break a piece in exactly that shape, and then stick that, it, that in. No. What have I told you that the humans found a way to make glass? <laughs> we'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to you have to do investigation stuff. Why is it not shattered anymore? Oh, there it is. I'm talking about it. It's missing a piece, see? We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. The mirror was kind of OP. We needed that broken for the game. <laughs> It, it's pretty important. Can you, like, Genie, who's secretly in here, can you just, like, come out and help us? 
You know, I never did try my tongue on this. <laughs> ah, that must be the secret. Which is weird considering that I am the big bad wolf. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on I'll make sure he's not at the bottom of any bottles. <laughs> I mean, you never know. He could be in there. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. <laughs> hmm. But which witch? <laughs> which witch is it? But yeah. which witch? No, not, uh, not especially. Uh, uh, you're a, a tiny monkey. It's not your uh, fault. what could you have done? I mean, he's was an old man, but... You could have, I don't know, like, you could have scrabbled at his face, you have wings. <laughs> you did have, like, a glass bottle on you you could have See, hit him with. You do that. You just, like, fly over and just drop the bottle on top of him. <laughs> it's like an anvil. It, like, sproings him and then he, like, goes stiff and just falls over. <laughs> like a cartoon. Like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to say, Book of Fables? No. I can't believe he covered... He, like, took Crayola to his own picture in this, thinking that it'd help him somehow. Weird. <laughs> he just <laughs> crosses it out. <laughs> Puts, like, a... He goes in and draws a mustache on his face. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gonna hide him. Crosses out like the H in his name, and he's like, it's still pronounced Ichabod. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's like incognito now. I can still sign my checks, I think. I can't believe you're not strong enough to do this, Big B. Never mind, I take it back. Also, that was really hot. <laughs> Says Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Says Buffkin. Says the mirror. <laughs> it turns back on just for a second. <laughs> you still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of I mean, do you though? I keep thinking. It was that. pretty bad. I keep Snow. Replaying moments in my head. It was a murder I scene. Him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. Like, literally full body just flop <laughs> onto me. I thought it was weird at first, and now I know it's super weird. Snow. That's time that he jumped off that second-story balcony on top of me. I was like, I don't think this, this is getting kind of weird. What are the odds, honestly? It's weird that he kept that happened more than once. It's weird that he kept, like, switching over to other balconies when I was walking around the building. Just trying to time it. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the condition here could do with some improvement. I am seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think I sh this should be a priority. Best. Waylon Smith. Whatever he said, crumpling that up. I got a date at the open arms. He was definitely just, like, taking the money for himself, and that's why everything's crappy, I bet. What a jerk. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that- Oh my god, just to open a window! These fucking <laughs> rentoids are so whiny! God! Just paint over the heat! Just paint over it! Just paint over the air conditioner! I'll send my cousin! Then his cousin shows up, he's like, it looks fine to me, and leaves. You're welcome, my dad had it's fine. Yeah, he, he's an expert, he knows what he's talking about. Quit your complaining. He took like a whole month towards becoming an HVAC expert. Like, uh, he never finished, but he probably knows what he's talking about. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you'd fix the, the air like we asked you to three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan. You can't just go out and buy a fan. You need to see it says the landlord. You can't just go f <laughs> buy your own fan. Please fix the air conditioning. He's starting to look like the Meat Canyon oh, Pinocchio. No. <laughs> just fucking paint over Pinocchio. What a whiner. Says the note underneath it from Ichabod. <laughs> paint over the splinters on his skin. Yeah. Stop complaining or I'll paint over your door and you can't leave anymore. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. Oh my god, what a f***ing 
whiner. That's as far as he got. And then he crumpled it and threw it away. <laughs> and then uncrumpled it and put it on the desk. And then ironed it out so it would look straight and then folded it properly again. What a weirdo that Mr. Crane. <laughs> it's fallen off the walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it, as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised you'd uh, send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front wind wall. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Mr. Tiddle. Oh, God. What, who cares? Just I, There's curtains provided. What a bunch of crybabies. <laughs> they want, like, air conditioning in summer, and they want to be able to close their window without worrying that it's going to shatter and cut them. The walls that don't have holes in them. <laughs> was torn a bunch out. of babies. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Buffkin, do you know what was here? Why? <laughs> Says Buffkin. <laughs> oh no, he's got the you bottle. The sound again. of a bottle rolling across the floor. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Is which witch, witch? This witch? Witch witch. Well, yes, it sounded. Their name's literally witch. I hate it too. <laughs> which witch is witch? Witch. Oh my god. Witch. <laughs> <laughs> He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. That'd be a lot more effective if you gave me a goddamn drink so I could cut the edge off. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me to shut up, meanly. See if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more. Yeah, Bluebeard, get out of here. Guy, they say, just kind of like waving their hands at him. Guy, go show. I tried. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. He's dead forever. <laughs> forever, forever. Business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your I guess we told him Crane is the murderer off screen. And now it's none of my business. Well, you maybe know, words. Well, oh, did you say that? He, he did say. You said that at the funeral, so word probably spread. Yeah, I guess. There can't be that many people living in Fable Town, right? But which witch? <laughs> which? A witch? A.M. Listen, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're it. Bigby just pushes him off the table. <laughs> falls over and shatters like glass. Oh. Good. Let that be a lesson to you. The stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. That's a Look, weird that thing to say. <laughs> well, he is also a serial killer, so. I guess he is the, the beheading guy. <laughs> And we're just okay with him walking around. No, he said he really, he's really sorry about it. I'm really sorry about it. Also, why did you behead Tweedledee like I wanted you to? <laughs> to be fair, the Big Bad Wolf is also a serial killer. Yeah, but whatever. He killed like pigs and grandmas. Who cares? <laughs> and grandmas, whatever. <laughs> I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? Stop it, it's my job. Isn't that right, Deputy HUD? But do you even have a job, Bluebeard? Well, excuse me for having the My job is to be the gosh dang, uh, what's it called? Naismith or something? <laughs> Somebody's just there to be like, no, nah, this is how it wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm the official devil's advocate. I'm the official uh, s stick in the mud, that's my job. <laughs> So that gives us a few short hours. Two minutes. You know, no, no. Haven't questioned the bird on the front of the desk yet. He might have seen something. Yeah. Why doesn't anybody ever think of bird? We have And then it just looks sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. I hope you've been keeping track of this time because I haven't. <laughs> Whatever. I know what happens. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And what it? is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two I mean, know about? That them? is pretty important. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their. That own. is also true. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option. That's also kind of true. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by. I, I feel like no the. Are you won't have time. <laughs> Look, the flash forwards from the last end of the episode showed that I go there, so. <laughs> Just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. <laughs> I had an extra made, like I did with everybody. <laughs> See? And he holds it up, he's made of Play Doh. <laughs> <laughs> he's made of Play Doh. <laughs> he's got like a. 
<laughs> One of those plastic baby toys that's like a key ring. Here it is. I can get into any door in this building, just watch. Is this what you've been doing this whole time, Bluebeard? Oh my god, I was wondering what your job was. You're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? Well, the rest I mean, I could beat you up and handcuff you and lock you in the basement. <laughs> I could twist you into a pretzel. I've done that before, I think. Never win anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Uh-huh. Look, this is how a smart person... I wish that was true. <laughs> that would be funny, Bluebeard, but... Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere on screen. Yeah, I also don't. He's up to something. Why do you have so much authority here? Why does he have such authority? Why can't I just ask Sheriff say just f***ing stop? Don't. Where am I gonna go? Uh... Oh my god. So I feel like the... Mm. Wow, Bigby, it's amazing that you can do that. <laughs> I didn't realize that was one of your powers. <laughs> I'd love to join you. It's a, it's a lesser known story that I could do this in. No, no, I'm How come there's no subtitles for this? Uh, because. Well, which one are you going to look for? You got three choices, mm. kiddo. Yeah. He's going to go wherever you don't, I think. But I mean, I don't know which one he's going to go to, depending because on which one you two. pick. Well, it sounded like he would prefer Crane's apartment, which might be important, but... He'll probably go either to Crane's apartment or D's office, right? I was. He probably doesn't care about Holly. Leaning towards D's office because they're kind of dumb. They might just like leave Crab lying around, and he did also say they might just go back there. Oh, baby! Wait, how come Big B didn't know who D was? Honestly, uh, I don't know. I guess they remember. Didn't he show up? And he uh, because he introduced himself. Remember. But he has an office? He didn't, like, recognize them, but we know where his office is, apparently. Why, well, um, Snow might know. Or, or you could have dug that information up since... Yeah, I guess. ...learning who he is. It's just weird that people wouldn't recognize him. Snow was there. You think she'd be like, why is D here? <laughs> who knows? I guess I'm... Whatever. ...kind of thinking of... Maybe there's a gazillion people in Fabletown. Who knows? Maybe it's smaller on the inside of the borders of the neighborhood than it is on the outside, you know? Or bigger on the inside, you know what I mean? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, Maybe all of New York is Fable Town. There oh my god! actually like a whole bunch of separate different Fable Towns that don't know about each other, and that's where all the other fictional characters are. Each one has its own like government. <laughs> they have to elect their own senators. And they go to their own special little like tiny fragment of Washington, D.C. <laughs> where they do their quote unquote federal governing of Fable Towns across the country. All localized in New York, though. You go three blocks over and, like, Aragorn is in there. I wish we could go to that one. Aragorn's probably be cool to hang Aragorn out Aragorn would probably be pretty useful in a situation like this, to be honest. This one would be pretty cool. We already said that Goku was flying around somewhere. Just don't don't accidentally slip into the one that has Cthulhu. That'd be a bad time. Yeah, don't don't want to do that. It, no, he, he's probably just hanging out at the bottom of the ocean like he usually does. It's okay. Bear, I bet that if he, if that was, um, <laughs> public, or, uh, 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 what, what is it when it's public domain? Public domain. If Pooh had been public domain when they oh. wrote this, that he probably would have been at the farm, I bet. Oh, yeah, probably. Pooh Bear. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go to D's office. Wavy. Bluebeard is gonna go to Crane's apartment, we think. Yeah, probably. And I'll go to yeah. Crane's apartment. Yeah. And I guess... I hope you know what you're doing. I was going to say, I guess Snow was maybe going to go talk to Holly, but no, I guess not. Whatever, Holly probably doesn't want to talk to anybody anyway. She was shot with a shotgun a second ago. Nice hat. Tell me what you know, frog face. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible hat. Who are you? Great, great to see you. Oh, I think I know who this is. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Fly. Have you? Your eyes are covered, you liar, he says, putting a cigarette in his mouth and squinting. <laughs> Wait, hold the on. The interrogation has begun. Uh, let me go. Oh, okay. I see. I was gonna say, wait, if he works at the Woodlands, so was the D's, uh, the Tweedles' office in it. the same building? D or dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. 
You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. Who are you supposed Pepper to be? Pepper sprays me when I get too close. <laughs> it's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working on a case. Hmm. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. If I wanted to hire them on a case, where would their office be? Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Well, what if I got a case I want to I want to talk to him about? I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. Sure. Show me. You look like the appropriate proportions to be. Oh, never mind. It's open. I was gonna say battering <laughs> man, but I guess it's just here. <laughs> no, it's just open. Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Skedaddle, kid. <laughs> you say flicking your cigarette in his face? <laughs> I'm sure it's we just put it out on his silly frog hat. <laughs> then it lights on fire, and he's like, well, I guess I'll get back to work. And he just starts mopping with the thing on fire. Who are you? They said his name was... I think that's Flycatcher, but I could be wrong. He said Flycatcher, but I don't recognize that as a name from something. Well, perhaps it's in the Book of Fables. Oh, I'll have to go all the way back. No, or you could just pause and look. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if I got a thing. Bow him. wow. I don't know if I got a thing for him. Um, uh, I don't see nope. him. Nope. I guess we'll find out who he is either at the end of the episode or if I Google it when we're done. Yeah, at some point. Uh, finally. Bow yeah. wow. Bow wow. <laughs> Were they private investigators, I guess? I guess. They had the hats for it. Yeah. yeah I'm glad this was all in a folder. <laughs> they needed a folder for that. That's why they were at her apartment and the woodsman's place. I can't believe they glued that to the back of this folder like with a glue stick. What a weird, goofy bear of boys. I could have used, like, staples or something but no they could have also just put it in there and then folded it close because it's a folder <laughs> yeah. and where's cindy again been? with the glue stick vacation apparently where's cindy been bran again everybody's always asking where's cindy nobody ever asked how's cindy cindy's doing real bad actually real bad i got a hangnail the other day uh. wow cinderella <laughs> Tell me more about your hangman. <laughs> your life is very tough, Cinderella. Are you not moving or is the game frozen? No, I was just talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know who Brannigan even is. Brannigan. Who is? Oh, the detective. I think that's the person that interrogated you. Yeah, that's right. The beauty. I guess maybe Beast like hired them to look for her or something. But Georgie has an interest. Wait until CM gives go ahead to put the squeeze. Never mind. Shit. But the squeeze will double team. Both of us will just put one fist on one side and we'll just squish. Oh no. Squish like we punched Bigby in episode one. Just double team him. Their special move. <laughs> Whenever they're together, they have like quadruple power. You think it'd be double, but it's quadruple because <laughs> they're so good. Man money. A daily task, find compromising photo. <laughs> Pay this all back. Request for property acquisition. <laughs> details find Every day they have to do that. <laughs> Every day, yeah. Every day. Find anything? Not what I need. I, I know You're mopping a carpet. Abrasive at times, but they, they not so bad once you get to know them. They seem pretty bad. And they really care about helping people. Uh huh. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. D always tells me you have to be assertive. Oh. They help people. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem mm. and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes. Aren't they both like super stupid in the Alice in Wonderland story? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. I, mean, I guess that doesn't necessarily mean they'd be stupid in the fable story. I mean. Anyways, I'm just saying. The big bad wolf is also just a bloodthirsty monster in those <laughs> stories, and he's the sheriff here. So. I'm not even like a wolf guy right now. I ate before I came here, so I'm not even hungry. <laughs> and it cuts to like the street, and just a regular human was just eviscerated. <laughs> There's just like an arm lying on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's left. <laughs> it's like a cartoony bone sticking out of the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> Key. You know about 
this? Uh, no. Nah, last time I tried to smoke that, it didn't work. What does this key go to? How do I... There we go. Uh, key. Wow, it doesn't say. You should look at that chessboard and just be like, man, they don't even know what these pieces do. <laughs> They're just like randomly scattered across <laughs> it. <laughs> Inbox. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Duck. <laughs> he actually mailed this. He actually mailed this. This, <sighs> this is pointless. <laughs> See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. Hmm. I don't know, this has been pretty interesting so far. I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. Just stay out. I'm of starting to get hungry, kid. You better want to watch your mouth. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. Just and shut up and crawl into that filing cabinet until I'm done. <laughs> He's like, well, okay, and he just starts like digging himself into one of the shelves. One. That is one person. No, please, just let me concentrate here. I'm out of lung butter. I can't concentrate <laughs> without my lung butter cigarettes. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother Great. Yeah, they seem very smart. I'm going to need you to leave the room, Flycatcher. I have to do a wolf thing real quick and pee <laughs> on the desks. <laughs> they did threaten me with shotguns yesterday and also shoot two people, three people, technically, I guess. I think it's appropriate that I mark my territory in here. So that they know who the law is around here. It's been a while. Every time anybody <laughs> smells where I've marked, it's like, ah, oh, God, the law. Ah, oh, I hate the law. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I I'm going to flick you in the nose so hard. <laughs> well, I haven't looked at everything yet. Because they're lying to you. Okay, flycatcher? That's why. They Don't make me poke you in your real eyes on your head. They're hired guns. Hitmen. They tried to kill me yesterday. Oh. Them. They happened to me. This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I wish the color would just drain from his entire body. All hope and happiness is gone. The grand got injured, but like we don't really actually care about him. I just noticed the Bow Wow Big Bad Wolf pictures on a punching bag. I didn't mean to make me cry. Whatever, everybody makes me cry. <laughs> oh, I don't know oh my God! Here, but it might be what you're looking for. You just well, that key you found should work. Know about that? I guess. I guess he's in here a lot. This is not a very small key for a secret door. <laughs> it should be like really big and like old timey. I think it's a very small secret door. It's not the whole cabinet. It's just this little bottom part with the drawers like swings <laughs> yeah, out. I was gonna say it just swings out like a little tiny <laughs> door. It's really awkward for them to go through there. <laughs> Awkward for them, but not for me, says Big B, dropping to all fours and just <laughs> being wolf. Just going through like a wolf, kids. What? And he trips and falls because it's dark. Ah, ah, call snow. My stitches are open. I forgot to turn on my wolf night vision. I forgot to flick that on. Hit the lever, hit the switch on the side of my head before you leave so I can see what I'm dealing with. I sure hope they don't somehow manage to sneak up on me again. I wish I had some Mountain Blend coffee right now. <laughs> Let's see, there's that, which looks pretty important. Package. Mm. Package. Package. Various things. Don't know if I'm going to be allowed to examine all of these. Whatever's on that top shelf has to be dealt with right away, apparently. <laughs> Book. Book. They can read? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Oh, he's got eyes. Or the witch. Oh my god. <laughs> he has four eyes. This doesn't really I wish his big bulby eyes on the top that are his hat or his actual eyes. That'd be funny. <laughs> or his actual eyes, yeah. What do we got here? Crooked Delivered man. a crooked man. They did say that was their boss earlier, I think. His name's fucking Crooked Man. Oh, it's a micro nuke. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Where's the fat man? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, they're fat men. Perhaps they'll just spit it out. They just throw it and it works. 
Well, you could probably throw it just... Anybody could probably throw a mini nuke. It just wouldn't go far enough to not kill them. Yeah, I guess. I can look at this, but apparently it doesn't mean anything. What is... Gosh dang... God dang drugs they have here or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Gross, ew. ASAP. Oh, more cooking. There's this tiny person there that's just very gullible. I'm like, Haha, he's a sap, get it? I'll get it to you soon. He, he signed it with his actual name? Who is he sending money to? What an idiot. <laughs> You'd think he'd at the very least use his initials. <laughs> but like backwards would be CI, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'll take this. Guilt free. Fuck him. This is going in my pocket. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be coffee on that, but whatever. I don't think so, but it's interesting. No, I need this mountain blend, I think, actually. I still need to find that witch, though. Which witch are you talking about, Big Me? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about witch, the witch. Oh, witch witch. <laughs> the witch. Everybody knows witch witch. Hey, I hate that her name is also witch for her last name. What a <laughs> dumbass idiot. You think she'd legally change that, realizing how confusing it would be? Since Crane let me go. I mean, I can the witch, 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 witch. I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know. I don't know if I want to deal with a buck twenty-five an hour in this place. <laughs> Wait, they're they're paying you a buck twenty-five? Well, yeah, that's the minimum wage here, right? They're only paying me a dollar. Right, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I meant I was only making seventy-five cents. He says. <laughs> Sorry, I like to pretend it's buck twenty-five. Feel more valuable. Anti green leaf. Anti green leaf. The witch Crane was using. That doesn't make sense though. I'm pretty sure the witch's name is Witch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's her first name. Her name is Witch Greenleaf. There's no Witch Anti Greenleaf? <laughs> yeah. Which one, I question. <laughs> anti Witch Greenleaf. <laughs> this is a stupid joke. I really found an address. Or can check for a record on Anti Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Damn it, Anti Greenleaf. I was hoping he'd be Anti Smokeleaf. She's cool. <laughs> She's really chill. Business office. This is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been. New phone. Who this? If I knew that, I'd be ripping his arm off, like as we speak. I got a name for Crane's witch. I'd be calling you so you could hear it. <laughs> you heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record. You're you think that this would be a really tight knit community of fables, but I guess half of them don't know each other. I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. What? <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> the two or three letters that has him just ignoring tenant complaints means that he was embezzling money? No <laughs> way. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I mean, it could just be him unrelatedly being a scumball, but... You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Well, Bluebeard has... I'll leave it up to you. ...probably very thoroughly wrecked everything, so... If there was anything there to find, he's probably taken it, right? I'm gonna go to talk to Holly, I guess. Although she probably... I guess I'll go be like, Hey, Holly, how's that shotgun wound doing? Probably won't be very happy to see me, though. Then she'll just glower at you and, like, slowly take a shot of whiskey. <laughs> and Gren will be there, probably. Glowering at you and taking slowly taking a shot of a, <laughs> a Bloody Mary. He's still got a hole in his chest, so it just kind of, like, dribbles out of him. <laughs> and then he'll slowly chew on the meat stick that was in there and be like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never had one of those on Bloody Mary. Mm. Isn't that like tomato juice? Gross. It's like tomato I hate juice. those ideas of a drink that's savory I think it's and salty. Vodka, right? Mixed with tomato juice. With a meat stick in there to mix it around and eat. Mostly what I know about it is like pictures of people putting extremely ridiculous things on top of them. Like whole pizzas and burgers and things. Why wouldn't I just eat the burger and leave the garbage tomato drink? If I want to drink tomato juice, I just get a V8, because at least there's vitamins in that. <laughs> I guess I'll go to Crane's apartment and stop bothering Holly, I suppose. Uh, you could go to Holly and be like, hey, what's up? Look how much healthier I am compared to you. <laughs> I'll go to Crane's apartment, see if there's an address. Although I guess Bluebeard probably would have okay. 
found it already, but... I said that he probably would have taken anything worth a while, but you decided to commit to the apartment. Yeah, I guess. Whatever, I can go there and sniff around and be like, why does this apartment smell so much like Bluebeard? <laughs> the crane's been here. The crane's been here with Bluebeard. Oh my god, they're together. Oh my god. Why aren't I using my wolf nose to do, like, any anything? Because he keeps smoking to block out the smell of the city. I guess, yeah. Everything. Wait, if you were here looking around, why am I here? Buffkin. Him burning all of the potential evidence isn't suspicious at I all. Him, Whoops. I, I was drinking under the table. Um, you know I'm sluggish when I'm drinking. I could do. Honest. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Unless he's in on it. Oh, my God. Maybe he's just jealous. Maybe he's like, I haven't gotten to decapitate anybody since I got <laughs> I'm here. I'm so mad that you got to decapitate some ladies. It's been so long. <laughs> God damn it, Crane. It should have been me. You have no idea what it's like not being able to. <laughs> well, I knew what it was like f up until I did it, actually, says Crane. <laughs> over their cell phone conversation. <laughs> their big brick cell phones, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing I came here so I could smell all this burnt evidence. There's something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of f***ing time, says Big V. Probably would have burned all the other stuff by then, Did too. Did the Tweedle but... Brothers have any information about the witch? Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. Have you heard of her? Oh, that's my witch. Strange. <laughs> I can check the books for you. Where is the Wicked Witch? I guess she's dead, I, I suppose. The the well, which one? The one of the West is dead, I think, right? Or is the East? Is the East one that dies? The Wicked Witch of the West is one that I thought they both died, don't they? Harangues, Dorothy. Because she gets melted, right? The Wicked Witch of the West? Well, they're both dead, but I mean, like, which one gets squished by the house that start is what I was thinking of. I don't remember which one is which. East gets squished, yeah. What's North and South doing? <laughs> Uh, they, they just, I guess they'd be the only ones still alive, right? They, they avoid the drama. They're working at the McDonald's down the street. Nobody cares about their story because they don't have ones. They're really weak. They're the neutral witches. <laughs> Look at Ichabod Crane with his dang-ass rifle in that painting. <laughs> like he's somebody. Like he's somebody. What a dork. Like you even know how to use that crane. I went ahead and got a painting made to commemorate the time I paid a guide to guide me to a lion to shoot from a safe distance. What a big man I was. I was really cool. <laughs> Sorry, we're due to bereavement. Who is talking to me? Sounds like Grand. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Guys, like we're friends. Hey, buddies, it's me. It's your favorite. Hi, Grand. You're looking fine. Told you it was Grand. From that shotgun wound in the, wound in the oh, chest. Oh, Come on in, buddy. <laughs> How come you didn't deflect the bullets, you fucking loser? <laughs> what? He's a traveler. A weird <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> they didn't hit you in the head. I saw where you got shot. Right? I mean, I'm he's super drunk. Be feeling too good after that shit show. <laughs> Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. You're a very strange person, Gren. <laughs> He's been smoking crystal meth. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Gren, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck? What oh, he's on painkillers, I bet. You say? Why? Didn't you come in here and, like, karate chop his arm off? Kind of, like, halfway? No, I avoided Can't cutting his arm off. <laughs> Swinehart he didn't. I, I bet his arm would have actually been off if you'd done that. Oh, jeez. Keep an eye out. See if he uses his right arm to do fucking anything. <laughs> because <laughs> I think that they might limit their animations depending on if that's a possibility because they don't want to do it. Uh, he moved a little bit, but he's using his left arm for a whole lot. I'm saying. Very nice high. I like you a lot better this way, Grin. I really liked it when you, like, drugged up, bent down, and banged your head against the counter. <laughs> Three times in a row. <laughs> you didn't even feel it. You're gonna feel it later, though. Let me talk to you. 
fat boy. Rude. I feel like Look at him holding that glass with his left hand. Crane, all right. The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for. Oh, has he not heard? He was probably, like, just somewhere where nobody could find him for a while, because he was worried about getting in trouble. That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Just pretty okay? She was... She was okay. I mean, she was a troll, am I right, guys? She was a troll. I'm a troll. Hey, Grendel, you're... whatever a Grendel is. Yeah, one of a kind, motherfucker. Get wrecked. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They, they somehow there. snuck up on me. I'm still not sure how they managed that. Whatever. It's all right. I'm Real quiet when they want to be. Look at that, like, fed up demon face <laughs> underneath the trip trap sign. Heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna Look have at him using his left and only left hand. <laughs> Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. Hmm. Take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded. I mean, I don't entirely trust loaded, him, but... <laughs> it's just a quick slug. I guess I'll do hurt it. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just keels over dead. Dead. Like, when he does this shot, he just freezes and just falls backwards. <laughs> Perfectly stiff, yeah. <laughs> like, right when it touches his lips. <laughs> Get fucking Snow White poisoned, idiot. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? How many times I'm gonna have to punch with my left hand? <laughs> I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> I'm not even really involved in this one. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem? What is the problem here? Stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. I thought you two were friends. Yeah. Was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her. Oh, well, I mean, that was indeed her job. <laughs> Not to excuse it, but I mean, she was a prostitute. That must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? What if I loved her? Do you ever think about that? <laughs> he just starts crying. It was. I never fucked her when she was snowing. That's not the point it. here, guys. I feel like that was an extremely specific, like, special request from Megabot Crane. Fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need. Did you fuck her when she was a troll? I, I guess. Or maybe he, he had her turn into someone else. Or maybe he's just into trolls. It was you, Gren. I had her turn into you. <laughs> Whenever she wasn't turning into Big V. <laughs> I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have and to shut touch up, God. To touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Oh, Grand, come on. Whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Grand. Grand hasn't used his right hand for anything so far. Which is weird, because he's apparently walking around fine after getting shot in the chest by a shotgun. <laughs> Well, the reason why is because in the first episode, you probably could have cut his arm off if you wanted to get super aggressive. And because they didn't want to do the animations <laughs> twice, they just added that he only uses left hand just in case. Oh, no. I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me. Giants, fairies, oh, whatever. Seems that I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> what? Right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. The <laughs> Grand won't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that he would have just like looked forward and just like had his face plop down like a kitten that falls asleep. You know. <laughs> <laughs> She's also looking pretty okay from her gunshot wound. Poke her in the gunshot wound until she wakes up. Be like, Holly, I gotta talk to you, Holly. Holly. 
Holly. Holly. I'm going to keep poking you until you wake up. <laughs> it sure is alcohol. Oh, baby. Careful. She'll wake up and do extra damage. Oh, no. Oh, the trolls have a temporary bonus to their damage <laughs> if they wake up from sleeping. They're, if you wake them up from sleeping, I meant. What a coincidence. Oh, my God. <laughs> Quick. And then she like jump into the box. He says, diving in like a swimmer. It <laughs> turns over and like slaps me in the face. <laughs> you reach over, and then she rolls back over and puts her hand over yours. And you're like, well, I guess I'm stuck here now. <laughs> that you, Woody? It's a me, Woody. Woody, is that you? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Boss closed. Fuck off with a capital A. <laughs> but what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. <laughs> you do what you want. You always do what you well, want. Well, that went pretty well, I think. You're a strong, independent man, Big B. I respect that. <laughs> that don't need no woman. That don't need no woman. <laughs> You all look the same. One of the dumbs, the Tweedles, was in the background of that picture, though. Do you even give yeah, he looked like Nerissa. The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not. Be. Not all of us can get in the green mile and escape these zombies, Bigby. <laughs> look, I you haven't know. seen what my apartment looks like. I'm not doing too hot. I don't think it's Green Mile. It's Green something. We ain't friends. Tower and Land of the Dead's called something with green. Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, you want to play this Chinese finger trap with me? <laughs> if we pull apart, it doesn't let us go. I don't know. Her, her troll finger might not fit in there very well. Wow. <laughs> Your fucking troll finger might not fit, says time. <laughs> if only you weren't a troll. <laughs> Why do you even come here? Stop eating my stuff. I can't be any use to you. Shut up and go to sleep, Pat Pat. And turn her off. For the funeral and everything that's happened. The shotgun mostly. The shotgun was unfortunate. That's probably the worst part. <laughs> the Andrew's book's probably pretty important. What you keep looking at the same page is what honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. I mean he he killed he someone. A long time ago. It's my job, kiddo. He, he killed someone. Several someone's you actually say <laughs> ruffling her hair. It's my job, kiddo. Well, what's the only thing the business office would let you do? What does that mean? The guy I think did it. He and I have a history. A school yard. You and Crane. Ain't no reason, Big B. At least he, he, he was killing people. Uh, Holly. Whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. But don't so tell anybody man. I said that. She says, poke you in the face, <laughs> then dragging your hand down it. Oh. <laughs> Like, like across your mouth, like your lip gets pulled down. You're like, great. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. <laughs> You're getting your glamour on this day. And one of these has to be the witch. Telephone. Green. It's not my house. I don't care. Gotcha. Uh, again, using their actual initials in there. <laughs> I'm looking for Idiot. <laughs> is anyone there? Big B, if you're there. Oh, phone, who does? <laughs> yeah, hi, this is Gren. Hi, this is Holly. <laughs> Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's with nice. their fucking initials. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. I told you hear that uplifting music in the background, Big B? I think we're starting to make progress here. <laughs> yeah, I did it. All right, I'll see you there. And then as he walks past, he pats Gren on the head. I was gonna say you should hang up the phone on top of Gren's head <laughs> and still makes the click sound. Big B. I just got here. 
Yeah, me too. It's number twenty. Well, you work here, Snow. We're late. Yeah, no, this is a different place. Oh, I thought this was the, okay. uh, all of the apartments in this game look exactly the same. <laughs> you better hurry up. That clock's fucking blazing ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just scratch at it like a dog would. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Hmm. It's almost like it's 2 a.m., Bigby. Do I knock or do I kick the door? That's up to you, kiddo. Hmm. I don't know if you can get through that thick ass mahogany, though. I do probably have super strength. You could easily get through that mahogany, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you are the big ass, badass, wolf ass wolf, after all. His full official title. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just We're pretty sure there's a wolf witch there, and I can eat those. I've done it before. Come on. Makes sense. Uh, okay, fine. What would you have me do instead? Uh, this is why I don't bring you on my adventures, Snow. We didn't even try the door handle. Hello, small child. Are you guys talking about breaking down my door, says the child? You should have had the option to break it down like knock her out. She's ragdolls. <laughs> Is something wrong? Who are you? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? You're the one at my door, guy. Who are you? I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> I can literally say that. <laughs> well, I'm the sheriff. Well, you're not lying. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> Boss. Whatever you say, baby. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? Yeah. Does she ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate? <laughs> Turn frogs into cats. That kind of thing. Is she a witch? Oh, come on, Bigby. No, I would never call Collect newts for various pieces. <laughs> is there something you want? Mm. I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I I never have any idea what to say <laughs> to these people. <laughs> Do you handle this fing lost sassy child? She's not lost though. This is her house. No, she's lost. Look at her. She's here around me. Where is your mom right now? Yeah, this is looking pretty witchy. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay. Are you Crane? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything on you. He went to the witch and she turned him into a little girl. <laughs> They'll never find you, Crane. I guess she could secretly be the witch or something. Mm. The witches are very tricky. What if there's a whole coven of witches in here just sneaking around? <laughs> I opened the closet and Crane is just in there. <laughs> And there's a coven of witches, like, on the ceiling, just dancing around, because that's what the witches do, right? I'm pretty sure that's what witches do. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. That's a good name. Could just be an actual butcher, I guess. Now, if we can find a box that says the baker and one that says the candlestick maker, we've got to leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, it probably is that, actually. There's no one here but me. Where's your mom? Well, then you're the witch. You say drop kicking her. How much longer do you think it'll be? Hmm. Want to hear how yell loud I can scream as a wolf? Yeah. Where is your mom? Where do you buy your clothes? My mommy makes all of mine. And where is she exactly? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we got a record player portrait. I saw a spider. That your mom? I saw a spider yesterday. You want to talk about that instead of looking around? It was really scary as a big spider. She's being a little suspicious. Do you like broccoli? This small child. Shut the fuck up, small child, you suspicious ass kid. Oh, absolutely. Fake. False. A, fa a false child. She said she likes broccoli. That's only something a witch would say. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing that looks like Crane was here. There's just a door here in <laughs> Malkovich's head. See? <laughs> mm, let's see. Do you have any pets? It's a tree. I'm gonna need both of you to look away for a second. It's from the old world. 
trinkets. It's from the old world. Like glamours? <laughs> yes, like glamours. The fuck is a glamour, says the kid. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Hmm. Can I go to bed now? I'm a little girl and sleepy. You should leave. Hmm. See me rubbing my eyes? I'm so sleepy. really doesn't let anyone play with that. Is she actually Crane? <laughs> Is she actually going to be Crane? No, 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 no. Please, please, please just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with that. Have I told you about how I lost my two front teeth yet? <laughs> she will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see... Wow. He says, just swallowing it. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No, put it down. Please, Ooh. don't. This is a wicked thing. You're not gonna believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh. Oh, nope, it was her. What a lion hacker. <laughs> I don't care, is Clementine doing an old person voice? What? I think. Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business. Yeah, it's pretty why? weird to be doing that. How about because it works? That's why. What does that mean? That Certainly kept you two off I mean, not long enough, clearly. Sure. Not really. I'm pretty sure both you and I were immediately suspicious. I mean, I played this, but you were <laughs> pretty quickly suspicious to me. Quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he was. I know fortune teller, wolf, she says, blaze up a stogie. <laughs> Stew. Owl stew? In the name of everything holy, are you protecting this weaselly scum? Wait, did you kill the owl from Winnie the Pooh as well? <laughs> oh no! How deep does this go? <laughs> Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Oh, did he like kidnap the? The actual girl and is like holding her hostage. Want to check your facts on that. Can it, hmm. it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't help you. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Oh. Under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of. Yeah, we can sure beat up the bad guys. I'm really good at that. No I'm like really super OP. You want me to show you? I absolutely have no idea what <laughs> what's going on. Selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things. I'm gonna have to throw the book at you. You say picking up a book from her bookshelf and throwing it at her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Snow's like, oh, I've already explained this to you, Bigby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the tree. Oh. How dare you? If you make this apartment building rumble again, I'm gonna eat you. The tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. Oh, I probably shouldn't have peed on it earlier, right? From you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's... You're making misery. Bigby do his old man waddle <laughs> when he's really frustrated. You better watch out. <laughs> he's getting really frustrated. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Okay. Don't do this. Isn't I, there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? I, I have no I idea what's happening. You want to reward her for Well, she she's the one making illegal glamours that's been getting around lately. Matter, I'd never do and she's also the person that made the glamour that was being used by Lily to pretend to be Snow White. I mean, she made the glamours, but I have no idea what, like... If, I feel like I've kind of lost the thread of the plot here. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. 
Well, she uses the tree, I guess, as like the source of her power or something. That is, she just likes it. She's like, I pet it every night. Whatever, I brush it. I brush the leaves. Oh, okay. He thinks, so it doesn't actually. Dumbass doesn't realize that we could just use that as one of our hot bar items. We just cast a spell. <laughs> an idiot. Why didn't you just tell us this? It wouldn't be right after what Because I want my tree. Please, Sheriff. No. I'm not. Um, we got the information we want. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you really going to cut my balls off, Bigby? <laughs> Cole hasn't confirmed you. And until he does, you have absolutely no authority. Whenever the f that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Have you even seen him in like a year's snow? Whatever, I guess I'll just hey, hopefully leave then. Don't leave town. <laughs> when I get promoted, I'm gonna come back and make him do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna get my balls back, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> well, that was all very dramatic. She was extremely mad about it. <laughs> Soda, beer, and cigarettes. Lung butter cigarettes, to be specific. All three? We gotta stop at this dilly grocery real quick, <laughs> Snow. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. It wasn't locked, Big B. God. <laughs> oh, no. oh, dear Mr. Spot, Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane. What would that nerd have with a place like his, this? His car is literally outside. No, no. Why would you even be protecting him if he's like strong arming your girls like this? Don't make me telefrag you. <laughs> Look at me doing it. I'm doing it right now. Tell me who did it. Uh oh. Tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. Well, time to maul Crane. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> I've seen what that fist could do. My head would be right off. And that's only the weakest thing you could do if you go full wolf mode. I'm fucked. Stupid ring working, that's all. I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. Oh, hold up, guys. That car is for sale for 2,000 bucks. <laughs> it must. I <laughs> Giant fist, scissors, anti aircraft missile, airplane. My lips are sealed. Damn it. The Green Lanterns lied to me. I hate when I go to their sector of the town. Uh, <laughs> I spent literally all my money on this. What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Uh, 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 only a couple hundred. I'm addicted, Snow. I'm addicted to dead <laughs> ass. Nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just. Oh God. We found the phone. How we get to finish this with a choke slam? Just put him through a table. That was. I just. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love yeah. you. I hope Snow gets to be the one that choke slams you through the table. <laughs> yeah. What if she just does it right now? I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. There was this time I spent a whole lot of time with seven dwarves. <laughs> I recognized that look. It was really fucking creepy and weird. Seven dwarves. Seven Dwarves. She says seven more times to, <laughs> to reiterate. <laughs> He's kind of too pathetic and bitch boy to have done it, Big Me. I don't know about this. Yeah. It's kind of weak. I mean, I could choke slam him right now through that table. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. It means so much. To Shut up. She just like slaps him. <laughs> you don't think just does like a spin kick in his face with her heels. <laughs> There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. 
I mostly just want to get him for that embezzling and the whole being a land leech thing. Yeah. Of using our money for his own oh, and also the prostitution. That was really creepy, I guess. <laughs> the land leech, though, that really makes me mad. I mean, I kind of am doubting. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he He's kind of a wimpy, pathetic loser. <laughs> he is... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? Kind of a wimpy, pathetic loser. Why are you so desperate to make us suspect him? Hmm? knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did Maybe it was Bluebeard. But if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily... I'm sorry. Oh, Bluebeard seems like a little too obvious, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, but what if it's like a... The guy whose whole fable is beheading people? What if it's like a fake-out? They, like, put the beheading guy in front of you and you're... you're so, so that you go, oh, it can't be him, he's too obvious. But then he oh actually... Oh, you're so obvious, Bluebeard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'm doing this now, Snow White says, snatching his little glasses and breaking them. <laughs> Good luck getting home. <laughs> my glasses, my glasses. I can't see a thing without my glasses. I, I, I mean, I mean, they were just reading glasses, but this is really annoying. <laughs> the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. Suspicion. Snow. No. Bad. She says, spritzing you in the face with a water bottle. Acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have You're to not in the office yet, Snow. You're not in the office yet. And he is the prime suspect. What it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? <laughs> By stealing all of the money, yes. You, you think you got the balls? I will, she says. <laughs> I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. So you took... As much money as yeah. So be it. I have no Pinch's large nose. Save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Careful, it almost stabbed you in the face. And we can live a lot. We 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 can live a long time. So when I say a long time, I mean a long time. <laughs> I think when they throw something down the witching well, it just kind of drops forever. So you should just dunk his ass in there. <laughs> just dunk him. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, tie a rope to his feet first so we can reel him back in every once in a while. Just every once in a while, though. <laughs> we'll, quote-unquote, forget for a while. <laughs> and then remember, you know what I mean? Oh, God, my ankle! Oh, Bigby, why? What are you saying? That hard-ass yellow light. Yeah. Uh-oh. Tweedles? Or... Hmm. Don't make me Hulk out and just... Is this a Decepticon? Be careful, it might be a Decepticon. <laughs> it, it could be a Decepticon. <laughs> Don't make me Hulk out and just flip your car over. Don't make me Hulk out, I'll flip <laughs> your car over. They did tease us going full beast mode twice now. Yeah, in an alleyway, even. Oh my god, the, but they also said we are going to fight Beast in Alleyway, that didn't <laughs> They did also say we were, unless Beast is one of these guys. Oh my god! <laughs> well, there's the Tweedles. And whoever this is... Hi. Fuck are you. Who are you? Highlight lady. Who? Oh, geez, yeah. shotguns hurt. I remember that from last time. It's hard to read your subtitles when everything's so pink and red. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Hold up, guys. There's a jazz lounge here. We can talk about this. <laughs> oh, I really want to go to that jazz lounge. Over the sound of smooth jazz and a couple drinks? <laughs> How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. I'm a wolf, excuse me. I'm a good doggy, he says panting. <laughs> oh, she just punches him. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the end? That fucking smile. The Mondays call me. What? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh... 
Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh my God. They call me that because some of them they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the fake dog. Can, can you do that, actually? I literally killed children, she says. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job. I like my job. He's in custody, so move your car. Before I move it for you. you never just give him up. <laughs> Fuck it. What? Was that you f***ing up, or did they just do it? Didn't you? have a prompt for that. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess I'm not the one. <laughs> Where's Neo during all this? But you're looking in? awfully smug for what is, I'm sure, about to happen. It turns out that I'm basically just Wolverine, guys. Yeah, maybe making the big bad wolf angry is a bad idea, actually. It turns out. Oh, uh, should we just let him keep standing? Should we keep shooting? <laughs> should we just should we just let him do this? I guess. <laughs> I don't think it, he doesn't seem to care very much. I don't know if you don't keep pressing that button, he might just die. <laughs> How much ammo you got in those things? Jeez. I got forty-seven more shells in this five-round magazine. <laughs> Ow. I get it. You have shotguns. God. Oh, my shirt disappeared. I absorbed it. That's why. That's where my muscle mass came from. <laughs> I just see the oh, shotgun. Is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. What are you going to do first? <laughs> Boom. Dumpster. Whoa. Wow, you flung that real easy. Yeah, squish him. The final one of that should have just been you busting through the chest and getting his hurt. <laughs> Whoops, turns out the big bad wolves are really fucking overpowered. She's definitely got like a silver bullet in there though, so. Knife's probably silver or something. <laughs> oh, the gun. I thought she was holding a knife. No, she's got like a big, big revolver. Oh, baby. Fuck you. Eh. Whatever, I'm better than you, loser. <laughs> Look at me realizing that I'm better than you. Why did your eyes roll up like you were dead anyway? He passed out, it's fine. <laughs> it's because they didn't want to reanimate his body. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you wouldn't kill him, oh my Ow. god. Ow. I sprinkled that one with paprika, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, she's got like a silver bullet in there. Oh god, Whoa. That was a good show, but you know. It It'd be a real shame if you shot Bigby in the head and then also Snow White, so that you wouldn't have to worry about them ever again. Yeah, instead of just doing this. Oh, the Woodsman's axe for some oh, reason. Oh, baby, I guess that would work. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> She's doing this. What a psycho. But as it turns out, she had to get the get the get the axe and then walk <laughs> to the wall and then start scraping it. <laughs> My bars fall. F <laughs> off. Come on. I know I can't. My bars fall. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm gonna catch that with my teeth. You should have got one of the shotguns and just like blasted her. Look, what you just did was really cool, and I'm kind. I kind of have a crush on you. Maybe we could get <laughs> drinks or something. Just don't kill him, right? You should have just grabbed one of the shotguns from the wall and. Like where I threw him and shot him. Just use your ice powers, Snow White. Get out of here. Your other name is Elsa, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're Elsa, right? Hmm. 
Oh, mysterious. That's. Hmm. That's your lucky day. Oh my God, thing is behind all of this. <laughs> it's just a thing. <laughs> Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomachache? I hope she does like a wicked cool like vertical slice and just cuts him. <laughs> just cuts him in half. Yeah. Oh jeez! Oh god! Why does it have that spike on the back of it? I mean, yeah. Uh, for extra penetration. <laughs> what the fuck, Spike? You? Oh, that thing? I don't know. That's not in. That's not at all useful. I have no idea. <laughs> Just to be cool, I guess. Watch your mouth. Oh! Ow! I need that. That was that hurts, but it's gonna be fine tomorrow. <laughs> Our tattoos are glowing now. Oh, well, now they're not. Maybe it's just when she's hurting somebody. It's like, oh, oh I love it. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Or could it just be the lighting? Mm -hmm. No, it was definitely glowy. I hope not. We were in touch a second ago, and it hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer not to be in touch with you, actually. <laughs> Where were you, Little Mermaid? You got a power boost from the rain. You could have helped. <laughs> like the, like the Sea King from from One Punch Man. It just gets super ripped and huge. <laughs> Next time on the Wolf Among Us, kids. Oh, hey, my shirt came wow, back. Wow, big B. I can't believe you regenerated your shirt your shirt so quickly. The surgery on his shirt is complete. <laughs> He'll be fine. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. Excuse me, so I'm trying to get a drink from my fucking faucet here. He says, yeah. leaning back over. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. I really wish people would stop calling me that. I'm a wolf. Yeah, I'm better than a dog. I'm bigger. Look at my paws. Look how much bigger my paws are. Are you even gonna be able to stop them? Are you gonna be able to handle when they spin the chamber of the revolver unnecessarily? Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Look at how cool she is, though. <laughs> She's so cool, guys. Look at her red highlight in her hair. <laughs> you don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much Hey, that's not what I saw. Yeah. That wasn't the hand. Well, that was the hand, but it wasn't as dark as it was. <laughs> Uh, did you interrupt Snow's eulogy, nerd? You and 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt Snow like any kind of decent human being would. What place did you investigate first? You and 19.8% of players investigated the Tweedle's office first. Most people went to see Ollie, I guess. That was about even with the other two, actually. Yeah, by 1%, most people went to see Ollie. Otherwise, 39% went to Ichabod Crane's apartment. <laughs> Did you offer Flycatcher a job? You and 96.1% of players offered a job to Flycatcher. Uh, again, like uh, a decent person would do. <laughs> I like how people complain about like a... Uh, people complain about uh, lawful good paladins and D&D games and stuff, but anytime you give a person a game where it's like you could be a good guy or a bad guy, everyone's always like lawful good every time. Yeah. <laughs> and then like the second time they play, they're a jerk. <laughs> But I don't know about you, but whenever I played Mass Effect, I was Paragon, because I wanted to be a cool guy who's a hero. No, I feel bad if I'm me. <laughs> I also feel bad when I mean like I'm some kind of human being or something. <laughs> did you burn Greenleaf's tree? Sure did. You and 79.5% of players did not burn Greenleaf's tree. She was being weirdly aggressive about that tree. She really likes her tree. Did you kill Tweedledum? You and 55.8% of players showed Tweedledum mercy. I guess when you're full beast mode, it's easier to be like, whatever, just fucking kill him. Or also, he, he is also just a jerk that shot people, so. He is, it was about half, so. About half. Uh, it skews towards don't, but plenty of people did. I don't know how up to date these percentages are, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, they're, they might be old. <laughs> Join the discussion now! <laughs> oh man, it's Etericus Asifo Flauby. <laughs> Time 
What did you think about the third episode of The Wolf Among Us? Uh, I'm very confused about what the actual, like, is happening. What's, what's actually happening now? <laughs> well, let's try to piece it together real quick, then. So, Crane was paying Lily to glamorous snow, and then Lily was killed, and her head was placed on the front of the building. Yeah, she was killed in in the building, in the room that... In Snow's form, too. Uh, yeah. Crane was using. Uh, which means someone would have asked her to glamorous Snow again. It could have been Crane. He seems pretty adamant that it wasn't him. It could have also been someone glamored as Crane, because apparently that's a thing it you It could have do. been someone glamored as Crane, yeah. It's really hard to tell who the fuck is guilty when you're living in a town where everyone can look like anyone else, I guess. But they were using black market glamorous to do it, which was being made by the witch that you found, who I think uses the tree to do it. It, it sounded I like... I think that or she just keeps it because it's from... It, she just wants it from the old the homeland. It sounded like she needs the tree to make, like, the... Because the glamour, like, tubes were all, like, carved from wood, so I think she needs the wood from that tree to make them. Mm, maybe. So what we learned is that she was the one providing the glamour for the for Lily to look like snow. And other than that, we thought that Crane was responsible, but he might not be. It could be whoever this mysterious other person is. And I think that's basically the story so far. Yeah, I guess we just... Uh, have no idea who the crooked who the who the bad guy is now again. <laughs> the crooked man. Other than uh, Bloody Mary, she's the bad guy. Obviously. <laughs> Did you see how cool she was when she kicked your ass? See how easily she kicked your ass? Did you see how much of a dork she was when she walked all the way over to the side of the alley so she <laughs> yeah. could scrape the <laughs> scrape the axe on weeb. it? <laughs> I'm gonna be really spooky. Watch this, guys. And she's like, she takes like five to seven extra steps to the side just to scrape it, so that she can take five to seven extra steps once she's done scraping it to walk to you. What a dork! What a dweeb! Oh, look at how scary she is, though. <laughs> Did you see her red highlight in her hair? She's bloody married. You get it? <laughs> bloody like blood. She literally kills children. Yeah, she did say that. How much time is left in this episode? Uh, we're. It was like one minute. So I turned it off. <laughs> uh, do you want to read through the Book of Fables then, just to add it? There's not that many, it looks like. I missed three for this episode. Oh, my God. It's probably, uh, if you go to a certain place first, you probably get something. That, that one next to the witch is probably if you burn the tree. Yeah, probably. Vivian. The Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown, since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a living liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. She's just... Oh my god. Someone. She might be, like, a actual protagonist Fable, maybe. She could just be a regular human as being, I don't know. She could also just be a regular human, but... I mean, it says she lived in the homeland, so she is a fable. She could have just been one of those background humans in the stories that nobody cares about. Would the background humans live for centuries, though? I don't know, they're still in the story, right? I guess. If you're, like, a side character in a really popular story, do you still get the benefit of being, like, basically immortal? I, I mean, I guess, like... If you're in, like, a modern thing, some random person on the internet probably thinks you're really cool, even if you show up, like, barely in it at all. <laughs> if this is, if the Star Wars stories are <laughs> anything to go by, if you're just in the movie, you have a huge backstory post-movie, guys. I think I read recently that, you know the Tatooine bar scene where he, uh, Obi-Wan cuts the guy's arm off? Yeah. Because lightsabers are supposed to cauterize wounds and the blood was and the arm was all bloody, they like wrote up a whole special like biology <laughs> for that species to explain why the arm was bloody. <laughs> if you're really lucky, you might secretly turn out to have been a force user. Like that robot or that garbage compactor alien. They did it on purpose, guys. They knew about their destiny and about how important it was that they did the thing they did. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. He served. I knew it! <laughs> uh huh. 
That's the story. I knew. I guessed it. I was right. That he, uh, I think, replaced his own heart, right? Oh, yeah. Or something like that? Yeah. I could be, still be wrong. Let's finish the story before I make assumptions. There have been, I think I read, like, one time somewhere, actual people that have operated on themselves when they really, really had to. Yeah, there's, like, uh, times during, like, uh, early wars or, uh, like, World War One or whatever. And also, I think people in, like, Antarctica research bases and shit, where they just don't have a choice. They have to do it because they're the only one capable. Where he had, li had to, like, take out his own kidney or something. I think, or like appendix. I thought it was maybe. appendicitis or something. That was the appendix. Or I, I think I'm also thinking of perhaps an episode of House, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I think one of those is inspired by a real thing, right? Mm, yeah, probably. He served as an ar army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. What he he was like, hey, you want to see this cool thing I can do? And then he just like cut himself open and started rooting around. <laughs> You want to see me do it again? <laughs> he currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what it actually is, what is actually a reserved fables-focused health facility. Oh my god, that's where Daredevil goes every night. <laughs> oh, Daredevil goes there. <laughs> the night nurse works there, probably. <laughs> I can't believe I keep getting stuck having to fix these superheroes. So kind of annoying. <laughs> a flycatcher, the frog prince. So I guess he's the the frog from the princess and frog. A former yeah. prince turned to a frog by a witch. The friendly, genial flycatcher now carries the nickname as an unsubtle reference to his propensity for catching and eating flies. Oh, he still does that. His wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands. Get fucked. Oh. A fact he attempts to deny himself by committing to a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. Oh, that's a really unfortunate flycatcher, actually. <laughs> wow, your little smiley face watch does not allude to you having such a dark and fucked up ass. turn that smile upside down, flycatcher. It is upside it down is right upside now, down. actually. <laughs> <laughs> The Trip Trap Bar, the watering hole, the oldest bar in New York City. The Trip Trap was established in 1725 in, this, in secret by Starkad, the legendary Viking and reprobate. <laughs> reprobate. 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 Time. Reprobate. Whatever. As a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. Known then as the... the Commiserate. <laughs> <laughs> no none as the Grammarian's Tavern. He eventually lost it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls, who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Holly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early 20th century. It must have been some boating accident. I can't believe they crashed right into her and it was crazy. She was just taking a bath one night. Well, she was under the bridge and they didn't see her. Yeah, you should stop being under bridges, trolls. <laughs> dark down there. Anti Greenleaf, the white deer, okay. You have teeny tiny hands. She really does. Why yeah, I guess the glamour didn't wear off on your hands when you went to old lady mode. <laughs> They're just still a child. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> A horticulturist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor, unsupervised and un unrestricted. Rumored to have lost a daughter in the homeland, she suffers paranoia and depressive, depressive mood swings, and will only depressive mood <laughs> swings, and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, an oft-whispered spec specter of Brook. Brookhaven natives. Hey, you guys in New York City, you see that that white deer wandering around? That was pretty weird. It was probably a witch. But which witch could it be? She is 100% just like a cryptid online, online forum. So I guess they don't have those yet, but she would be. Well, they might have some like really early forums back in the day, like IRC chats, you know what I'm saying? Hidden up that IRC. Guys, you won't believe it. I found a ghost deer here in Brookhaven. <laughs> it's really spooky. It was spooky because it transformed into a little girl and into an old lady in the back into a ghost gear. Just believe me, guys. Trust me. I would have taken a picture, but I don't have those <laughs> in my pocket yet. I, w I wish my phone had a camera already. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone when it happened. Does that count? <laughs> I was at the local payphone. 
a glamour tube, uh, the handy disguise. Uh, glamours can be, be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small hollowed out tube or container and place within it several items unique to whoever the caster wants to copy. A witch is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour, glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible, and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. Totally unique appearances are impossible? What does that mean? You can't make up a person. You have to, like, have a reference. Yeah, I see. So you can't just become something new. I guess, like, the non-cheap glamours are able to do that then, I suppose. Uh, I guess. This says this type of glamour, so I guess that if there's a really expensive one. I mean, I, I assume that uh, the ones used by legally to, like, disguise yourself, like the ones that you keep telling Toad to use, those probably give me a unique appearance. Because if you were walking around as a complete doppelganger or somebody, people would be like, wait a second. Somebody might recognize you and be like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> Hold on a second. Why do you look like me? Uh, hold on a second. Mom, you didn't tell me you'd be hanging out around here. And Toad's like, ah, oh, <laughs> God damn it. Somebody walks up to Gren and is like, hey, man. He goes for a, le a, a right handed high five. <laughs> <laughs> and Gren's like, uh oh. <laughs> he starts crying again and runs away. God damn it, cry, Gren. You cry, baby. You cry, baby. A Ring of Dispel, the Arthurian Band. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches, the Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Cancelling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. She's just giving people all kinds of shit, isn't she? Uh, she just, I mean, she just kind of gives people magic stuff. It, it's, it's just her thing. She peeks her head out of the water and is like, how important are you? And if it's anything above, like, business owner, she's like, fucking, you want something? I got stuff down here. <laughs> Random peasant. And she's just like, yeah. As she slowly goes back down. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles coming up. <laughs> What's she doing right now? Where's she at? And King Arthur. She's probably in the water somewhere. King Arthur, well, he has his heckin' gauntlet and sword behind you. I'm oh, yeah, sure. he did. Yeah, I guess In he's got, room, like... Right? He's, I guess, a giant, too, apparently. I, I guess he has, like, the whole legend about him, like, still being alive and coming back when England needs him or whatever thing it is. Isn't he, isn't he supposed to be sleeping underneath something somewhere? Yeah, he's, like, hidden somewhere. He's sleeping. He's taking a nap. <laughs> He's very sleepy. Conquering England is a very, it's a very sleepy business. Lady in the Lake just went to a lake somewhere and just sits there and is like, well, eventually someone will come here seeking some kind of artifact, right? <laughs> I got like, I got these Legos, these Garfield phones <laughs> Garfield I could give them. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of car batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not car batteries. Recovered by the business office after the emigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for care for caretaking. Turns out it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it broke. Oh, hands up! Oh, don't shoot! Oh no! Oh, jeez! Uh, Bloody Mary, the urban legend. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables. Even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence, an inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal, effectively shortcutting space and time. Thought by Mundy's to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is yet unseen. Oh, she's just resistant to magic. Okay. Because uh, she comes out of a mirror, get it? Because the mirrors reflect. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you, you get, get it? it? <laughs> Do you get it? Is she just... Do you get it? Do you get it? She's just evil, I guess. That's her thing. She's just, Well, I mean, she was evil in the original story as well, so... You say her name, she comes out and fucking kills you. Yeah, she's just real mean. Uh, do you know, there's like three different versions of the thing you're supposed to say, too. Is there? Do you know that? No. I'm pretty sure. Yeah? <laughs> what? Telling me no, like I'm wrong? No, I was saying and no, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, blood is blood. It's blood. <laughs> Bloody Mary uh, ritual. I'm pretty sure there's one where you're supposed to say her name. 
three times, and then after that, you're supposed to say, I'm the one who took your child or something <laughs> like that. Because the whole reason is because she lost a kid, and that's why it's supposed to be spooky. Dookie. You ever go to the mirror at night and say Bloody Mary three times time? No, I sure don't. I sure don't. I've I've done it, <laughs> and nothing fucking happened. Turns out this isn't real. <laughs> because she's fake, yes. Dead wreck, do we even that she just evaporates from the screen? How often do you think she just, like, randomly pops up at kids' parties? Like, sl slumber parties to murder everyone? She probably just, like, ah, whatever, I'm tired tonight. She just doesn't do it. <laughs> but every once in a while, she's like, you know what, I'd go for some child murder. <laughs> How, uh... How often do you think that happens that she, I assume, can just, like, hear it every time? H how, how many kids in the whole planet are doing it constantly? <laughs> this stupid-ass wiki how article I just pulled up where everybody's got these big dumbass grins. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're having fun. We're playing Bloody Mary. Well. And then she feeds your lungs to your dog, apparently. But she probably feeds whatever she wants to him. Anyway, there's like a... I can't find it off of a quick Google, but... There's like different versions of the thing you're supposed to say. Depending on where you grew up. Like, it's different. It's one of those things, you know... What if you... Get somebody to say Bloody Mary into the mirror, but then you get another person to say Beetlejuice three times? And then somebody else says Biggie Smalls three times. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, and then all three of them fight. And they all appear... And Biggie Smalls kicks both of their asses because he's Biggie Smalls. <laughs> well, that's the Book of Fables for Episode 3, kids. Episode 3 is over. It's done. You're over halfway through this game, kiddo. I am over halfway through this game. It's almost time to find out the truth. Are you excited? I, I got the... I got the Hulk out and fight the Tweedles, I guess, and then the lady... You had an opportunity to hardcore murder somebody and you chose to know. The, the lady kind of completely wrecked me. She kind of kicked your ass. Turns out she had that one thing that negates everything about you, though. Which is weird, because I don't think I'm a werewolf. I'm the big bad wolf, but... I, yeah, what's I that guess. about? I guess that they just kind of lumped all the werewolf stories on top of you, because you do transform, at least in this setting, from a person to a wolf. Even though I'm pretty sure, like, they're doing magic to make you not look like a monster. She did comment on it, even. She's like, hey, I didn't know if this would work since you're not technically a werewolf, but I guess it did. Wow, lucky me, it seems. I kind of gambled on that one, she says, brushing some sweat from her brow. <laughs> it would have gone real bad if I hadn't worked. It would have been really embarrassing because I was doing this whole, like, cool guy stand back thing the whole time. <laughs> if that didn't work, I would have looked like a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, you would have ripped my head off for sure. A, a, a crisis averted. My reputation is intact. Uh, what if she was so confident because if it didn't work, she could just turn around and like dive through the reflection in the window. <laughs> she has to dive through like the the side mirror the of the car. Mirror. Like whoa! <laughs> has to spin and get flushed through it. You hear the sound and everything. <laughs> the cooker man is just like uh. uh. And then instead of a hand wave, he just does a fucking middle finger and leaves. <laughs> just drives off. <laughs> Gun it, he tells his driver. <laughs> and they just kind of meander past, and you don't move because you don't have control over the character in cutscenes. Oh, I guess he's leaving now, you say. Just look at him and growl. Hey, hey, uh, Wolf Among Us. What are we going to be doing with Chapter 4 today? Uh, last time, we tracked down Crane, and then we threatened a witch and we beat up the Tweedles and then we got hardcore wrecked by uh, Bloody Mary. She's so cool, you guys. Did you see? Oh, gee, look at this smug-ass grin. You're not going to do nothing, Big B. <laughs> <laughs> I heard what happened to you in that alleyway. Bloody Mary kicked your ass. I'm not scared of you anymore. He might be the crooked man. You're going to the farm. He looks pretty straight, it looks like. He's very <laughs> symmetrical and has good posture. I don't think so. Uh, well, that that just throws you off more. Oh my god. Are you suggesting they meant crooked as in, like, morals? Yeah. <laughs> the guy Oh my who's... god, the themes, you guys. <laughs> the entire story is about decapitating ladies. That is a little too obvious, I still say. Yeah, the flying monkey. They're, uh... They're all, like, fairy tale characters. Yeah, it's based off the Fables comics, if you haven't if you haven't heard of those. Oh yeah, I got shot a bunch, too. 
Yeah, but that just made you go like, I am the one and get back up and you're fine. It, it did make me quite angry. You absorbed your shirt, it's fine, that healed you. <laughs> Oh, I let you live, dork. Can't wait for you to be a jerk later. Oh. Ow. But, you know, <laughs> oh. Just... There she is. She has red eyes, too, I think. <laughs> it might have just been the lighting. I'm not sure. Well, take the guy that I actually hate. Just take him. <laughs> Whatever. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. I think it was the lighting. She probably has red eyes, though. Oh, her name's Bloody Mary, so... Oh, what a weird dream. <laughs> I would never lose to that to that dork. This is like three weeks later and every night he wakes up telling himself that. <laughs> hmm. Whoops. Looks like Colin's back from the the truck. They dropped him <laughs> off. Hi. Oh my god. See you around. Oh uh, no. Yeah, definitely a nightmare. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded. What a jerk. What an actual capital J jerk. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs. Oh, the bullet one's fine. His liver, not so much. He's probably f His lungs are real bad, too. Which is weird. I usually recommend lung butter cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Swiss cheese in there. And also on the outside. You just spit on the floor, Bigby. God. She says getting upset that you're making a mess. <laughs> this is my apartment, Snow. No. I'm like the landlord or something now, I think. My arm! I'm gonna paint over your blood... <laughs> I'm gonna paint over your blood stains. Oh no, they'll have to put the collar on him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you maybe don't move it, guy? <laughs> but look how floppy my hand is. It's not gonna be like this forever. He can set it himself. Well, I mean, I guess he's a little busy. Be a huge badass. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just like, <f> just <laughs> like, flick your arm and just like do it without even touching it with the other hand. I think you're doing. Oh, okay. Did I did it? I think you fucked it up. No, I think I didn't. Did it? No, it looks like you didn't do it. Far Cry moment. Yeah, just go ahead and just <laughs> straighten out those fingers. You're fine. Just, just di dig the the bullet right out of yourself. It's fine. Don't even need like. Bigby, Bigby, just wrap your hand in a bandage. You're totally okay. Here's. There it is. You see how they added the detail of his eyes going yellow for a second because it hurt a lot. Not bad. <laughs> That'll do, I suppose. Oh, not bad. I was kind of scared that you were gonna turn into the big bad wolf and eat me, but uh, maybe next time I'll do it. Nah, I wouldn't. I didn't eat the Tweedle, and he was, like, literally shooting me, so... <laughs> what an actual capital J jerk. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Shh, he says, putting a finger to your lips. <laughs> Quiet now. <laughs> Only dreams now. <laughs> and then he runs his hand down to your eyelids, and you just fall asleep. <laughs> It works every time. <laughs> wow, Swainheart, I didn't realize you had that power. <laughs> power. Oh, uh, no, it o it only works on Big B. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, don't worry. <laughs> Big B falls asleep, and you see him, like, trying to run with all four legs. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. A, a turtle? Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Look, there are very many bullets inside of me. I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Oh my god, he used the F word? Oh my god. Oh. Remember that time I ate your brothers? <laughs> oh, Colin, I didn't know you felt that way about me. I hated my brothers. I was actually really stoked that you did it. They're stupid. They built their houses out of sticks and shit. We're just idiots. <laughs> I think the the thing said Colin was the one who built the like the straw house or the stick one. So oh, what a fucking moron! Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> hey, he My didn't... brothers thought I was stupid, but you believed in me, Big B. I didn't like that house anyway. 
It was made out of straw. It sucked. <laughs> He'll be fine for light duty if he can figure out what that means. Should have been the brick house pig. Come on. It's been an unusual couple of days. It sure has. In Fable Town, of all places. <laughs> His body will eventually give out. You got your suit all messy for this. Why did you wear that instead of like? Need rest, I regular like scrubs or something because telltale doesn't want to give a character more than one set of clothes <laughs> I can still hear you anyways guard against as they say miss white sheriff Colin swine yeah he's just got he just has peanut butter and cigarettes in his fridge that'll do pig they say patting swineheart on the head <laughs> I'm not sure I guess he is a fable but because I think we talked about it last time right yeah there's i think it's supposed to be like he did sur I, i'm pretty sure the story is he replaced his heart with a pig's heart but he did the surgery himself it's big beast no he'll be okay. i could be wrong hell i could I've be wrong pig worse. not much worse he came back without legs once that was wacky <laughs> that was bananas <laughs> Look, my bane is my name is Bigby Wolf, not Bigby Wolverine. I can't heal that good. You sure about that, Bigby? Uh, <laughs> you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out, or yeah, but I was fine. It just made me stronger, I guess. I panicked and I just started saying your red, little Red Riding Hood myth over and over and over again, <laughs> your little fable, and it healed you. You're welcome. You think that works? That if somebody's like hurt, if you just start saying their story like in front of somebody that doesn't know it, they just immediately get power. <laughs> hey, yeah, just just telling them the story <laughs> powers them up. <laughs> As we have very thoroughly uh, demonstrated. Watch your goddamn mouth, pig. <laughs> I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. There is a lot of blood on everything. Well, you don't get a night's rest during the day, you stupid pig. I mean, do you guys have like God. something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. Yeah, sure is. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. This goes all the way up to the top. <laughs> I'm booking a flight to Washington, D.C. <laughs> the president is a fable. I know it. Yeah, anybody who knows knows that the president is real. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split second decision. Oh my god. She caught her, so she's like, I said the M word? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That word's scary. And maybe just yes. don't say her name too often. There might be a mirror in here. She could just, like, no. pop on through and Thanks. finish the job. You're not pissed that we need to find Bloody Mary, Big B. Remember how Bloody Mary kicked your ass? I can't believe that Bloody Mary of all people would be here. And then they spin around in circles for no reason, like three times. Done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is. No, it turns out she's actually extremely weak to pigs, and Colin just completely solos her. It should be that you can walk up to a mirror and just say her name three times. You like catch her eating a sandwich or something. You just like reach in and grab her and pull her out. Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been How long has this been going this on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now... Well, I guess I gotta go levy the troops, <laughs> Snow says. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean? The right Yeah, what does that mean? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. 
a little res- I am again. He keeps trying to chew at it. It doesn't work out. I, I am again. Not a dog. A wolf. Different things. What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut mm. dry by the book. Straight as an arrow. I don't know about that one. Driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town Whatever, <laughs> sure, okay, Snow. He says winking with the eye that Snow can see. It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. I mean, I would have been dead if I hadn't, so... ...needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice. Watch your f***ing mouth. <laughs> Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm but what sure if I need to blow down a house at some point? Or eat an old lady? What if I need to rip Bloody Mary's head off? What if I need to eat Bloody Mary? <laughs> or throw Bloody Mary through a rickety ass house? <laughs> or dress up as Bloody Mary and then trick her granddaughter into thinking I'm Bloody Mary? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Hey, and Colin, so what if I want to literally handcuff him? Even take a shower now and then. <laughs> Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby. Don't be such a dick. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on. Who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Just, just don't say just do it, because then the Nike okay. Swish will show up. He's also a fable. Just do it, Swish. And he's an actual jerk. He just shows up and tells you to do it. He doesn't specify what he means. And then he just disappears. Starting today, have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh my Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the Are you gonna send Colin to the farm again so we can come back in a slaughterhouse truck? It keeps everybody Though what, what, what sending everybody does? to the farm I'm a pig, even not a mouse has anything to do with the situation? They know what a pig is. It's not well, he's not allowed to be here unless he's glamoured. I guess. Just calm down, all right? I'm let me just take the sitting on the fence, I'm no dedication <laughs> to either side option. <laughs> I just want a grill, says Big B. <laughs> this is some good, some, some nice pork chops. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Is it Crane? Nerissa. Nerissa? That That's not Crane. Guy? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. What does that mean? Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows. Oh, Colin seems pretty disenfranchised right now. With the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long. You're gonna to just... Call. I guess it's New York, what I was gonna say. You're just gonna walk through the city with your Probably clothes covered in blood? Yeah. Consider the That's normal in New York. Who cares? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4 taught me that nobody cares if you're covered in blood. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... I don't know. Special treatment for my friend. <laughs> really know who her friends are. I, I'm going to try and make it so that the rules don't apply to you, Colin. She's she's being a little authoritarian-y. Colin's going to remember that. <laughs> Says Deputy HUD. By giving you a raised eyebrow. <laughs> Deputy HUD will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Deputy HUD remembers all. <laughs> I haven't eaten in like a whole hour. I mean, my stomach is full of holes, so I probably shouldn't. Hi. I did have lunch, but then they shot my stomach and it all came out. I was like, well, now I gotta eat again. God damn it. <laughs> it all fell out back in that alleyway. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that they did that to me.
Go oh boy time. Norris is here. It's her, the Little Mermaid. There they are. So what do you think's happening, Time? What do you think's gonna happen? Mm. I don't know. That's, a, that's an interesting theory, <laughs> thank you. It could be the credits Bluebeard. are almost over. Good job, you did it. <laughs> it, it could be Bluebeard, <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, I feel like Bluebeard's way too obvious. Maybe it's the guy who's known for beheading people. <laughs> Hi, Narissa. He did burn stuff in Crane's office for some reason. That's suspicious. Have a seat. Sit, stay. <laughs> stay. Sorry, that's how I was taught to sit. <laughs> Snow had to teach me. <laughs> I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. It's fine. If I came by. Yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I get, I get <gasps> shot all the time. It's okay. <laughs> That's normal to cough. Oh, I need my lung butter. <laughs> These will help. Huff and puffs. Not many people. I only smoke those. lung butter. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So what but was yeah, what was what was that? Smooth and delicious. Ultra filtered. Refreshing. There's not a lot that I can talk about. None can match up to the quality of our ingredients. The pedigree of our history. <laughs> Long butter cigarettes. Who was saying that? They're both like looking around. I hate that fable about lung butter. <laughs> The cigarettes themselves are saying it. If you zoom in, you'll see little faces and the filters <laughs> saying it. I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. I guess we're just writing off these other wanted people, right? I mean, they're a little bit less important than the current, like, murder conspiracy. No, I just want them, Big B says, leaning back. I'm j I just really like them. I want them. For part of my collection. <laughs> Crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about? Why do you have a picture of Colin on there? Uh, because they're friends. The F word. But up on like your wanted board. I <laughs> wouldn't. I want that pig. No. God, I want that pig. <laughs> He'd be so delicious. Sometimes. I got his. <laughs> the first time was so great. Oh, I've been thinking about it ever since. I I used to have friends to oh help my god, me the F word? But now they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Hmm. Is this making any sense? It's really awkward for me, baby. Please say something. <laughs> Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Should I suspect them? Look around you. The mastermind was Colin! Are my friends in danger? I mean, if you're gonna spoil the fifth episode <laughs> like that... Sorry. He was the crooked man. I, do this. I need you to know... I want to help. But yeah, you got your whole thing. But your lips are sealed. Magic spells. They're a thing, yeah. I'm... Gross. Sorry <laughs> if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Ribbons. Wore one too. I think all the girls have them. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Mm. 
<laughs> my course is clear. <laughs> I'm going to burn down every ribbon factory in the country. <laughs> Must destroy the ribbon factories. Must destroy ribbon. <laughs> that spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something... Are you talking to yourself right now, Bigby? Because... <laughs> What's your seal? What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't. Mm. All right. I'm not going to do anything. You can't just enter my bubble like that, Bigby. <laughs> God. Don't. She'll remember that. <sighs> Whatever that was. Okay. Why does Bigby have the FBI wanted fugitives on his wall? <laughs> you gonna go ahead and help the FBI out, Bigby? Would you gonna waste your time with that? Uh, well, we have to keep an eye on them in case they end up being uh, so, uh fables. I wish I could do something. <laughs> I guess that does make sense, actually. You're just answering my bubble now, Narissa. <laughs> what a hypocrite! I I came here. Go hide under my desk. Snow. Don't roll, I'll just put you in my pocket, he says, folding her. <laughs> I can do a little wallet size. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a Well, you, me, and the live audience at home. Trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward head scratch. For a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I hate this, like, misunderstanding sh they throw into stories like this. I feel like the character that misunderstands is always way too smart to fall for that kind of thing. I mean, it kind of makes sense with Beast earlier, because he doesn't seem that, uh... You that smart. You, you, I'm sorry, the like child that was turned into a monster and then left on his own for years <laughs> in his castle doesn't seem smart to you? I wonder what could have happened there. Okay, bye. That was uh, abrupt. It's one way to send a message. Snow, you're wearing the same clothes. They just paint bucketed it darker. <laughs> well, she's in her villain arc now, so she has to wear the proper colors. This is my palette swap. I have twice as much health points. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. And yeah, I'm... Pretty sure I remember okay, there's something about like a, a folk tale about a girl that had like a ribbon so on her neck, and if you take it off, it like makes her head fall off. Is this the right Gross. Place to that means she never takes it off, and it's probably really stinky. Last night, and they're scared about what's been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. Does Beauty know who the Crooked Man is? Why do we not know who the Crooked Man is? You didn't. Apparently, the story the is about a green ribbon. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought you were done. <laughs> no, sorry. She, I was. She just the uh, the animation didn't actually press the elevator button. <laughs> Whoops. Apparently, the story is about a green ribbon, though. So I guess they made it purple. So it's like, man, we don't want them to catch on too quick. <laughs> Those experts in fables that'd be playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> so making the ribbon be a different color would definitely throw them off the case. Did you immediately assume that it was the green ribbon? <laughs> Didn't think so. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep it? Should you really be banging on that door like that with your arm that was like folded in half a couple minutes ago? What do you want? Well, you just well, I mean, he it's in place now. He just Wolverine healed it. You called, right? Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had Why, I, I, you remember when you kicked my ass? That was fun. I, I got shot by like a shotgun like three or four times. <laughs> I've been having a rough week, kid. Are you splattered with blood? <laughs> Why are you splattered with blood? Can I talk to Beauty real quick? <laughs> what? I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? Who's at the door, Beast? Can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. 
Is it safe to turn my back? Why would it be? What? Okay. <laughs> it's your pal, Big B. Why are you being like this? You knew why we were there. It wasn't anything bad. Can I talk to I'm gonna go drink. Yes. Why is your face covered in blood? I guess it's from the fight, but they didn't make it look like bruises. They made it look like blood splatter. That was a while ago, though. Uh, I mean, you're fine. I guess you're more popular than Beast, even though Beast had a really Disney movie about him. Oh, yeah, this is actually kind of nice. Well, he was royalty. This is probably from his castle. They just transplanted this entire room from his castle. They should still have the candlestick guy there, but they just like turn it back into a candlestick and it's like I just liked having a candlestick whenever I needed to read. Where are all of them at? Talk about living. They probably died in the war of the homeland. <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead. They got killed by goblins or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> I I don't know. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. We've got one of those fancy like royalty eggs. He's used to giving himself tongue baths as a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what. You realize your walls are like tissue paper thin, right? <laughs> this is like a New York cheap ass apartment. I gotta say, your place. In the middle of the sentence, you just hear like a train go by, and you can't hear anything they're saying. They keep talking, but just the. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, huh? And like as as it passes by, you can not only not hear them, but also the subtitles just get garbled. Just like <laughs> you just can't read it either. That's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I Who's the crooked man? Who the fuck take a loan from somebody called the crooked man? It's just going to complicate I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money or it's something can, else. Can you tell me who the crooked man is? I gotta know one thing. My list of sales says Reese. <laughs> You're not wearing a ribbon, though. What if he lifts up his shirt and you see it across his six pack. It's like, am I, though? <laughs> We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little piece Aren't you of like a big tough beast, beast? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of... Lifestyle, okay? I only have five million dollars left. It's just I miss my dusty cobweb castle. <laughs> There's not a lot of work out. Hey beast, you stupid idiot. You realize that you're not supposed to actually live in the castle, right? That's only during like a siege. Come on. Phone. Moron. They kept the rose. They did keep the rose. <laughs> but probably I shouldn't answer that. That 90s ass setup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? What did you... Let me just... Uh, nobody... Everybody plug your ears. And we can't finish this conversation right first. Now. I Leave should get that. The Come on. We'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. A couple of dorks. <laughs> Come down there and <laughs> Is that the crooked man? <laughs> nope. Somebody working for him, it seems. Didn't sound like a tweedle. Well, Beast, can you go ahead and tell us why you're so paranoid because you're projecting super hard? <laughs> Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Of all the couples to be this suspicious, <laughs> I just want to be German him up. suplex. <laughs> but but Beauty is the one doing the suplex. <laughs> Yeah, through a table, and she's like, "Why don't you f tell me?" I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Jersey. So, 
when I oh Jersey Devil probably. That's where I went. Oh my God! That could be a belly to belly, not a German suplex. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan, or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place, and the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. The Jersey Devil. Oh baby. That's very spooky, because his name is Devil. If Jersey Devil is a fable, where is Bigfoot and Wathman? Probably in the forest and over by a bridge somewhere, <laughs> respectively. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head. Yeah, she got really close to it, too. I can't wait for you to find the Jersey Devil. It's just the devil, but he spray tanned like orange. <laughs> it's the devil. He's got a jersey on. Jersey Devil. It's pronounced as Joyzy Devil. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh, that's even worse than being the devil. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And... Finish it. <laughs> Finish the sentence. No, actually, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Same block as the baker and the candlestick. Maker. Of course. Of course. You did have a thing earlier addressed to Butcher, or the Butcher. The thing is. What kind of packages? And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you, you don't think. It. Work. it might be heroin. I haven't tasted it yet, though. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a chance to taste it yet, though. I mean, I haven't been close enough to taste it. What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat. I do know this. Okay. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there? How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was. I guess Beast is a handyman. She said I was. How do you have that skill, Beast? How do you have that skill, beast? And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not. Is Mary the butcher? Mary, you deal with Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin. I mean, I try to avoid her, but I don't need to tell you what she's. You're damn right. I try to avoid her, but she looks at me through the mirrors and the windows. She's always there staring. Every time I look, there she is. Uh, I hate it. She has to duck around the letters on the front window. <laughs> she has to peek around. <laughs> we shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. I'm supposed to be rich. I married a monster for f**k's sake. We were royalty once. Mom. Mom. Monster. <laughs> says Beast crying. They look like monsters to you? Oh my god. I completely missed what they were saying. <laughs> I also wasn't paying attention, sorry. I have the excuse for having played this before, though. <laughs> I'd like to know where it's coming from. Where am I going? Hmm. It's decide time. Hmm. It's time to make some serious decisions about your life. Hmm. We learned about these two places that are part of the Crooked Man's operation, I think. And we got to figure out which one we're going to go to first. If I'm not mistaken, the butcher shop is going to be the butcher that you saw a note about earlier. And the pawn shop is, I guess, you looking into the Jersey Devil side of things. The Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil does sound pretty cool. Just bring a flute so you can lull it. <laughs> Is that a thing with the Jersey Devil? No, it's a thing in what we do in the shadows. Oh. It doesn't work. And he's like, Nando, I've been deceived by the devil. <laughs> See, I think I'm probably going to go to the pawn shop and meet the Jersey Devil. Oh my god, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil. Pronounce it right. Better bring some spray tan as a peace offering before you start talking to him. And what if the pawn shop is in Jersey? I hope you show up and he's just like those super jacked gym bros from Jersey Shore. <laughs> he's just like actually orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. 
I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. Yeah, probably. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop. After oh my god. Time. That was probably the case regardless of where I went, so. That's why it was a choice. That's why I spent three hours thinking about it. <laughs> is there any way you could help us out? How about you help me out by going to the butcher shop on my behalf? I mean, I was probably planning to just, like, punch a hole in his chest, but, you know. We would really I'll find the truth. It doesn't matter how deep he buries it in his chest. <laughs> You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? I mean, I might do that anyway. Of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just... We Whatever! <laughs> Shut up! Let's go back inside, beauty! <laughs> <laughs> You, that might just solve your problems. I mean, if we arrest him, he can't also, like, carry a debt out on you, so... God, God damn it, Beauty, you were too harsh. <laughs> Shut up, Beast, you're the one that was trying to make him think we're killing him. <laughs> <laughs> they were being really awkward about it. Hi, Toad. Looks like you slept in you... In How did you get here without being seen? Why are you pawning this donkey skin thing that we left in your apartment for some reason? Why did we leave this in your apartment anyway? Isn't that evidence kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit, sort of, maybe? I guess not, but kind of, sort of? Oh, this is a surprise. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow I even rules? specifically well, didn't burn down the witch's tree. back again, like changing shirts. So well, you go ahead and tell yourself that, and then once the FBI shows up with a van and just, like, net guns you, you can just deal with it on your own. We're not going to help you at all. Uh, yeah, what, what's your son going to do when you get net gunned by the FBI? Probably also get net gunned when he goes out looking for you. Uh, do you want that, Toad? Do you want that? They'll bring a smaller gun with a smaller net. <laughs> is it magic? I don't think it is. Hey. Wait a minute. Isn't that the same thing? It was <laughs> or is a mule a cross between a horse and a donkey? I think a mule is a cross. The finder's keepers. I can give you like 50 cents for this, maybe. I do plan on eating later, so I guess I can boil it. <laughs> you and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me. He I'm was embezzling me. very many monies. I'm not gonna trust Snow because she might just paint over everything. <laughs> no, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady setup. <laughs> I already know, Jack. I am fluent in pig Latin, you stupid idiot. I live with a pig. <laughs> he visits me often. Exactly why I'm with a, regardless of if I want him to. <laughs> I didn't really think you the type. <laughs> no. I don't want a fucking loan. <laughs> this little side operation. Don't be idiot. You bash his face in the countertop <laughs> because you're talking. Um, I'm sorry, Big B, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Yes, I know. Thanks, Toad. <laughs> Shut up, Toad. Go home. God. <laughs> But go home very carefully. Maybe wait until nightfall. I take the sewers, Big B. <laughs> they just, somebody spotted Toad, and that's how the TMNT happened. They're like, oh my god. They just misidentified him as a turtle. <laughs> they just got the idea from seeing a Toad. I saw a giant Toad crawl into the New York sewers, and nobody believed me. <laughs> Whatever, f it. Just have it then. It's dusty now. I don't want it. But nobody was gonna buy that coat anyway, Toad. I'll give you somebody some probably would have bought that coat. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've. You keep promising money to people. Had to buy one. Take I think money. I did take the money that got embezzled by. 
Can't you at least wear a bigger uh, crane? No, it's good. Can't you wear a top hat and a trench coat like Raphael and <laughs> Crow? <laughs> How come you don't need to use a glamour, Bigby? Have they explained that yet? I guess he's just really strong. I guess. Drop by anytime. We're not Goodbye. Great comeback. <laughs> I can't hear you through this door, Big B. <laughs> Look, I work here. Sometimes. It's just you and me now, Mother Hacker. It's something stable. Been hearing that a lot lately. Entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, it's if you've never seen him before, how do you know he hasn't been in here? Yeah. Bloody man you haven't. Works you me. haven't seen Last a man who even looked a little bit crooked. And if you know what he looks like, then you can tell me what he looks like. <laughs> We'd never take something like that. Uh huh. Definitely believable. Is this really? It's a pawn shop. You take literally anything. The woodsman's axe. That is a really big ship in a bottle. That is a very large ship in a bottle. <laughs> That's like easy mode ship in the bottle, where you just reach your whole hand inside of it. <laughs> well, get your entire arm in there. No, oh, baby. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's uh -huh. saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. <laughs> Shoplifters will be prosecuted <laughs> to the fullest extent of my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> and what if I did mind? It's a pawn shop. I can look around all I want. Got it. Then I guess we'd have to play footsies. <laughs> Close. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey oh, we gotta make it to Rockfest, guys. <laughs> <laughs> really, he'd be the one to talk to, so uh, can't you just swing by later? No. It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh, I mm. want to check stuff out. Yeah, I really care about that, Jack. This is a crooked man place. Maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. <laughs> you say flick at him in the nose. <laughs> I'm going to take a look around. You know, I don't think I ever played this game twice, so I think you actually chose... This option when I didn't, I think I went to the butcher shop. So this is new to me. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't sell axes, Jack? There's one right here. Well, I'm gonna headbutt through this glass and pick it up. <laughs> oh, I see. You said good guitars because guitar. Yeah, do you get it? Do you get it, guys? Do you get the joke? Do you get the joke that a guitar can be nicknamed an axe by a rock and roll field? Do you get it? <laughs> He's just going to say, I don't know, to everything. Big B, come on. I don't know. Maybe I did. Just dagger. Did he sell this? Oh, I don't know. Look, yeah, I don't know. Exactly My lips are sealed, Big B. Shut up. <laughs> because he's poor. That's why. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? You haven't seen my apartment. Jack. No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure. <laughs> fine. We got a big old chalice. Is this the Holy Grail? Uh, what's this pimp chalice you have? <laughs> I don't know what the crystals are. Can I eat fruity pebbles out of it? I mean, you could. Probably fit a lot of fruity pebbles in that in that chalice. Delicious. What's in here? Recent acquisition. <laughs> and sourced oh by no. druids. <laughs> oh no. uh, uh, Why would you put what? a sign for the thing you sold in a pawn shop? Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're if you just so happen to be looking for the woodsman's axe, it's not here anymore. Was who here? The woodsman. <laughs> was who here? But it's gone. Why the f did he have a sign for this particular one of a kind item that they sold? I don't know anything. Because I guess. I really. <laughs> because the I mean, I game wouldn't work if they didn't. <laughs> yeah. Even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it. Okay. That's all I know. That's all you know. You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night. No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. What's your in mouth, you say? <laughs> Grabbing his ear. Are you smart? Just to fuck with me. 
think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. <laughs> well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a oh sister? You're just gonna... That's my fucking sister. But you... You're the... Oh my God. You're the... I'm the guy to keep shit in order. And that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? Who closed my fucking gate? It's like th three in the afternoon. <laughs> the fuck is this? Is this the Jersey <laughs> Devil? <laughs> this sleazy fuck. <laughs> Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high. Woody, calm down. Your axe isn't here. Christ. And this fucking guy too? <laughs> what? Fucking guy. No. Mary has it, unfortunately. She did get it from here, though. I got shit to do, so They left a note saying that it was so old, dork. <laughs> He wanted to know where. Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Yes, we are. This bold we spot. The crooked man. Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the crooked man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. Eh, I wouldn't say it was that smooth and easy. I mean... That, yeah. You know, tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Look at him slowly backing out. <laughs> it was here. It was right fucking here. What I can see that you had it because you left a note saying you had it like a fucking idiot. Dipshit. You're gonna do you piece of Better watch out, Jersey Devil's a big deal here in America. <laughs> in like New England, I guess. Most people don't care beyond New England, but whatever. I'm aware of it, so I guess he'd be strong, right? Yeah. He's pretty famous. Are you done chasing your tail? Where's Dorks go out into the woods looking for him <laughs> for like YouTube videos and junk. All the way from Battery Fucking Park, just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. Trust me, you do from not. Battery Fucking Park. <laughs> you talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. He's probably really cool when he's in monster form. You just punched me in the stomach, so you should be able to tell that I do have the stones. Isn't that right, Woodsman? He says, fist bumping him. <laughs> he punches him in his hand just to pray. <laughs> Rocks are in there. You fucking motherfucker. Oh, which one do you want to break first? Oh, oh, Why didn't that work the first time? That's weird. Uh, it didn't hit him hard enough. Was it bulletproof glass? Jesus. <laughs> You don't have the axe, you're nerfed, nerd. Oh, he's transforming into his weird, creepy cryptid form. Whoa, whoa's. Aren't you supposed to have wings, Big B says, rubbing his chin? Oh, Jesus. You should just sit there and let it go for a few minutes. <laughs> just watch. <laughs> well, that was a good kick, though. Oh, hey, the axe. Hey, you liar. Hi, that's here. She brought it back, apparently. Why the f*** would you put the note there if you were trying to hide it in, like, a thing and not actually sell it? What an idiot. There she is. Oh, there she is. There he is. He gets smushed. <laughs> what a sack of time. Whoa. No refunds, he says. All sales are final. Ooh. Does he feel pain if you're punching his face and it's just bone? It's just bone, yeah. I, I don't know. Break it. Oh, he, he doesn't like that much, apparently. Oh, get him! What are, you, what are you doing? What the f***? I don't know. What a dork. Time can't fight. Ow. 
Chomp. I thought you were going to let that happen, too. I was very concerned and confused as to what you were doing. <laughs> no, no. Nerd. Probably not very fun. He does have the axe now, though. Anvil. Not if you hit him with something. You just to clank him, and then he'll like go stiff and fall over sideways. Like we said, oh my god! <laughs> 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 you just like brutally splattered him with it. <laughs> oh my god! He's fine. Man, that thing really doesn't want to come out when it's jammed in a guy's head. <laughs> Wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> uh huh shadows. Shut up and tell me his apartment address, you fucking larping idiot. It, you definitely know it. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, fucking guy. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Yeah, how do you oh, contact him? He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about an ant. Well, hold on. You're offering top prices for gold and silver? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's your axe made out of, Woodsman? <laughs> uh, steel? No it's an axe. Fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. I mean, well, Buffkin so probably so does chat a bit. What you he probably gets hammered drunk and just goes and starts telling all the business at the local bars. Like human bars, doors. too, just as a flying monkey drinking. <laughs> yeah, I gotta f believe what's happening in Fable Town this week. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. I thought he was going to take his head off for a second. <laughs> I also thought he was going for that. <laughs> like mid-sentence. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to need like double dose of Advil for this. You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. You are a gosh darn potty mouth mother hacker. Did you know that? You say like nudging him with your toe instead of kicking him. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And Woodsman, Jedi throw your axe at him. You know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man yeah, that, them dead. That's typically how murders happen. So you can I'm impressed with your enunciation, considering you have neither lips nor tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's very impressive, actually. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. Uh huh. Whatever. This shit. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, guess he's just gonna go ahead and continue to be the pawn shop owner here. I guess. I mean, why not? <laughs> Turbo! Turbo tur twice, because you can see it overlaid. Double turbo. Oh my god. Here, have this last margarine Marlboro while I smoke this delicious lung <laughs> butter cigarette. <laughs> Smooth, ultra filtered, refreshing. <laughs> He's insulting my brand of cigarettes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey, All right, so here's the dear woodsman. Fusion dance. <laughs> Fusion dance. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get the fucker who did it. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, we're right next to the trip trap, apparently. I didn't call you, taxi. Get out of here. Stop eavesdropping. 
do it then. So he just pulled up next to you and rolled down their passenger side window just listening in. <laughs> Directly next to this large man covered in blood with an axe. I guess if you're going to be here, I'll just take this taxi anyway. And whatever. <laughs> taxi client privilege. You can't tell anybody what, I, what we said. Yeah. What are you going to do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. Hopefully, we don't have to fight each other again. Goodbye! Everybody wave! Bye! I, I did kind of beat up the Jersey Devil pretty well, even though I'd been shot several times yesterday. <laughs> I wish every time you got picked up by a cab, it was Johnny Cab from... <laughs> the, the <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god, what is the name? Why am I forgetting? Uh, Total Recall. <laughs> Johnny Cab, he's a myth, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the fictional characters. Walking into this butcher shop splattered in blood. <laughs> Didn't even wipe it off. Oh, they support NYPD. Hmm. Oh. Just keep smoking. Take another drag reading that. <laughs> Lemon lime. Uh, a sign. Sandwich. I don't believe in those. Either he's got a whole lot. Of I hate that we have to eat the same sandwich over and over again, given that it's a myth and a fable. <laughs> the mythical sandwich. The perfect sandwich. Only take one bite and it boofs away. It's a curse, really. Once you've taken that one bite, you can't think of any other sandwich the same way again. I thought you were supposed to be, like, a really good butcher. You're, like, the butcher. It's almost like it's a fake butcher or something. Oh, my God. Dang. I cannot believe he actually came out. I remember when I played this, I didn't say a single word the whole time. <laughs> I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? Oh no, because I came here first, that's why. Because I didn't know he had it. <laughs> so I just didn't say it. I just smoked the whole time and he was like increasingly nervous. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit. <laughs> what, uh, what do you think this is? Would you like to buy some fake sausages? I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the lucky pod. I was already there. He told me to come here. Right? Here, you say, like, just throw in the horn, you just broke off his head on the table. Just slam it down on the counter. <laughs> I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? You do notice that I'm covered in blood. If I'd have known you already looked at Well, I'm a butcher, it's normal. I honestly didn't even notice. Supposedly a butcher. Anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. Language. I'm not, uh, I'm not hacking around with you, <laughs> Sheriff. Mary had Crane, and she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you better think real hard about what you say next. You probably don't have the ability to turn into Sheriff, a big monster. I... You better think real hard. <laughs> what? Did you hear that? He says sprinting to the back room. I, I just <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta just stay here, please. Okay, bye. Oh my god, Big V, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, what a surprise. He has an alarm. <laughs> he hit the self-destruct button. I've got like at least three minutes. He, he does surprisingly have very many. Killing a person ain't no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> we rock, walk into the wrong boss fight. <laughs> James turns up to fight Bloody Mary. He'd win because I'd have the hunting rifle and like a gazillion shots for it. Just like that stupid dog. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. We should play Silent Hill 2 again. Yeah. That's a pretty good game. You're getting me really hungry back here, Butcher. <laughs> You won't want you won't want to see me when I'm hungry, Butcher. How the f do you have this many cows back here? This is like a regular small ass butcher shop in New York. <laughs> He's not even a real butcher. Why does he have these? He's gonna get me killed. Urgh. Things I do. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no. Well, then you won't get any answers out of me, Bigby. What is your plan there? Uh. They said to me, Johan. You've called me on my bluff. Tell me what I want to know, please. Thank you. It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. They. You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? Don't say the name, Big B. You've burnt one. You can say it at least one more time before this trouble. <laughs> Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This well, she did admit to killing kids for fun, so. Muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. And then he just picks up a half of a cow and just bashes you over the head and runs away. <laughs> just, yeah. Shouldn't have turned your back, Big B. ...in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I've decided that you are lunch, he says. I swear. And I don't want to... Look, I am getting real hungry. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know what So, just to add to what I said before, I just smoked the whole time when I came here the first time because I didn't have anything to go on. And he got super nervous and then was like, uh, I gotta check something in the back. And then I just followed him back there. <laughs> it was really funny. I didn't say a single word. He just got increasingly nervous the whole time. <laughs> that does sound pretty fun. It was really funny. That's the one thing I think of when I think of this game. Just me <laughs> not saying anything, just smoking the whole time while looking at him. <laughs> I think he was smoking. He might not have been smoking. I might have just been not saying anything. He's just looking at stuff. It did give me the option to smoke or not smoke, yeah. Well, then I would have probably been smoking the whole time, just not saying a single word. And he's like, oh, <laughs> oh he's on to me. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Why is this taking you so long, baby? It's a really heavy door. But you're like the big bad wolf, just do it. He's got... Why don't you just walk through and just leave a U-shaped hole in it? <laughs> At alchemy stuff, I guess? Two Alembics? I guess it's just chemistry, but... <laughs> and only Alembics? Black forest soil, nosebleed. I would like three nosebleeds, thank you. Bloody manacles on the floor. I don't know. They muscled me out. The lighting is completely different. Uh, there's like a red light over there. It's fine. Like this. Run. Is it on right now, or is it supposed to be blinking? No, I think it's just supposed to be on. Does that mean you should always be running like they just want you to hurry up and do your job? I was here. I had to. Whoops. You come Oops. In here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now. <laughs> it was extra funny. I mentioned this last time, but I didn't say anything when I played this game myself. <laughs> so when I got here, it's like I didn't say anything and he hit the run button. <laughs> you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Did you... I mean, he probably did come and talk about it, and Crane just kind of, like, ignored it. I needed you, your help for my life, Big B. He says, taking a knee and reaching into his pocket. I need you, Big B. Would you please be my guest? 
<laughs> to be my guest. <laughs> that, that's the wrong folk, folk tale. <laughs> you say flicking him in the face and he just falls over and you walk away. Well, we've got the big, fa really big chalkboard. Why is it that large? Uh, for the extremely complicated fable town chemistry equations, kiddo. They use all kinds of letters and shapes and some of them you don't even know. You'd look at it and be like, this doesn't make sense. And they're like, you're right, it doesn't make sense. We just kind of do magic here. Witches out there probably get their supplies here. Oh my god. Is there another door in here somewhere? This could have been useful. That looks like it slides. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I guess I will touch that later. <laughs> what is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. He has a brand? So you do know. Yeah, he's trying to branch out into different products, kiddo. I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. Great. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. Watch your fucking mouth with that M word. <laughs> Mondays muggles. You just throw it around like it doesn't mean anything. Very rude, Johan. Gross. We're better than that, Johan, <laughs> he says. Patting him on the head really hard so he squishes like a Goomba. <laughs> you can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Like a literal yoke. An, a an actual yoke. Look at this yoke that we're looking at right now. Oh, I hate that it's a yoke. That crooked piece of shit. Ribbon. What's your fucking mouth, Big Bee? I'm like, oh. It's all the fucking same. He's a very rude man, the crooked, crooked man. Crime boss. The crooked man? <laughs> He's not on the straight and narrow, the crooked man? <laughs> I'm just a butcher. You want to talk tea, Bo? Look, it's That's just you. tea, okay? <laughs> Very complicated tea. It's like that coffee set up in Breaking Bad <laughs> that a Gale makes, where it's like perfect. Because he knows chemistry. <laughs> Is that Beauty's coat? Yep, there it is. Do you want to look at it, or do you want to sit here for the rest of your lifetime not pressing a button? What's it doing here? It's a coat. We let you press that button so you feel like you're engaged in what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, it's cranes, I see. I'm sure he handled it just fine. <laughs> we're, we're very concerned about Crane. He has a lot of pockets in here. I don't care about Crane. I, for one, hope they dunked him in the witching well. Oh, this is my swirly <laughs> well. Give him a swirly in the witching well, you know what I mean? Just hit that flush nozzle on the witching well and just dunks his head in there. Sick Gross, ew. What's the other half of that photo, though? Probably you or something. Oh, hey. I need this. <clears throat> that doesn't match up with the broken part of the mirror. I remember the broken mirror and now with the broken piece. That doesn't match up at all. What are you talking about? That's not nearly big enough. Big me. What about me? What about you? What about you? You say squishing him into a basketball and dunking him. <laughs> Dribbling him a few times. Just to show off. Doing that through the legs dribble. <laughs> you won't have to worry, Johan. I'm going to take him down. Down to the ground. Excuse me, I'm having a lung burn. <laughs> it's gonna be a few minutes, he says. Oh, after the first nail. <laughs> Johan is like, there's no smoking in here, Big B. Uh, he says louder, <laughs> blowing out his mic. And then as the screen is fading out, uh, Bloody Mary reaches in from off screen and just grabs him and pulls him back. Not my last lung butter. <laughs> you truly are evil. Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket. Could you Would somebody please put this flying monkey in a cage? Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Oh, hi Toad, you're here. Why the fuck are you here? Oh, why are you here? Where have you been? I'm not finished here, Mr. I cleaned up the blood at some point. Just one moment, please. 
He stopped off at your apartment, took a shower real quick. <laughs> no, you just stepped out of the butcher shop and like shook yourself off like a dog, and you were fine. I just didn't do that before for some reason. You liked it. You're the big bad wolf. You like being covered in blood. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Zoom. <laughs> he just crashes into the wall. <laughs> he crashes into the mirror and breaks all the pieces again. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Well, you're not. Nobody actually swore you in. You just kind of took this position on your own. You can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. Yeah, uh, leaving a dude with just, like, the ability to, to, to spy on literally everyone at any time. Probably not the best idea. it's fine. You did excellent work. Assistance. Would you join me at the I don't know how this works. Can you help me, please? Don't I tried on. sticking it on there, but it, it doesn't stick. It's not sticky enough. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you Unbelievable. Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that... Uh-huh. Definitely, you seem like you would care about that. <laughs> well, you know, you're just saying it, which means that we supposedly know what you did. did I burn? You burn this, you say, picking up the burnt <laughs> thing, and it just goes into dust and ash in your hand. So what if I can't prove what it was? I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I wonder if Bluebeard's like a main character of the comics. He seems like he might be kind of important. I've never read the comics, but... Yeah, I haven't really seen anything of them. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Did they break a piece off the, pre the piece they broke off? So this process can be a little touchy. What if they shaved off, like, just a little bit with, like, a nail file? <laughs> just a teeny tiny bit. That would be so annoying. So annoying. It's going to be, like, a week before he grows that back. Miss White was asking about you, you know, Bloody Mary and Magic Mirror is probably not a good combination. What if you plug that in and Bloody Mirror just comes out with like a Gatling gun and just mows us all down? Just a Gatling gun. <laughs> Gotta watch out. That's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Why? He doesn't like being spied on. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working. Does it look like it's fixed? It might be a while. You can literally see that it's still broken. So. <laughs> yeah. What I want is my business. I can't. Take what I want is money. We're to catch a murderer, and they're they're over there bickering about bureaucracy and power and money and those things that humans want. Gross. Ew, am I right? But Toad isn't even one of those. Yeah, they're just trying to internalize those Monday wants. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> Snow says, looking really disgusted. Ew, Mondays. And Bigby's like, oh my god, Snow, oh my god. I mean, it kind of sounds like the farm is extremely awful, so... Your name is an Ichabod Crane! <laughs> They all say, pointing at her and saying it in unison. <laughs> they cross it out and like put a little, like a like a piece of paper under it that has her name on it. <laughs> I was gonna say like a piece of paper that they cut into one of those paper snowflakes. <laughs> no snow now, shut up. Now I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to get you. Got bashed on the head. It hurt. You wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab. How do you, you don't know how much money I have. Please, Look at this fat sack of bills that I stole from Crane. <laughs> Twice. I'm not looking for Twice. Just what Twice. Twice. When'd you steal the second one? Uh, here, just and take Crane's money. I don't care. I did it. Uh, the. It was Crane's money at the the Tweedle's place, too. Ah, uh, Crane's money. I can tell it's Crane's because it has his face on it. 
is always on the table. No take back sees. You get to go ahead and spend that Monopoly money. There, <laughs> shoo. You're being very unsuspicious, Toad. At least someone's happy about this. Yeah. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Oh, hey, there's tarot cards on the table again. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of- That is a big axe, jeez. Saw the way he left. Yeah, King Arthur, I dork. I seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right Yeah, he's gonna get one, sure? hopefully. Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> if he if money was the only thing stopping him from getting a glamour, he would have done it by now. Yeah, I guess. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? Uh, I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Probably about Someone control. Did. What would make a person do that? Maybe it's because he's the crooked man. He's just a jerk, hence his name. <laughs> it, he doesn't seem great. Oh, oh wow, that's an even bigger sword. Jeez. Yeah, King Arthur, dork. <laughs> just King Arthur has all of these. Go lift some weights. <laughs> Why do we have a hanging person just on that tree this whole time? King Arthur, dork. <laughs> that is King Arthur. Oh, he's much smaller than I thought. <laughs> He's just real strong. <laughs> Show me Crane, the crooked man, and I don't know, fucking me, just for funsies. <laughs> Is he dead? He's like in Brazil under a different name, working in a soda factory. <laughs> He's on the beach with, <laughs> with like drinks. And you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then. Not a peep. Did they give him Otherwise, another jacket? I get to deal with Stand you directly in front of me while I have this exchange with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Someone. I suppose she probably does have the ability to sense mirrors. She seems to have the ability to sense it. She's looking directly at you, kid. <laughs> Reach in and grab her. Get her. What? Just whoops. Happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. She has a mirror thing. The bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, whoops. That explains the state. I haven't called her since our first date. Gross. <laughs> I was hoping I'd just get to ghost her, but you got you let her know that I still hang around this town. That's actually why she's like that. Just because he stood her up. Really mad at the mirror from Snow White story. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble? I'm not a poet, I'm a doctor, damn it. Mirror mirror. No time to pout. <laughs> so where does Crooked Man hang out? Good job. You did it. Rub a dub dub. Let's eat some grub. Show me the Crooked Man. The that crooked certainly man. is a door. Where is it though? Oh, you did it just by just remotely. Good job. Oh, I see. It like switches. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey Whoops. That. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's the monster's ink door. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it The Crooked Man was actually, uh... When you get the crooked man, whatever the boss... I, I forget what the boss of Monster's Ink name was. That guy, the crab. We can't just I don't fuck... I haven't watched that movie <laughs> since I was a child. I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name, though. Spider guy. He was a spider kid. Was he a spider? I thought he looked crabby. He was a spider time! God... Learn the lore that I don't remember. I, I won't promise bringing Bloody Mary back alive, though. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? Bloody Mary's like a minor fable. She's very bad, also. She admitted to killing kids. She's in that subcategory of sleepover fables, who cares? Going to lead her, it's better that way. What a loser. The Gothic Bridge. The Gothic Bridge. Oh my god, action scene! I'm gonna go ahead and teleport through! Oh, whoops, that didn't go- okay, well. <laughs> Snarl. Grrrr. And then it just switches while I'm looking at it. No, before you kick it, pick the option to lick it and also sniff it. <laughs> oh. Oh my- oh my god. Very portally. 
Look at this portal, kids. Oh, we're getting the prompt for you it. You are way further back all of a sudden. What the hizek is this? And there it goes. I guess I'm stuck here in this final uh, chapter four of faith. In <laughs> this final dungeon. <laughs> Hi. Tim. Tim. The hell are you doing here? The crooked man was Scrooge? I'm here to take Timmy, Tim, Tim, Timmy, Timothy, Tim. We're leaving off tiny. Tiny Tim. Well, I mean, you're almost so big as me, so I mean. Well, yeah, you're quite tall. When they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect. Is it going to be Scrooge? To portal, <laughs> but I get it. I was kind of thinking that it'd just be like a pity job. Like, I just look at a wall and nothing would happen ever. <laughs> you knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please- Bigby, would you please be my guest? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess technically that's what's happening, that's so. I'm starting to think there might be some kind of code behind that, <laughs> what with the my lips are sealed thing going on. <laughs> I gotta walk extra slow to be polite. Thanks for it's gonna take forever. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't he is actually literally walking extra slow. See him slowing down his animation speed? Guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they. Do you wanna ride piggyback? You just point in the direction I'm supposed to go? I, I guess they figured I wouldn't immediately beat you up if it was Tim. <laughs> I guess if it was literally a, a person with a bum leg, you wouldn't be mean to him. I mean, I wouldn't be mean to somebody with a bum leg. Broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He pays me like a whole buck twenty-five an hour, Bigby. A buck twenty-five. <laughs> That's way better than I ever got with Scrooge. A buck twenty-five. Whatever it is that he did, I guess. Scrooge told me I owed him a quarter after every shift. And if you're here, it can't be good. I can find the door myself. You should just get that. What if it's him? Tiny Tim. He's the crooked man. I told you. Tiny Tim is the crooked man. <laughs> he's behind it all. You just like you get to the room he's leading to you and he just pulls a revolver on your back and he's like, Wow. Make me it seems you underestimated Tiny Tim for the last time. We need you. Just ask Scrooge how that went. And then he points to the wall and you see Scrooge's head mounted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then there's a, he points to the wall again, and Scrooge McDuck's head is there, too. And then he points to the wall again, but they've been fused into one. <laughs> oh. Thanks. I can't believe you pointed to the wall three times and three different things happened, Tiny Tim. Where did you get three of them? Oh my, oh my, oh my god, the magic is strong here. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Look at this gang of <laughs> reprehensible jerks. I like how he's bleeding from the part where he ripped off that uh, horn. Maybe. That or he just lost the fight. I have no idea who you are. Oh my god. Thank you, sir. It's Two Face! It's the crooked man who lives in a crooked house, dork. Do you not know the fable? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's not one I've heard in a long time, so. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. I think I can take all of you if I go super big wolf wood. Great deal to discuss. Let's smoke. smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I picked too. <laughs> Like a cool guy. Oh, baby, what a cool way to end the episode. <laughs> That's the crooked man time. It's the crooked man. Next time on the wolf. Next time on the wire. <laughs> Hi. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. <laughs> you see his like little jogger run that he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, 
and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. You're so cool, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Time, can I ask you one simple question? Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm, and he will remember that. <laughs> because, I mean, why would you really? Because you've been telling Frog to glamour, and he hasn't been glamouring at all, Colin, and also the... The deal is in Fable Town, if you glamour, you get to stay in the city. If you don't, you go to the farm. Where you don't have to glamour because it's just fables there. He is just a pig. Yeah, if somebody shows up, I could just be like, shut up, Colin, oink, oink. And Colin looks at them and says, oink, oink. <laughs> and they completely buy it. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? I didn't. Actually, you did. Oh, no, you did not. You and 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. I thought I remembered you reaching for it, so I guess I remember wrong. He, he reached for it, but I chose the option that was just to ask what it is. What this do, you say? What this do? What this do? Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 36.8% of players went to the lucky pawn first, because like I said, I went to the butcher shop first and just intimidated the guy by smoking. I bet, uh... Because it's at what I was kind of thinking also. People wanted to, like, go there because they heard uh, Mary shows up and so they wanted to, like, conf confront her, probably. Probably. I don't remember. It's been years since <laughs> I played this. I don't remember my logic behind it. I just went to the butcher shop first. I did not send Toad to the farm. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's going to remember that. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. Out of a choice of four, by the way. Yeah, most most people lit a cigarette. <laughs> I lit a cigarette. I mean, why wouldn't you in that situation? <laughs> That's the coolest option, I'm just going to say. You got to show them you're confident. Yeah, I mean, how can you deny yourself a long bar of cigarettes <laughs> when given the option to light up the most delicious ultra-filtered cigarette in this side of Kmart? The most refreshing, delicious, rich experience you can experience here. In <laughs> the most delicious experience you can experience. <laughs> there it is, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Kmart. <laughs> in Kmart, kid. They even sell cigarettes in Kmart? I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had one for years and years <laughs> all work and no play makes big be a dull boy all work and no play makes big be a dull boy where's uh <laughs> what's his name man <laughs> shiny where's he right now like is he just like perpetually typing on a typewriter all work and no play makes jack a dull boy he's probably frozen in a maze somewhere heck when I came here from the homelands, I had to find a maze <laughs> to be frozen in. I hate it when that happens. I especially hate the summer, spring, and autumn because I had to wait for winter to come back. It's really hard to stay frozen in summer, let me tell you. <laughs> it's really hard. I have very many extension cords and air conditioners. Buying all of those ice cubes is so expensive. <laughs> Theft 5 out of 78. He hasn't even come close to completing his <laughs> side objective. <laughs> That's episode 4, kid. What do you think's happening next? Uh, I assume we're not going to just beat everybody up and arrest him. Probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's probably going to threaten us and be like, oh, I can make you a deal. You can work for me. Blah, 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 blah. Everything will be fine. <laughs> whatever happens, the fifth episode is the final episode, kiddo. So whatever happens next is the game being a Holly Quinn. What? Tell, tell. Oh, pets. Someone named their pet Holly Quinn. I missed one.
It's time to learn something. That's probably if you go to the butcher shop first. All right. Silver bullets. Wolf's weakness. Wow, those just melt like butter the second they touch you. They're, they're very... I don't know. My, my brain. It's fine. <laughs> the legends of great and magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can cause long-term damage. Well, it's a good thing they didn't give uh, silver shotgun shells to the Tweedles then. You think they would have thought of that? Yeah. <laughs> But maybe it's hard. I mean, I guess silver was expensive back in the day. I mean, it's expensive nowadays to kind of oh, sell. I mean, the crooked man seems like he's he's got a lot of money, though. What if we just used alchemy to make our regular cardboard bullets into silver, said the crooked man, looking up with a finger to his lips. Uh, cr cr Mary's like, crooked man, I've, to I've told you a thousand times, bullets are not made out of cardboard. <laughs> I counted. It was literally a thousand. <laughs> I can't believe you're asking me again. Again. <laughs> again. Again. Acting Deputy Snow White. I guess she just appointed herself. I, I guess. I mean, whatever. The big, big boss isn't here for some reason, so. King Cole's a slacker. With Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent. The task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane, but now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking she had not previously been exposed to. She has to deal with the only other person that cares, Bluebeard, bothering her every other day. A donkey skin coat, hide in plain sight. Only the truly beautiful will fully understand the power of a coat that makes its wearer appear ugly. It is the power to be invisible while still being seen. Unfortunately, its value can also be hard to see, but it is still a magic coat, and to some collectors, that is enough. Pat, pat. That'll do, donkey skin coat. Good job. Have a carrot. And then you just lay it down on the cloak. You look away for a second, look back, and the carrot's gone. You're like, oh my god. There's an off-screen crunching noise. Oh my god, like really fast, like a Minecraft eating sound. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil, actually. Garden State Goon. Garden State <laughs> Goon. <laughs> Not all the fables who came to the, this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the furthest corners, corners of the earth, and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State up to the Empire State. Such as the Joyzy Devil. Reports the of its Devil. <laughs> varied, <laughs> although most accounts make mention of its leathery wings, but an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. We didn't want to put that on his character model. Shut the f up, said Telltale. He's got little nubs. <laughs> Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, I bet the sequel he probably shows up again. He has wings. That'd be cool. Yeah, they, they're probably like regrowing or something. There is a sequel coming at the time of recording this. A woodsman's axe, ensorcelled by druids. Once just a simple tool for, for felling trees, the axe became much more when it was ensorcelled by druids and marked with their runes. But it truly became an object of legend when the woodsman used it to slice the big bad wolf from nave to neck. In protection of Little Red Riding Hood, it may carry old world charm, but its simplicity of design and quality workmanship makes it an effective tool or weapon. Even today, it looks weirdly modern for... I guess they just replaced everything except the axe head, maybe? Where's the nave? The navel? Probably the navel, I assume. Is that how it was re referenced in old-timey talk? Every time I think of knave, I think of, like, you know, shady, underhanded guy. <laughs> like a knave, you know what I mean? I never thought of navel being the reference, the, the origin of that. Uh, he sliced the big bad wolf from inner slash outie to neck. <laughs> <laughs> Johan, the butcher. 
His name is often said in the same breath as that of the baker and the candlestick maker of Fable Town. Imagine that. <laughs> and like those other tradesmen, Johann the Butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johann's business has fallen on hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of his products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked man, some have started to wonder if they ever really knew Johan. Who are you, Johan? You say pulling the face off and it's like old man Johnson. <laughs> old man Jenkins. Oh my god, yeah, that one, you did it. You remembered correctly. Where is Scooby-Doo in all this? He'd probably be helpful. <laughs> He's probably just living it up as just a regular dog somewhere. Whatever, I just continuously outlive my owners. It's weird. And he says... To the reporters afterwards asking why he's 300 years old. Uh, n nobody m notices that he can talk. It's fine. Well, you're going to forget this anyway. So fucking whatever. Yabba dabba do or whatever. <laughs> <You said. laughs> he just takes other catchphrases from other cartoons. <laughs> the Bluebeard's money. No subtitle. Well, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. <laughs> yeah, I guess. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fabletown government for nefarious purposes. He probably does, seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. You're not supposed to just say that out loud, it says Bluebeard. Crossing his arms and pouting. He looks really upset if you don't do what he wants. He seems really upset just in general. You haven't seen Bluebeard's pout. It's a really good pout. A really good pout. He beheaded many wives with that pout. <laughs> He's actually super good at doing puppy dog eyes. Oh, it's really creepy, actually, when you see it in person. Because <laughs> you know what lies behind? You know what lies behind? But what he really wants is stability and strength. Because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him from the Mundy world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. The Crooked Lair Headquarters. Deep in the Crooked House, owned by the Crooked Man. Overseen by the Crooked Landlord. You just said the same word twice. <laughs> Greeted by the Crooked Boy. Oh my god. That's mean time to take the back. <laughs> Occupying a desanctified church, this is just one of many locations the Crooked Man's operation uses to run the Fable Town Underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place, unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world, and the only way in is through the, one of the many portals marked by a door with the crooked man's Catherine wheel icon, scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. Like where? He's gotta look for that outsider's mark, kid. Where's the outsider? Is he just watching this and being like, yeah, this is pretty fun. Whatever, nobody really remembers or cares about the sequel to my game, but I don't know. <laughs> Has anybody ever talked about Dishonored 2, honestly? Uh, I mean... It just kind of happened, I think. It's an okay game. I played it. I finished it. It was it was fine. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the Crooked Man, Crime Lord. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into the one, one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sickpence in a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way. Okay. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Do you think when he blinks, his bottom eyelid like has to reach all the way up to meet the top eyelid every time? <laughs> it goes all the way up, yeah. <laughs> what if the top one just flops all the way down? <laughs> it's just as long as the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it just folds up in there really well. Just rolls down. <laughs> <laughs> like curtains just rolling down <laughs> and it goes back up oh crooked man oh we don't like that uh, please don't blink as much as possible <laughs> please just go ahead and burn your eye out I don't care I don't want to see that again Tiny Tim Sentry while most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Monday world's knowledge of them for a select few that does not seem to apply when a malady or injury is an inter integral part of the fable story, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Th Tim thinks, at least, and no medical care or magic, rather. None that he can afford can heal his leg. 
Yeah, it kind of sucks when your whole thing is about how you're a cripple. My whole... Uh, wow, you just came out and said the C word, I he mean, says. I guess. Oh my god. I guess. Oh my god. Oh he's my got, god. He's got a disability. I mean, he's referred to that way in the story or whatever. I can't believe my whole story is just I have a bum leg, boo. Couldn't they just re can I just go and edit that in like Word doc and just fix it, please? The whole story is about how sad my life is, thanks. Send this to people's spam folders, then maybe it'll catch on. Life on the farm. With its idyllic location and managed community, the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out an existence in Fable Town. Eking? Is that how that's pronounced? Eking, I'm pretty sure, is the correct pronunciation, yes. But those who have lived there see it very differently. They see it for what it is, a prison. A place where you're free to be who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't help that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm. They always seem to fill the leadership roles there. Hmm. Hey, welcome to the farm. You can check out whenever you want, but you can never leave. <laughs> Hotel I hate California. that the Josh Darn Eagles, it's the Eagles that made this song, right? think so? I hate that the Eagles are here on the farm, they just sing this song all day. <laughs> just <laughs> in, in the hotel. <laughs> They're all I hate that the hotel, the Hotel California is here at the farm, guys. <laughs> they just transplanted it there from California. <laughs> Oh, from Texas, actually, is where the Hotel California is. It in is. Texas? Yes, it's in Texas, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's in San Antonio, I think. Th then why is it called that? Because California is like a... It's, it's a whole thing time. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Oh, boy, oh there boy. he is. <laughs> Are you going to cry, Wolf? If the zoom's in, you're just crying. You're like, <laughs> Bloody Mary shot me again. <laughs> but I am the wolf. Yeah, you're crying, and you're the wolf. You're the cry wolf. <laughs> the cry wolf. <laughs> the cry wolf. That's what they're going to call him. It's going to be his new nickname. Oh, I hate that we're immortal. It's going to be forever. God. Just like Grendel crying. <laughs> yeah, but I made him do that, so I'm okay with that. So it's the main character, Big B. Let's go. Oh, boy. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Deuces. Dragon Wing. <laughs> so I gotta make that show. Loops. No. I guess this is Holly's sister. This is the full series recap, kid. Yeah, do more because it's the last episode. It's the last episode. The strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! No, she says scrabbling. We're not no! Tree, Snow. <laughs> hey. No, Snow, he says flicking her in the nose. <laughs> no! Bad dog. Bad. Snow come around. We burn trees outside. Now the crane thing hit her hard and she well, There are plenty of other trees you could do that on. <laughs> Looks like you're a weird d d vendetta against trees. Good. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Well, heck. Oh, God, Big B! Oh, hold on. Oh, now it's kicking in. No joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Anywhere else is fine, just not the heart, Big B. In the foot, it's fine. In the head, it's fine. The head you could do once or twice. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat check? There he is. We have a great there he is, with his long eyelid. Sit. Sit, stay. He says. It didn't show me the light a cigarette like a cool guy, though. It's probably going to open up with you doing that. <laughs> and then the crooked man be like, gentlemen, sit back. I'm not one to interrupt someone enjoying a delicious lung butter. <laughs> Actually, I smoke Huff and Puffs. Never mind, get him, he says. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just jump you with switchblades. <laughs> Even Tiny Tim gets in on it. He's just whacking you with his cane, his, his crutch. <laughs> just getting you. Oh, heck. Oh, I can't believe it's a silver crutch. Oh. 
I had it. The crooked man is like, I had it made special just for this. I've been expecting you. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Yeah. What a cool guy. <laughs> It's my mandated, union-mandated smoke break, sorry. <laughs> Just in the middle of the villain monologue. No, I'm on break. Shut up for 15 minutes. <laughs> and when I ripped your horn off? <laughs> yeah. And then smashed you with an anvil. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. It was like a goddamn Acme cartoon. <laughs> Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Would you like these? I recently baked these Friday's potato skins in my oven. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. Oh, this isn't long butter. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest. <laughs> every intention He's operate. real scared of us now. <laughs> well, you kicked his ass, so. <laughs> Sit down, Jersey. Do you think he chooses to look like that, or? <laughs> Shut up and enjoy our potato skins, Jersey. Just calm down. <laughs> it would help settle Georgie is like crunching on him in the background. <laughs> you know it's like you didn't thaw these out fully. Killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Oh, heck, back out. You still have time to hit doubt instead of lie. <laughs> your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie. I didn't say anything <laughs> like that. It's All fine. Said, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, that's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an... Yeah, I wonder which one could have done that. <laughs> it's a very unfortunate mm. bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be... Uh-huh. You just fucking admitted that your little gang killed people. <laughs> but, like, that's it. I'm the sheriff. That's it. We're done. Like, you're coming in, kid. No, I'll deal with it myself, says the crooked man. Just go. It was definitely Mary, right? <laughs> I hope you don't uh, I did it. Um, um, <laughs> I mean, she seems like the type. Was Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it was a Jersey boy. Oh, was it? <laughs> Some giggling over there. Uh, it might have been. It was probably Georgie or something. He's the one running the club that they were in. Yeah, I guess. You really shouldn't. I don't remember. It's been years. As I said, I've got this. I don't think we really had much evidence for who it was. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation. I like how you're the only one here because I had the option of killing your brother. <laughs> oh, there he is. So quietly sitting in the corner. And get out. Tweedledee, please. I'm the law. He, 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 they just had to insert him back there. He's not going to do anything. I am the law. He's T-posing in the back. He's like halfway through a wall. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. <laughs> His little animations are clipping him through. <laughs> He's making that little. If you have to know. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> However, like I said. Oh, hey, Georgie. Were you here the whole time? Don't mind. Georgie. You got Georgie. what you wanted, so just sit. I told you, kid. Down. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I guess. Sit, stay. Then Big B through habit just obeys. <laughs> <laughs> then Big B does it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted uh -huh. one of my. My name's Georgi. And I want to make things right. So let's work something out. It, you, it's Most only fair you if you get to rip Georgie's head off now. <laughs> has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. Oh yeah, like you. you and then you attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. Like, like you never you killed sight. anybody, well, crooked man. Sight. I'm sure in cold blood. Right, sis. You're just gonna let him do this. <laughs> I mean, it gets us off the hook, so. Can we 
we discuss terms? No. You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our hmm. cooperation. They got Georgie and Bash oh, Crooked Man over the head. <laughs> Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't stop. Take it, it all. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll. Nah, he said carriage because he's a dork from the homelands. <laughs> we have cars here and buses. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one. <laughs> Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Just surrender. Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, <laughs> but I think it's best if you leave. Rabble, <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You're not my real dad. I'm late for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shit <laughs> with you? I told you. I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so Don't make me start helicopter kicking. <laughs> I'll get all of you in one go. <laughs> to speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? I'm sure Mary is... Oh, Mary. Yeah, right there. Here. There she is. Hi. Just can pounce her and rip her throat out. You're the big bad wolf. Just do it. She's not holding a gun. I mean, I guess Jersey is, but Jersey's got it over there. I guess. Yeah. Sorry, I meant Joyzy. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> Joyzy has a gun. Your subtitles are hard to. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little dark. <laughs> oh, guys, we got a gang up on him. He's busting out his first sona. You should have killed him. Oh. Oh, there's just a portal in there. Come on. We're pretty much done here. <laughs> what is she doing it? I guess she's the one that set this whole thing up, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see her inside turned out. Uh well they did say that this location moves. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucking killed. Well, I guess you're gonna regenerate, right? Uh, he, I mean, he's. What fable is he from again? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a just like a nursery rhyme, I think. Well, that means they teach it to kids. Uh, he's probably yeah, secretly super strong. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time with this. <laughs> Oh, later. He goes to jump over the the table with just trips and face plants. He was able to kick everyone's ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's so overpowered. Like, he's like, whatever I killed like for you. But they didn't have any silver or shotguns this time, so... What if somebody has, like, silver fillings in their teeth? Would they be able to bite you? <laughs> they bite you, yeah. Would that work? Oh my god. Oh, he's full for soda. We're screwed. Ah. Uh. Whatever you're doing is time to be careful. You're alerting so many humans to your presence. <laughs> they're, they're all going to know about it. There's going to be so many nosebleeds when they start fixing this. Oh, look at how cool he is. <laughs> it's very cool. There he goes. This makes me wish that you kept playing Detroit Become Human. <laughs> There's some chase scenes in that that are pretty cool. We should go back and play that because you never finished it. Also, the video game that we're also playing right now, Wolf Among Us. Oh, oh. <laughs> Break through the roof like Batman would. He's pretty good at this running thing. Oh, my ankle. Oh, he says rolling. Oh, ah. <laughs> A semi just hits him. <laughs> he just squishes him like it's faith when they squish that demon. Oh, boy. Fuck. What was that? <laughs> what do you think that was, Georgie? Oh, hi. Okay, bye. He already said he'd roll on you, so I kind of want this guy, actually. <gasps> no. 
I'm gonna get ya. I'm, a, whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. You say, like, reaching in far enough to tickle her neck. She's like, oh, stop. I'm driving. <laughs> no, wait. The ribbon. Oh, no. Her head just falls off the crash. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't run me over. Okay. Well, it probably wouldn't work. Yeah, I guess. Hey, you're going to try it now when I'm on my feet instead of on the ground? Oh, just shoulder check it. Peel the car around you. <laughs> I should have just done a drop kick through the window. God, I hate the city. I miss the force. I just run straight and catch people. <laughs> Come on. You guys think you lost me? I know where you live and work. Oh, what a convenient set of clothing. It's the same thing I usually wear. Yeah. <laughs> How come you didn't have to get a new shirt last time you transformed? <laughs> it did just kind of reappear. I guess he, like, showed up back at his apartment, though, so he would have more, right? It's quite a bit of blood. Uh, pick up that car and wield it as a weapon. <laughs> just put it in my pocket. Just, like, walk through the front door and, like, pull it behind you and it gets stuck and you're like, Hold on, guys, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Well, oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. This has a lot of bonus damage. Oh no, we're back here. I'm gonna have to censor more things. Come on. We can you just show up. They're just all topless for no reason. <laughs> it's just that's just how it goes in the pudding pie. Okay. There's an enchantment. All the women just take their tops off. Can you oh, I hate this place. It's super sleazy. It's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <laughs> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? I mean, he tried to stab me with a knife, and then I grabbed the knife and stabbed him. Is he dying? I guess your story isn't that important. I guess. <laughs> Woodsman got axed in the back of the head, and he was fine. We stabbed Grendel in the face with something, and he just, like, didn't even care. You beat up Jersey Devil earlier today, and he was fine. I squished him with an anvil. <laughs> You squished him with an Acme anvil. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it's I think you had a choice of who to chase during that, did you? Let's go. You're gonna carry me? I might. Please, I'm by the throat if I have to. <laughs> done enough? By the back of the neck, like my, like I'm carrying a cat just from the nape. Seriously, want to protect this guy? You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. But Georgie it, it, is just like gone. a dude, Mossel. <laughs> the sign's still broken. You never fixed it. You're a jerk. You broke his stuff. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you fucking. Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know she, I like, tried really hard to get you away from him, actually. Fuck. She's the only one trying to help him. <laughs> yeah. So, you can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Don't give me that bullshit. You're responsible. Like hell I am. Look. Then who is? Pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. You think I Was it take care of it or was he holding his hands up with quotation marks saying take care of it? How big were the air quotes, Georgie? There was like three sets of them. He really wanted me to take care of it. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. That's not Whoops. my problem. Oh, I get So long as I bring you in, I could close this case and then I can go home. You've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. Yeah, most of the time they haven't murdered somebody. <laughs> well, fuck you. Blur that out. <laughs> that background. Whoops. Go Just notice that. Me, I mean, do you have to? It's like artistic on the wall, you right? Free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come Can we finish this conversation in my office so we don't have to blur anything out? <laughs> There's an ass in the back I just saw. Oh, there's more. <laughs> We're not allowed to look at this stuff. No, don't look. 
supposed to do? <laughs> you don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know. More importantly, you could have paid them a living out. wage. If a I living wage. Them, what? We can make it on 25 cents an hour, right? It's like the 90s. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me if free Lily meant she had to die. Why would it mean that? Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you Will asking cause her to die? <laughs> no, it's not. The that's purple. The, the original is green. Sure <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple. I thought it was green. I guess it's purple. <laughs> I guess it's purple. <laughs> thing I looked up had like images. It was green. <laughs> All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. Oh, boo-hoo. You put it on them in the first place, so... Would you gonna blame me for putting those exploding slave collars on my slaves? You can't fucking blame me. Come on! Just a businessman trying to make a living here in New York City. Here in New York City. Uh, all I did was invent and manufacture the cranium bombs. I didn't trigger any of them. Once I put the collar on, it's someone else's problem. I just get paid. <laughs> then why did you make them so that they kill people? It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think The Crooked Man things. really is one of the most <laughs> devious oh, minds in <laughs> New York City. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are uh, shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours. To either I let you pull the ribbon or I start cooking meth. One of those. But I'm going to decide. <laughs> it's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone oh thinking my God. that they can just... Wasn't she just saying that he should pull it? Or were you like trying... Were you bluffing? You kind of... Did just do what you wanted with their lives, so... I was just bluffing! I knew he wouldn't do it because he's a jang-ass, weak little loser! <laughs> Who stabbed me to death! Yeah, but I was, like, wrestling with him at the time. It was probably an accident. I have to forget what I've done to them. Uh, I don't want to clean this later, so I'm just noping out of this. You should! I can't pretend anymore. You guys suck. Don't stop! Uh, Vivian! Oh no! Well, there she goes. Fuck. No, Joke's on no. you, I'm still alive. I just have my head detached now, she says. <laughs> like it's fucking reanimator, just put the head on the table. Just. Jesus. <laughs> Whoops. They just tape it back on, yeah. Vivian. What if we just tie the ribbon back on? It's fine, right? Wobbly! Just... <laughs> What if we put our head back on and then tie it with the ribbon? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. If you have pie on one hand, do you have pudding on the other hand? Like, <laughs> Bigby, you were not paying attention to anything that was just happening, were you? He says. <laughs> you should probably put those back inside. We keep, like, grabbing at it, just push it in instead of pulling it out. <laughs> Both know that. You're a fable. I'll just tell your story. Like, how, how, how's that go again? I forget. And he says, and then Big George is like, oh, because <laughs> nobody remembers. He's gonna have worse. Don't worry. A, a dork, a complete, like, non person like Lawrence survived being shot in the lung for, like, days. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? 
Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's hey, that flashback after that first episode, he was like, you're a heckin' hecker. I like that. You never said that when we played that episode. Remember that? <laughs> Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I did. I guess. I guess that's the more merciful thing to do. Yeah. Whatever, fine, you say. Oh, beast mode. You should just, like, flick him in the throat and he just dies. <gasps> All right, I was hoping you'd aim for the heart. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel oh, like yeah. a, there could have were quicker places you could have chosen there, <laughs> Big B. There's a... <laughs> Remember that Dark Corners of the Earth game, the Cthulhu one? There's a point where somebody's like, please just kill me, this sucks, and like think your character shoots him in the stomach, and it's like, <laughs> why? Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be like, like, tear his heart out, or like, hit him in the head or something. But you could flick him in the throat with your sharp-ass fingernail. Yeah. Well, done here. Property value's gonna drop once they find those bodies. <laughs> he turned the lights on. <laughs> Don't want to waste no electricity. Paper Town's <laughs> got to pay for that. Okay, bye. <laughs> this location probably will never show up in the comics. I, I can't say I'm really very upset about that, to be honest. Why the f*** are we here at the Metalworks? He, he told us where the Hurricane Man would go. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I was too busy making fun <laughs> of him while he was dying. Here's the car, the limousine. I guess we just wouldn't have seen that scene at all if I'd picked the to jump on the limo. Oh, did you get a choice? I thought you didn't get a choice. Yeah, it was during the chase, like right at the end. I could have jumped on either his car or the limo, but I didn't realize that the limo was the crooked man, so I just kind of... I just guessed, you know, I guess you had to remember which car was outside of the building when you went out there. But I guess you didn't see him get into a limo. Why would you think to jump on just a limo? You I guess saw? he pulled up in this car when they were getting Crane. Oh yeah. Okay. It all makes sense when you think about it for longer than the zero seconds that I spent. <laughs> well, hold on, I have to get to the right spot before I can do my animations. Why don't you just walk through the door, Big B? Because <laughs> it was. It's a. It's a, it, it opens. I have to open it from, from this way. It swings open towards me. Hey, guy, we have a dog door for a reason. <laughs> he just crawls through it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God. So this is where they've been sending these. Whatever they are. I guess they're magic things. The best safety device <laughs> is a careful worker. Another door. Motion activated light, apparently. <laughs> he like bristles up and like crouches down like he's scared of it. Starts sniffing the air. <laughs> uh oh. The door is closed. Baby mm. Wolf. Hey, I recognize that color of subtitles. <laughs> yeah. The big badass mother heckin' wolf. <laughs> You're going in that crucible later, lady. <laughs> hey, I have a board too. Mine has string on it, though. I don't see any string on this. You're not a very good sheriff detective, lady. Oh, so you're creepy stalking me. Or not me and Snow, I guess? It's really easy to do that because I can just look at you from any reflective surface. She says in a local puddle, just like looking at you from a puddle. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ah, uh, magic, he says, crouching down and bristling. <laughs> just every time. What is this sorcery? Ah, this technology, they call it. It's scary. What is this torture rack? <laughs> Holy sh that, that's the torture rack his logo is based off of, I think. Whoops. Is that why he's crooked? Because they broke his legs? Or whatever. I don't know the story of the crooked man. I just know he lived in a crooked house. That's all I got. The uh, the camera angles are making the controls a little bit janky. You're gonna fucking like it because that's what <laughs> Telltale told you to do. <laughs> this is the game. Play it. Shut up. Give us your money. Said Telltale before going bankrupt and getting bought out by somebody else. <laughs> well, there's the silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. 
There's no mirrors in here. How? She's saying it for what? How? Does she spooky? I was gonna say she was saying it from the reflection of the silver bullet, but um, I guess you just see her like yeah, crawl like out like <laughs> bit by bit from the bullet. <laughs> she really awkwardly has to squeeze out of there. She keeps throwing her voice. So you don't look. She's like, ah, oh, the big, the big bad, the big bad wolf. Business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Watch your f***ing mouth, it's a kid's game. Mary, Mary, I'm the big bad wolf and you're a story to scare little girls. We're a story to scare oh, little red riding hoods. <laughs> and how many are those? Look at her go, she's beating you up. Joke's on you, Big B. I'm like Wolverine. I have silver grafted to my skeleton. <laughs> oh, she's gone. What? She fucking bamf? What the fuck? Why can you suddenly just teleport whenever you want? She jumped into the light bulb when you weren't looking. <laughs> I hope I can hit her with that. <laughs> I hope you can, like, uh, once you kill her, like, throw her into the molten lava or whatever in this metal works, you can graft her skeleton to that wheel and she goes whoops, go around like those Dark Souls wheels. <laughs> yeah, the bone wheels. The bone wheels. I, I hope she's Naruto running when she's doing this. <laughs> what a dork, I can see you doing it. You think I can't see it, but I see it. No, you can't see it because I'm a ninja, she says, in Naruto running. I'm a ninja, bam! Uh, 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 tree stomp, or whatever. I don't know, I don't watch Naruto. At least she's not wearing bright orange, I guess. You gotta catch her, she's gonna have one of those stupid headbands with the metal <laughs> plate on the front. Ow! Ah, oh, my one weakness! Steam! Crates spitting steam out. Ow, that was fast. She was spooky looking, did you see her? <laughs> no. She was different. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, I didn't even get a chance Ow. for that one. Yeah, see, she's spooky. <laughs> Where are you? I'm sick of this Shenmue sh Just fight me. This isn't really hurting me very much. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> wow. What are you, like a American-made Silent Hill enemy? Look at this Dead by Daylight character. <laughs> There they are. When does Blood, Bloody Mary get added to Dead by Daylight as a survivor? <laughs> Ouch. I, went, I like how the crates widened out so you could do this. <laughs> yeah. And that crawl space you were just in. <laughs> gonna win, big be god. <laughs> Bong. <laughs> oh, I've gone full wolf form, apparently. My first Sono awakens. <laughs> Does it count as a fursona if he was a wolf first? Uh, my human Sona sleeps. <laughs> Mama getcha. Oh, oh my god. Yoshi can make clones now, apparently. Unless they are illusions. Does she shatter like glass because she's come from the glass? <laughs> can I just flick you really hard and you'll just like break and you'll be like, oh. <laughs> They're really weak. <laughs> really weak? Dark. I hit that Did one. You that uh. Oh, maybe you don't have a choice. She's super cool time. Look how cool she is. <laughs> For some reason, she's super cool, even though she has no reason to be. No, she's really cool. Look at her. She's kicking your ass. Most of those are like Power Ranger goon just standing around not doing anything and watching this. Ah. I can't believe you would close-handed fist punch that lady, oh my god. Would you just be the big bad wolf, please? Uh, yeah, please. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. 
There he goes. <laughs> He's gone level one on the furry meter. Yeah, they do shatter. Oh, they do shatter. I forgot they did that. <laughs> you, you realize none of this is silver, right, Mary? No, it's cut the mirrors, though. Shut up, this isn't fair. Why is this one Mary giving you trouble? Yeah. Why are the rest of them just watching this? Oh, man, I can't believe you're <laughs> the one that got caught with that stupid trick. Dork. Why am I not just smashing through all these, like, random pipes and things? Look at how cool and big and strong you are, Ty. <laughs> Look at how overpowered the Big Bad Wolf is. Yeah. His name is literally Big and Bad Wolf. Can she just make as many of these oh, as she wants? Oh, time, you're huffing. I'm huffing. You're puffing. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow the factory down. That whole half the factory just like tear off and away. <laughs> it just like blows off into the, <laughs> into the bay. Whoa, whoops, this is my last life. Please leave me alone. Where are you going? I'm sorry, are you planning on like one final th you realize that he's the big bad wolf, right? <laughs> oh wow, a tiny shard of glass. My one weakness. I guess it could be silver, maybe. Oh my god. I wanted to melt her in the in the the liquid metal like like the Terminator. <laughs> Unless she's glass. <laughs> now we can gather that up and we can blow a new one. <laughs> Maybe she'll be nicer this time. Don't pan too low, he <laughs> went full wolf mode. He just has to spend the whole rest of the... Oh, they're just right there, conveniently. <laughs> what the f***? Why? What? <laughs> I left that there for you just in case. <laughs> I thought I'd be polite. I really didn't want to have to deal with this interrogation with you having no clothes on. It has been zero days since our last workplace incident. <laughs> I just drew that because of what happened, he says. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six cool. rounds of specially designed silver bullets. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point and then the woodsman comes in with a steel chair. Uh, followed up by an ankle lock, and Crooked Man's like, "Oh, I'm tapping! Please, somebody call the match." You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will just, just trip over like a box he didn't notice, and just fall over like a dork. Uh huh. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Ew, I hate that word fair. I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. And by the whole town, I mean like the six characters we have left in this game. Let me worry about that. I'm sure Bluebeard's gonna be like, no, let him go. He's obviously innocent. Hey, before we do that, Bluebeard, why'd you burn that shit in Crane's office? This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. It's also made of chocolate. I plan on eating this when we're done. kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain... You're really bad at holding that gun to somebody. You were, like, within arm's reach, like, three times so far. You could have easily disarmed him, Big B. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, right there. Besides, he had, like, a stomach full of spaghetti. You saw it. <laughs> he, he wouldn't have been able to say anything to say himself because he was already dying, and he told me that... You told me to kill... You, him to kill them, so... Until I'm brought before the community... And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. I mean, I could rip your arm off. You probably would survive that. Give you a swirly in the witching well. <laughs> you're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you should trip and fall back through the glass like in Spider-Man 1. All right. 
Where this case is. Just give you a chance. It makes that sprungy noise when he has the box that I always remember. That's the one thing I remember from that movie all the time. It just pops in my head. Justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. He'll remember that for the next like half an hour of the episode. <laughs> Georgie. Georgie, actually. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. We've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? Hmm, I guess. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous Where's Crane? Have gone rather well. Who right. cares? <laughs> what did you do with Crane? I, I guess he... I guess we did see him tell him to leave town, or whatever. What do you say? Yeah, Bloody Mary was like, get the fuck out of here, go to Brazil or something, I don't know. Oh, that was made of chocolate. <laughs> Such a reliable pub. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. <laughs> His other eyelids should be all droopy now. <laughs> there, now your nose is crooked, too. <laughs> oh, he's got a big old black eye. Look at him. Oh, he's going to probably use that when you go to the town folks. He's like, he beat me. Look. And your punishment will follow. I was trying to help everybody, and then the sh sheriff, Bigby, the big bad wolf, punched me in the face, guys. <laughs> oh, this literal beast that's ruling over us right now. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Stop interrupting each other in turn. <laughs> oh, Lawrence is here, I guess. Crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> I, I think I can count on Gren and okay. Holly to uh, it's been hours. be on my side on this. We were worried you'd to do like a time. spinning slam dunk into the witching well. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't make it easy. Like dribble him and pass it between each other first. He's here. They do the under the legs pets when they're going in the air, just like to show up. <laughs> I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. Rude snow in front of all of these people. What, Big B? I found my balls. <laughs> Get wrecked. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. Oh, you're you using your right hand. My you killed Lily. She was my Where sister. the fuck do you get what off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this? Guys, I can't read these subtitles. <laughs> you should be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? This is a family's game. Shut your goddamn heckin' mouths. <laughs> Normally, we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances. I thought it best if we do this. Considering the circumstances, I've gone ahead and put together a guillotine. <laughs> As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy. You told them to do it, Under though. your heckin' orders, you fucking liar. Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? But he's working Where for the crooked... He he's, his, his name is the crooked man! Sheriff, where is that rotten scoundrel now? He died because he attacked me. I was hungry for Sketty. Sheriff? <laughs> Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no Come on, he says, skipping away. Later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a Every time you pronounce Georgie's with. name wrong, he <laughs> spins in his grave. <laughs> Just on the floor over there. <laughs> we use it for energy generation, actually, for Fabletown. We hooked him up. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. Boop. She says booping him on the nose. <laughs> you are charged with the murder of Wow, you pulled that out real fast, no? Which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the Several times. Of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Uh -huh. Have you seen my cheek? He says, pointing at it. I have a bruise. Prostitution at the pudding and pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. 
He went willingly. <laughs> you yeah, it was gunpoint. Gun <laughs> now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> it wasn't me. It was Georgi. He, 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 he killed Cyrus. Hell yeah, <laughs> We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. <laughs> okay, let's just start stomping on him as a group. They say stomping on him until he's mush. <laughs> we all know who you are. We know what you've just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this guy. Boy, howdy, the town and sure seems to be against you, crooked citizens. man. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching. Where it fucking belongs. That's the closest we can get to death. We'll just start telling the humans to stop telling your story after that. <laughs> Eventually it'll stick. I can't read these subtitles. Pull ourselves together and make something of this town. We have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly. I guess that's fair. This and then he just turns like around and sprints away. <laughs> just skips off. <laughs> his crooked arms, like, loosely dangling to his sides as he skips away. <laughs> They're kind of just, like, waving limply. He was a total scoundrel. Uh-huh. in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Are you going to get to You got any proof for that? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! For once. <laughs> always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. How many air quotes did you use when you said, take care of it? I used three. If it was four, that means kill. I mean, <laughs> God, you guys feel like this is the first time you've ever dealt with the underworld? Come on. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. I used two quotation marks that time. Come on. <laughs> it's not my fault my people tried to kill you. In my presence. It's not my fault they kept following my orders. They have free will. You'd do anything. Ravel, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just to save someone. Why? He's the f***ing crooked man, crowd. Says Deputy HUD with numerous exclamation points and question marks. <laughs> My employees are just that. Hired help. That means I'm not responsible for anything they are not that they do. Slaves. They are all free to make their own <laughs> This is literally any f***ing crime lord can make this argument. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just told them to do it. They didn't have to. They could have said no. The way you manipulate And my other employees would have just had the free will to break their knees if... Uh, they had not done it, but... <laughs> Those prostitutes at the Pudding and Pie didn't have to be prostitutes. They could have just ripped off the ribbon and killed themselves. I mean, whatever. <laughs> and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. <laughs> How you kept us all you in line. You forget, it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. <laughs> you're, a, you're a crime boss, crooked man. <laughs> you're a crime... Why is anybody giving this the time of day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just looking out for you. I was keeping you indebted to me through the debt that you took. He was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? He had a choice to not be in my pocket, Mr. Baby. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn... Or at least the closest I could find at the local Home Depot. <laughs> By extorting the, their... I helped her. She uh, was to make a living. Provide for herself. By, by taking advantage of their weakness. She and my tree destroyed, but Big B refused. He was like, nah, dog. And I identified with that because he's a dog. I'm a wolf, damn it. Why, why did you want that, Snow? Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you. <laughs> you cut my balls off, baby. With Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. 
You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. it I think it's fair to hate him for all, all of those things, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty fair. He's kind of a creep. <laughs> made some mistakes, but believe me. But he's literally a crime boss. His name is the Crooked Man. <laughs> that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. I bet this goes differently yeah, depending right. on like how you've been. You no one yeah, can. all of your choices are coming to but a head I here. To if you fucked up hard enough that the crooked man can make a case for himself. But we'll do better at protecting. The crane not being in the way anymore is pretty important. The man's been Look, I'll eat fewer of you, okay? <laughs> I didn't even eat Mary. To be fair, she was made of glass, but. <laughs> I'm, I'm only, like, kind of hungry right now, anyway. You really think the Crooked Man cared about you? His name is the Crooked Man! <laughs> His name is the Crooked Man. <laughs> They're right. I side with Bigby. The Beast just walks up and power bombs him. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Oh, uh oh, the whole town's siding against you, Crooked Man. <laughs> Except for Dante Green. Oh, nope, never mind. Nope, there she goes. <laughs> We're all gonna take turns dunking you in the witching well. <laughs> You're gonna have so many swirlies. And then we'll just let you drop the final time, <laughs> dork. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. I see you've all realized my name is the Crooked Man. <laughs> Very good. Simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the murder. Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now. I'm no barrister. That's true, at least. Yeah, I guess. I mean, weren't the Tweedles and... Snow? And what about your history? The Tweedles and, uh, Jersey in the room when he said that? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing What the fuck is wrong? I feel like this doesn't make sense. These people are giving him way too much fucking leeway. For profit, Georgie killed him. Bluebeard's the only one here making sense. <laughs> and it's Bluebeard. He beheads his wives for fun. Yes. Yes, that's how it works. You're a crime boss and he was your underling. You said to take care of it. What the fuck do you think he meant, he thought that meant? Like what? How about so what if I said shoot him? What if I meant like, you know, like shoot her an email? Come on, guys. It, you mean me talking to him and Bluebeard punching him? This is too early for everyone to have emails, crooked man. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy. I literally just talked to him and like blue smoke him in his face one time. It was for his protection. Dear Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish. I, I literally did nothing to I him. Not order those two girls dead. It simply yes, you did. Yes, you did. End of story. Even if you they didn't, you fucked up by wording it that way. Yeah. But they refuse to answer for their own this crisis. Is right. Oh please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know. laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This is I'll bust out the spray, spray bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your life? By taking advantage of everything. Who was there while they either... Your name is the Crooked Man. <laughs> Your name is the Crooked Man. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. I mean, you, kind of. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? And put you Who further into debt. Challenge their brutality when it this doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's dumb. Who will protect you from the... The fact that they're man. even like, oh, you know, maybe the crime lords keep me in debt massive point. Maybe, maybe I should stay in point and f***ing debt to them. <laughs> I'm here to give you the deus ex machina that ensures that you don't die. I just wanted to say he's a mother hacker. Good day. <laughs> he's evil. Evil. Bluebeard. You don't have to do this. Yes, 
I do. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't Joe say slam him into the wishing well. But these are turned off now, you know so... What? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Nah, she pulled it off, kid. Establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I... Uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, Faith and Lily. That's a lie. Yes, we already know that. I damn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> I hope you rot at the bottom oh my of the God. for what you did. And this just confirms it. He well, that's going to take a while. There's no bottom to the witching wheel. You are winning the crowd, says Deputy <laughs> Hud with a thumbs up emoji. <laughs> Thanks, Deputy Hud. Winky emoji. At least five other girls will back me up on this. <laughs> we all heard you say it. Maybe you shouldn't have done it in the room just because they had like we found our magic evidence. compulsions. Oops. He's guilty. Good enough for no me. shit. He's the crooked man. <laughs> Obviously. The fact that any of you could even entertain the idea that he wasn't <laughs> is a joke. Come here. We're going to play patty cake, mother hacker. <laughs> You're all rats fleeing from one single Uh huh. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep you miserable. You mean you? This is how you want to repay all I've done. You droopy ass eyelid. You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't. Well, yeah, my life's more important. I live it. <laughs> here. You're getting what you deserve. Well, get 360 dunked into the witching well. <laughs> Just slam dunk him. Like it's mother heckin' the, 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 the NBA jam. Just get like on fire on the way through. Lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. I mean, he could get out. Yeah, like the witching well. I can help. We'll use magic. I mean, magic works. Sure but maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So we already. get rid of him. Too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send <laughs> everyone. Listen up. Time. What's your opinion on the death penalty? <laughs> says Delta <Hill. laughs> He does kind of deserve it. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? Uh, time is canonically in the history of this channel said that this guy deserves to die. Uh, <laughs> what about I don't know. Bigby? What about him? What about him? What about him? I guess I technically am. That makes sense to me. I am the sheriff, and you're not technically in charge of the office yet, Snow. Nobody actually appointed you. What the people want, Miss White. What? Stop taking my balls away. I just got him. Just do what you think is right. I have killed several people tonight already. <laughs> One of them asked you to do it, and you didn't kill anybody else. <laughs> well, you killed Bloody Mirror, but she was attacking you with self-defense. We can lock him just away. Fucking we'll just throw him down the well. <laughs> <laughs> Rip his head off, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> just in front of everyone. Oh, hi. <laughs> what do you expect to happen with this? Oh, I guess you're trying to take me with you, I guess. We'll fall together, and it'll be really awkward after a few hours. I could easily use my werewolf strike to break those. Dork. There you are. I hope you all... What do you mean, there you are? You tried to drag me into the witching well. I hope you remember this moment where I tried to take him with me. Whatever, dork. Later! Okay, bye. Before you drop him, do a spin! Okay. <laughs> okay, bye! Spin like three times, like dunk him in real fast so he gets to the bottom faster. <laughs> and then I turn around and light up a cigarette like a cool guy. Everybody stop. We have to sh let him enjoy this lung butter cigarette. <laughs> Every time I dunk somebody in the witching well, nothing <laughs> nothing calms me down better than a lung butter. You know what I mean? <laughs> One day later, and I'm completely healed, I guess. Man, that's the first time I've had any sleep in like a week. 
<laughs> it has been a pretty rough week. He says, swallowing the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to do that sometimes. You gonna come see the truck off? Oh, hey. For the farm it's you. you Where's uh, Stanley, the regular human, or whatever the fuck his name was? I forget. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Where? Yeah, who was he? <laughs> just the regular human living here. <laughs> Is he still at the front of the line? Oh, no, he's in the back. Oh, he's right there, yeah. Hi, Jack. Uh, where were you when I got mugged a second ago, Big B? God, you're a terrible <laughs> sheriff. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Oh, why is this slimy? <laughs> is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Hmm. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hi, Bluebeard. Good morning. You're Goodbye. still being Bluebeard, I guess. Skipping the line. Yeah, what a jerk. I was rich in my story. Shut up. <laughs> Someone's gonna Hi, see Colin. You, Colin. <laughs> oh, wink. You had to stop and drink one of those cans so you can carry this, didn't you? But where did you even find those? In the dumpster, like usual. <laughs> Goodbye. I hate watching you leave, Colin, but I can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Brick Roadhouse. What a coincidence that it would be called that right next door to what are the this place called? The Woodlands, I think. I guess he didn't buy a glamour after Colin, all. Jesus. Hacking gosh. We only have like five minutes. Uh, carry me for fuck's sake. I don't <laughs> give a shit. We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Sheriff. Shit. Just Do I have to pat pat you to calm you down, dude? <laughs> Sorry about all this. Uh, I did try to help. How often do people try to lick you, Toad? Did you have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another You promised me. I remembered. Well, they didn't give the player any choice in this, so. We were making promises that you couldn't keep because you don't have the authority to do it. I guess. Sock thing. Did you save the weevil, you mother hacker? You <laughs> tiny little small mother hacker? Give this to Miss White, please. Uh, the Weevil? Dad, it's the Weevil. So, I hope the Weevil is important character in the sequel. I hope the Weevil is like your sidekick in the sequel. <laughs> sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. <laughs> it's the Weevil! Yeah! That's not a Weevil! It's a Willow Beetle. They're cool, cause when Who they're cares, really he says, happy, closing the box and throwing it over his shoulder. Juice at you if you touch them. <laughs> Gross. Real nice. She said it was pretty. TJ will remember that. Okay, well the series is over, so unless that happens in the sequel. I guess it'll read my save data for the sequel, I assume. Oh, we'll probably see the farm in the sequel, that'd be cool. Yeah. See all the like actual like non glamoured fables out there. I'm sorry, TJ. But look on the You're not wanted here, okay? <laughs> You're like a disgusting toad creature. I fucking hate it, says Big B. <laughs> Walking away immediately after saying that. I hate it too, says TJ. <laughs> I also hate being a toad creature. Bo. Come on. <laughs> Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, I was in the forest of Europe for a while, though. That is fair. No, would you? We're all set. We're just gonna have them in the back of the truck while we're driving out. Yeah, he decided not to buy a glamour. Yeah, if you want to blame anybody for going to the farm, TJ, it's your dad for not buying a fucking glamour. I'm saving him for later if I get hungry. God. <laughs> I don't know why Snow is letting Colin stay. <laughs> because you promised he'd get special treatment because he's your friend. Special treatment for your friends. I mean. Technically, Colin is supposed to be on the farm, but he snuck out. He just keeps coming back in that slaughterhouse truck. It's really gross. 
He's like, that's why I show up with alcohol every time. It's really rough getting back here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Why are you still wearing that ribbon? To forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. Oh, is that what he said? I completely missed him saying that. <laughs> Listen, I, I came here because clever pig doing his business. Pigs are one of the smartest plant animals on the planet, kid. I could f <laughs> buy them figuring out the beer is cool. Not sure where to. I disagree, start. but whatever. Faith, a sigh. And I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and well. But then Faith Well, I guess they left it for good, you know what I mean? Leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Gross. In it, Faith stole that photo. We had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I I had no choice. You have to understand. Oh, she must have told. You've seen how they kept us quiet. Oh my God. The lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence. Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy. So it's your fault. All of us. Down the witching well. Didn't want anyone you say grabbing her by the throat, just like just chucking her through the building. She breaks through the walls into it and dunks through and you're like, hold in one. It's like, oh my God, baby. I was counting on that. <laughs> That's really bro rough what you just did to that lady. Things over with the crooked man. But then it's really hard to smooth things when he's crooked, though. <laughs> Have a cigarette. Have my last lung bar cigarette. <laughs> oh, your last one. I can't do that. I can't believe you would offer me this for free. A lung butter of all things. Delicious, smooth, ultra filtered, refreshing. It elongates your life, I hear. <laughs> what do they put in those things? Lung butter. <laughs> oh, wait, really? Gross. Butter from actual lungs? Well, I guess it's human lungs, so who cares? They say taking you a drag. And I had to watch while Georgie. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said. Wait a second. <laughs> That's fine. I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. It was close enough, I guess. <laughs> Can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away I with mean, it because he, of his he pretty much did, yes. <laughs> Especially He's called the crooked man. <laughs> I said like if you wanted to though, so it doesn't count, right? It's their choice at the end. She wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could Well, do. you bash their fucking brains in, but only if you feel like it that day. Oh, she is the one who did it. I see. Oh my god. And then probably Lily's also. Oh my god. And I left her. Just hoping. I moonwalked to the doorstep and dropped it off and moonwalked away. Get my attention. So you. You started all this. It's your fault! You say dunking her into the witching well again. <laughs> I can't believe you keep getting out of that witching well. <laughs> How do you do that? When we Cigar. <laughs> he offers it like six times. <laughs> and the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow I hope so. I don't I wonder how canonical your character is to the comic books right now. They probably just don't only vaguely mention the events of this game, I assume. Well, they don't mention this of the events of this game at all. This happened after the comics were already well underway. <laughs> Possibly done. I don't know when they finished. Look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... I, I hope Snow isn't a bad guy in the next one. <laughs> I think she's a good guy in the comics. She was getting a little authoritarian a couple times there. So what if I decided that everything should be painted black and red? Says Snow. When no one else would. You knew when to show mercy. And you brought justice to this town. 
finally. Because you brought There she is, Justice, right across the street. She says pointing. <laughs> she waves. Justice just like waves and winks. <laughs> Continues eating her hot New York hot dog. <laughs> New York hot dog, yeah. <laughs> the wagon grease and water makes this extra delicious because it's from New York. Anyone stood a chance against the crooked man. It was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Well, I mean, we did completely shut down the the sex slavery thing, so at least there's that. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, see ya. Except probably not, but... You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'm the big good wolf. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait a moment. Wait, nobody's ever called me a good boy before. <laughs> Wait, one other person called me a good boy once, actually. Do you like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith War 1-2. Wait a second. They used to call me the little Dr. Swinehart ever gave Hold on, my brain's doing that thing where it just connects all the dots for me. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm Here not. Come. I'll see you around. Wolf. I'm not sure what it's trying to say right there. In the first episode, Narissa, or whoever the f the name was, the person whose head was ripped off, said, You're not as bad as everyone thinks the same way. Oh, I see. So it's like, wait a second, is she that same person? Oh my god. Somehow, I guess. Was she glamoring and. F f and, I mean, the person you found dead was glamoured, so it could have been somebody else glamoured double, twice glamoured. Who knows? I don't know. Perhaps play the sequel that's coming soon, I think. Maybe. I, I, I hope. We did not find, uh, supposedly Faith's body. The creator of the comics wasn't a fan of the game? Is that true? Mazel, in our Discord chat, which you can join, link in description. It sounds like the creator of the comics wasn't a fan of anything not related to him directly involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to Georgie time? To Georgie, sorry, sorry. You and 68.6% .6 of players decided that he wouldn't suffer and just kill him. Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and most people realized that he deserved a trial. How did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 38.6% of players threw the Crooked Mother Hacker down the well. A little bit over a third. Yeah, well, there was three choices. There was rip his head off, throw him down the well, and imprison him or whatever, so... Slightly more... Uh... We don't know what the percentages were for the other two. So it could be that you chose the majority or the minority. We don't know. But did you accept TJ's gift for snow? <laughs> yes. I don't know why you wouldn't have done that <laughs> i don't want that crap you probably like greased it up with your fucking disgusting toad hands or something <laughs> he says to tj the tiny child <laughs> what were your last words to narissa you and 54.8 percent of players said i hope i've done some good here uh about half so here's the deal time you hecked up at the end there in my personal opinion when you went after her if you had chosen to let her go Bigby would have just lit up another cigarette and would have, like, ended when he clicked the lighter. Oh. It would have been cooler. That's more dramatic, yeah. It would have been cooler. <laughs> Boo! He just walked off, and they, they, didn't, even, they didn't even look at you. Oh, heck, we have to scrap this whole playthrough now. <laughs> you and 46.2% of players decided to be a lame wad at the end of the game. <laughs> Special stats, beauty, you impressed her with your detective skills, Bluebeard. You fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment, and you help him to avoid the farm. The crooked man is f***ing dead, kids. <laughs> you took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Why wasn't that just the same thing? <laughs> I don't know. I guess because when you take him there, they do the trial, and he could have got away, I suppose, or you just, like, ripped his head off or whatever. Yorgi is f***ing dead, kid! <laughs> you smashed up his place. Gran, you drank with Gran after Lily's funeral. It doesn't note that I didn't rip his arm off. Well, I mean, it would note if you did, I bet. Like, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, you went to his place first and you prevented him from dying. He is literally alive because of you, Time. Good job. Nerissa, you gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You also promised to bring the crooked man back alive, which you did. Good job. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. TJ, you accepted his... Why would you not? 
Yeah, why would you not do that? Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm, but he ended up going anyway, and you also gave him money. Good job. Oh my god, you're so you're so nice to everybody. <laughs> He's gonna be my best friend in the sequel. I'm not so sure about that one, kid. <laughs> so ends The Wolf Among Us. Time, what did you think about this video game? The first game that you played from Telltale, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I like their games. I just wish they'd update their fucking engine at some point. I really hope the sequel to this game has an updated engine. Yeah, hopefully the sequel has like a better. On PC, it's not as bad. If you were playing on this, <laughs> if you're playing this on console, you would notice. <laughs> Trust me. It's like playing Skyrim or Oblivion on PC versus console. <laughs> it's like, why does everyone complain about the loading screens? It takes like two and a half seconds. <laughs> on PC, but then on console, it's like f you go ahead and take like god dang intermission break every time you walk into a building. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and boil up some ramen noodles while this loads up the building that I walked into. You say walking away from the game that you played. Some of the animations were a little kind of stiff, I think. You mean rinse and repeated from every other Telltale <laughs> game they've made? Yeah, you're right, Time. They just re repeat that because they don't update the engine or anything with their money! Sorry to blow up my mic. I just really wish they would update it. I mean, you don't need to update the engine to make new animations. I mean, but also that costs money and they could just copy paste the animations onto the <laughs> character model that they made. Time, you want to make these Telltale games or not? Cigar. So, Time... Uh, uh, yeah, there's a sequel coming to this game. Yeah, do we know anything about when that's coming out? Uh, I will Google that while you fill the empty air with <laughs> something interesting and thought-provoking to say. Uh, uh, hey, look, the pets. A blue and shooey. <laughs> I don't know. Pickles and cheese. <laughs> Based upon a Vertigo comic series. Uh, it looks like Snow puts her hair down in the sequel, it looks like. Uh, the Wolf Among Us 2 picks up six months after the events of the season one. It's winter in New York City, and a new case threatens to cross the line between Fable Town and the NYPD. How you choose to approach it could determine the future of the Fable community. Does it, though? Because the comics happen after that. The, the comics right here. On screen, oh, actually. Oh, <laughs> there they are. You can buy them. By the way, in case everybody gets this far in this video, these comics are going to become f <laughs> uh, uh, public domain pretty soon. Because the person who wrote them doesn't like DC. <laughs> so look for uh, He also, I guess, didn't like this game, but that's news to me. Soon you too can write a fable story. You too could, if you wanted to, have your fan fiction become canon because nobody gets <laughs> to decide whether or not it is canon. So if you wanted to use the fables property in some kind of commercial fashion, pretty soon it's going to happen. You could just do that. Like, what should have happened? What with the Mickey Mouse years and many years ago? Like, uh, Disney is the reason why copyright is as long as it is. Have I ever told you this time? Yeah, yeah. They just keep, like, extending it because they don't want to lose Mickey Mouse. The only reason why properties aren't public domain right now after, like, a certain point in history is because Disney keeps sticking its fucking rabid lawyers at it. You just be like, <laughs> no, Mickey Mouse stays Disney property. No, you can't take Michael Mouse from us. No, Ricky the Rat stays ours, <laughs> says Disney. I'm blowing out my mic a lot tonight. Sorry about that, kids. <laughs> well, that's uh, The Wolf Among Us. We're going to play the sequel when it comes out, kiddos. Yeah. Uh, whenever this comes out, you might be able to read the comic books for free. Just public domain. And also, this game is cool. You should play it. There's a whole other half of the options that time didn't choose that you can see for yourself. In case you haven't yet, this game's been out for a long ass time. But hey, you know what? Let's look at that book of fables before we close this yeah, up. Yeah, we got the last. We got the last chapter. O B B Y. I got all of them for this one. Cool. You probably have no choice but to get them all. Vivian's story: The girl with the ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. How? Do we know? How did she know that it would result in death? Death if no, I, I mean, I guess like when she first got it. Well, that's her fable. It ends with her dying, right? I guess. 
How come you're alive if your fable ends with you dead? <laughs> yeah, how does that work, Vivian? How does that work? How come this time it's stuck? What's that about? <laughs> Maybe she, she actually does come back to life if you stick her head back on and tie it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops, I forgot to mention that before pulling the ribbon, she says. <laughs> Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon's knot from being undone. Furious, she tried to expect express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of iso isolation to the risk of another betrayal. I guess she. I'm pretty sure that's not that. how the story goes, actually. I'm pretty sure that's not how it goes. In this version, she decided to avoid it. She dies in the original story. Yeah. The Puddin' and Pie, Vivian and Georgie's place. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands. And they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the pudding and pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than be forced through desperation to work at one. To work at one. Uh, if she can't talk about what the ribbon does, how did she tell Georgie? Uh, like. How did how did they organize her making more of them to work on the girls? Does sign language count? <laughs> I assume so. Does written word count? Probably, otherwise she would have... What about sending it through an internet email? <laughs> that wasn't a thing when they made the fable. Did they account for that? It just doesn't notice. It's like, well, what is this aim that you're talking about? Whatever, it's fine. It just goes through. The cell phones work even. Uh, it they don't know how phones. It doesn't know how phones work. It thinks you're alone if you're just not immediately in front of anybody. What's a tux? What's this tux <laughs> that you're talking about? <laughs> what do those mean? It says. <laughs> Where's that other voice coming from? Oh my god! The calls come from inside the house. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about at this point? <laughs> The Winter Wolf, Big B's mother. Did she come up at all? No. <laughs> we just got this, I guess. Hey, do you want to know about my mom? Says Big B, <laughs> looking directly at the camera, smoking a <laughs> lung but a cigarette. Bloody Mary insulted his mom, apparently. He missed that because I was too busy talking over it, probably. Big B's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs. But he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter, heartbroken and alone. She tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby. Was his was Bigby just his regular wolf name? He got extra nuzzles. <laughs> it was really cute. But as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bigby, Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. And the from then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pa pain he caused. The Northern family. Wind? <laughs> the North Wind. Just I'm gonna, gonna beat you up, Northern Wind. I'm just gonna kill the wind. <laughs> I'm gonna bite it, and I'm gonna yell at it, and it's gonna be like, no! I, I guess that's why he has his, like, breath thing. Yeah, because his dad was the Northern Wind, kiddo, so he inherited the ability to huff plus puff. <laughs> And blow various objects down. <laughs> and blow this boy down, oh baby. <laughs> Bloody Mary said something about how his mom put out for any guy who blew in and he clenched his fist. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And that's why he destroyed Bloody Mary. What a jerk she was. What an actual... She admitted to wanting, like, enjoying the fact that she killed children, so, I mean... She was just evil. She was just a monster. And this is coming from the Big Bad Wolf saying that, actually. <laughs> the Big Bad Wolf, Big B's true form. Big B's true form is that of a giant eight-foot-tall... He seemed like he was taller than eight feet. Maybe they mean eight feet from the ground to the top of his head. I guess. The lengthwise is much bigger than eight, though, I'm pretty sure. 
In addition to his iconic huff and puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. Impossible. Impossible? Uh, that's a big, that's a big tell. Uh, can we test that? Has he ever just like hung out at the bottom of the lake for like a week? <laughs> like, well, how do you think he got to the, how do you think he got to uh, New York? He just walked into the ocean and walked out in New York. Like Juggernaut just walked across the ocean because he can't <laughs> die. He's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. the woodsman threw him into the river remember, with stones in his gut. So I guess he had enough time to just like pull that out. He's like, whatever. <laughs> It's unfortunate, but annoying, mostly. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the, each individual stone out of my stomach and then come back out to the surface. Get wrecked, woodsman. Uh, I'm fine from this. I'm fine. Mary's loyalty, part of the job. Bloody Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. <laughs> that, does, that sounds contradictory. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It sounds contradictory. Mary's loyalty, it's just part of the job. I mean, he <laughs> pays me. My loyalty will shift if somebody else pays me more. Could I have just offered her money? <laughs> hey, I got like this whole roll of bills I stole from Crane. You want it? <laughs> Don't shoot me with that silver bullet, please. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased, as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the crooked man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about being caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the crooked man to the death. A little too immensely. Mostly because she finds it fun. Yeah, a little bit too much. She's just a psycho monster. I'm glad she's dead. Yeah, it, it's good that she's dead. <laughs> Heck her and her broken button on her pants. <laughs> Why is that broken? Uh, one of the glass shards got it. Whoops. Uh, I came out of the mirror and it's just all magnetized towards me like I was Magneto. E every time. So sometimes my power glitches out and this just happens. It is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> the Fable Town Justice. When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the traditional procedure is to hold a formal... formal he a formal hearing. You're doing it. You're doing it. Time <laughs> in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. Like the crooked man. The leg of the crooked man. Yeah. Why don't we just brand him until he's zigzag shaped? That's poetic justice, <laughs> I think. Make him more crooked. <laughs> Oh, if you come back, we'll make you even extra crooked, or... We will just fold you into a pretzel, and you'll just have to live like that. I'm good at that. I've done it twice so far, I think, says Bigby. I have practice now. I'm getting real adept at folding you into a pretzel. Crooked man, specifically. A new order. Snow White in charge. A new, pure, beautiful order. Oh no, oh no, Snow White. I'll make Fable Town as pure as the white snow, the snow being I. <laughs> if only I could make them as beautiful as me. Oh no, the power is going to her head. And wash away its impurities. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Snow White. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. So she is going to be the bad guy in the next game. You spent a little too much time with those dwarves, kid. <laughs> with Crane out of the picture, Miracle has officially appointed Snow White as the director of operations. When? Has he? Did you see him? I never fucking saw Miracle. Did he like pop in in the comics and be like, yeah, j -j uh, rub a dub dub, and he just patted her on the head and left? <laughs> She says Cole did that. Just take my word for it. He called me on the payphones. He sent me a message over the IRC chat that I regularly visit. It's right here. Look. It said, it said Mayor King Cole uh, X underscore 6969 <laughs> underscore X. That was the username. That was him. Has to be him. I mean, come on. People can't lie on the internet. Come on. You think people would do that? Go on the internet and tell lies. <laughs> uh, has officially appointed Snow White as the director of operations and deputy mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is a long time coming, since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town. It personally ensured that many fables made it to the New World safely. Why wasn't she already then? 
It's about time I was in charge. I was owed this position, says Snow. Why did Crane get put in the, in the position to begin with instead of just her? Long time coming. I say long time late. <laughs> Should have been me at the head of this table from day one. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Whoops. A Sheriff Bigby just gets some pictures, I guess. Here in these candid photos taken by the third party going by BM, only the initials. <laughs> After fleeing the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe, with a fable colony quickly developing in the New World. Snow White and Feathertop. Feathertop? Who the fuck is Feathertop? Who is Feathertop? Whatever, apparently he was important at some point. Uh, he retired. He's just like over in Malibu hanging out now. They tracked down pass it, down the wolf and offered offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed and Snow cut him cut him with a lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form. Oh, so he is actually a, he's literally a reverse werewolf. <laughs> No, shut up. I'm going to cut you until you're better, she said. <laughs> and he's like, anybody else I'd eat, but because it's you, Snow, I'll go ahead and enjoy this. Ouch. Ow. Ouch. How many cuts is this going to take, Snow? As many as it takes. That doesn't answer my question. It just repeats it back to me. Ouch. Great. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Bigby Big became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration. But because of his violent past, many fables didn't trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. <laughs> well, we're going to see if that holds out in the sequel, I guess. We're definitely going to go to the farm in the sequel. There's no way. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. Cool. That's a wolf among us. Well, time. This is one of my favorite games from Telltale back before they went bankrupt and ended up doing whatever the f is happening now, where they're still around but bought out or whatever. I think it's like a hostess situation where they went bankrupt, somebody else just bought it. <laughs> Remember that? Remember when hostess went went away for like a month and everyone was like, "Oh no, how am I gonna get my Twinkies?" Uh, I vaguely remember that. And then like a group of friends, a group of very wealthy friends. <laughs> bought hostess and decided to just keep it going and now we still have hostess <laughs> that was a pretty good game but uh there's a sequel coming kiddos might play some more of these telltale games i like I, I like this one i like the batman ones they did and i like the first season of walking dead i never played borderlands but apparently that one's really good too i've heard the borderlands one is good there's two of those now isn't there i think the second one wasn't made by telltale it was made by a different company and I've seen that the reviews from, sorry, the reviews are mostly negative. So the sec the sequel to that probably isn't uh, as like whatever. Who cares? But the original one apparently was pretty good. I think it takes place uh, right after the second Borderlands game. I don't know. But hey, kids, uh, sequel coming for this one. There's a uh, the, the comments are going to public domain. Look for that. I'm gonna read them when they come out. That'd be cool. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to read it. A wolf Among Us. Wolf Among Us.